Hi everybody, what's up? It's the Cocktail Test Kitchen. Hello! Welcome to the joy of making cocktails with your home bar. Thanks for coming in. It's Tuesday night, so I know that, you know, you got stuff going on, but this is the best place to be. At least I think so. I mean, then again... Right. Yeah. Look I think this that. might be the best place I mean, to be. This right. is actually yeah, the best actually, place for me, personally. I'm, this I'm, is the best place to be. Yeah, totally. Uh, first things first, thanks for being here. Appreciate you. The most important thing is that you're here. The second most important thing is that you tell your friends to come and join us. Because the more people we have in chat and watching, the better it gets. All that stuff. So make sure you just take a minute. Just be like, hey, watch this on Twitch live. Or if you're watching the archive on YouTube, be like, hey, check out this video on YouTube. Whichever it works for you, do that. Make sure you do that first things first. Um, second thing, if you really like it and you're having fun, um, this does take a lot, I'm not going to lie. So I am going to do the pitch. There's a little donate button down there. Help suck the bar, please. Because this is a thing. Ugh, please help me. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. I want to dive into all this thing. Lauren Minnie. Hello, Lauren Minnie. How's it going? I feel like you haven't been here in a hot minute. And Elizabeth's in the chat already. Elizabeth is my wife, guys. She's hey. Hey, Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyways, let's, let's dive into this. Because we have a lot to do. Um, the very first thing we have to do is we have to introduce the guests. And I'm very excited um, because one of our guests tonight is the one, the only, <laughs> Bill Tucker. Ah, Yum. thank you. That, everything I say tonight is not gonna live up to that introduction. There's no chance. No, nothing like that at all? No, I'm not gonna live up to that, so no. thank you. Uh, yeah, of course. It's like to be here. Hey, this is awesome. Yeah, yay, right, cocktails. Yay. Because you were in chat like, when Jolene was on here, yep. and Joe yep. brought you in, and you watched it, and you're I like, did. I want to be on. I totally want to go and do this. Well, down. I'm so used to drinking while watching. I, this is a now, now you get to actually I get to do both. While being watched. Indeed. Right. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little creepy yeah. when you put it like that. It is a little odd. It's a little, yeah. little creepy when you put it like that. Oh, that's going on. Right on. Uh, Gearman is Bound Heart. Wow. Well, welcome back, Gearman. And Bound Heart. See, now we don't have to worry about the G. Uh, we still don't know how to pronounce his old name. Uh. Gearman or Gearman or cool. something. It's in Europe. I don't know. It's a thing. Right. Uh, thanks for stop listening to the portal music to join the stream, Lauren. Appreciate That's you. That's incredible. Is it's it hard incredible? to do. It is, right? It's a wonderful soundtrack. Right when she says, turn it up, they go wild. Well, that's what happens, Reagan. Get over it. Uh, Bill, tell everybody what you do. Yeah, I'm a lead blogger for The Austinaut, just like Joe, uh, Joe and Sam, who were here a few months ago, the uh, other bloggers, and I cover craft beer and music, and I'm a spirit enthusiast, I guess you could say, and that's my, that's my blogging side of life. I mean, that's a good, and I mean, who isn't a spirit enthusiast? Really? I'm really, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I actually know some people that are. <laughs> we don't talk about them. No, right? that's bizarre. We it's, shun them. We, shun <laughs> them. Shun we, them. we actively shun them and push them aside. It's like, no, no, no. Don't no. speak. Go find your own party. Go find your own party. <laughs> exactly. Uh, our next guest, uh, first of all, uh, well, I'll talk about it. Our next guest is John from ATX Food Guy. Wait. Yes. Yeah. Oh man, for a minute, as I was saying it, <laughs> I was like, no, that's wrong, ATX right? Food Blog, wait, no, no, no. Ah, ATX Food Guy. Yeah. Uh, follow on Instagram at ATX Food Guy, uh, make sure to do that. John, other than Instagram, is that what you do? What do you do? No, so I actually, uh, I'm in IT, uh, so I work for a property management company that owns and manages apartment complexes all over the US, which Ooh. helps me on the blogging side, because oh, I get to travel. travel to Denver and DC oh, and Florida awesome. and like all these cool places. So, oh, that's nice. You know, you can check out atxfoodguy.com slash a city you're interested in and uh, I might have some stuff for you. That's, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. I love that you've got it all by the city as well. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. I started trying to do that, but I don't think we travel as much. Yeah. You know, we get to New York once a year or something like that. And it happens. Like, this is the place I like. Right. Yeah. I'm a little jealous. I was looking at your Instagram earlier I'm like, oh, this looks so good. <laughs> I actually just got back from Denver. So. Really? Oh, yeah. nice. How's the Denver going? Is it cold? Uh, yeah, it sounded about eight inches last Wednesday. Oh, good God. <laughs> Low, lowest temperature I got was like two degrees. It's a nightmare. You know? That's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. Good cocktails, though. Well, okay. Where yeah. did you go? Did you go to Death & Company? I did. Oh, yeah, what do you think? I did. I liked it a lot. Yeah, yeah. I really like the vibe of the place. It's I was wondering how it works. We've been to Death & Company in New York. Mm -hmm. The Death yeah. & Company in New York it's is incredible. an amazing bar for you who yeah. don't know. They've got great books and everything like that. And they opened up one in the hotel in Denver. Which hotel is it? Uh, I don't remember the name of the hotel. It's a Ramble? Hotel. The Ramble Hotel. That sounds right, yeah. yeah. It's um, down in the Rhino District near all the hip stuff. Like, 
So they're right in the middle of yeah, it all, basically. Pretty much. I was kind of wondering what the vibe was going to be like, hotel versus the actual standalone bar. Yeah, it was. it's really cool. Nice. Like it, if, if I was staying at that hotel, I would be very proud of that to be my hotel bar. Oh, I can imagine, <laughs> right? Because yeah, wow. most hotel like, bars... Like relatively often. To have a hotel yeah. bar that writes books on cocktails? Like, right. come on. Yeah. I mean, how many hotel bars have we gone into, and they've got, like, this many? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's yeah. it. It was like... Give me unless that. you're in, like, like New Orleans or something. something. <laughs> <Stoli>. <laughs> wow, that's what I'll do today. Stolian, yeah. what's that? So <laughs> sure. Fine. No, Death and, uh, was it Death and Company, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. There's a compressor running to protect against when they get loud. Oh, Elizabeth is helping Reagan out. Reagan is helping out with the sound again because Elizabeth is out of town. And she's also pregnant. So, Reagan, I'm going to try to get Reagan in here a lot. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Reagan. Uh, <laughs> it's great chat, Elizabeth. Keep it up. Um, Reagan, I might need to check and make sure the compressor's on there because I had to make some changes. Um, do you know how to check filters on? You don't. Hold on one second. Talk amongst Talk yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. Well, I moved to, moved to Austin from New York. Oh, okay. So gotcha. I, yeah. I'm pretty com- familiar with Death and Company. Yeah. And ridiculous. I, you know, once I saw that they had opened a location in Denver, I was like, oh, I got to check this out. Because yeah. I've been to a lot of the speakeasies there, like William mm-hmm. Graham. There's a really cool one actually in Cherry Creek called BNGC. Oh, cool. Um, and what, what's cool about it is like you can't get to it from um, the hotel. Like it's in the basement of a hotel, but you can't get to it from the hotel. Like you have to go down yeah. this back alley and ring a doorbell. See, that's awesome. I love yeah. that. And you have to text a number so to you know, get yeah. the yeah. The, uh, the, the uh, veneer nice of secrecy of right. is super and then cool when it comes when, to like, You know, when you're walking yeah. down to the bar, like you're passing like boilers and stuff. No, that sounds like, great. Yeah, See, I'm all into that. Awesome. That's awesome. Hey, I'm back. Hi. Hey, hey. Welcome. What's going on? Oh, yeah. uh, Welcome to the show. Uh, talking <laughs> about bars and speakeasies. Oh, good never. times. Good times. Yeah. What's, yeah, your favorite, what's your favorite bar? Starting you. Um, in, uh, for cocktails, probably Nickel City okay. is up there. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm a big fan of Peche. Um, I know it's kind of like, kind of the classic easy answer, but I really, yeah, still, yeah. They, they make a good cocktail in right. my opinion. And so. they're gone though, right? Are they gone? No, no they're, they're, they're still there. there. Who's the one that was on Easel. Second Street that left? I mean, Easel well, was there. Yeah, that's where Academia like is now. Okay, all right, all right. right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. What about you? Probably, you know, for cocktails, it kind of goes back and forth for me between Roosevelt Room and Academia. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because um, they, you know, they take a lot of pride in their drinks. Right. Um, but I am a regular at Lala's Little Nugget. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, you know, <laughs> okay. that's nice. my spot, you know, neighborhood yeah, bar. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. My neighborhood bar is uh, Water Trade, which is oh, nice. Toko's bar. Okay. Because yeah. I can just walk down there. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. sure. Sit down and just get a thing. Yeah, it's mostly Japanese spirits, but I don't care. Hey, that's fine. It's still good. That's I don't know that. the, yeah. Favorite bar ever, though, was Attaboy in New York. Mm. Love I'm Attaboy. familiar. I've never been, but I've heard of it's it. Great. Yeah. It's great. It's so great. I mean, it's, I'll it's, have to put it on my list. Yeah, put it on your list. It's totally one of those. It is a speakeasy. There's just a door with AB on the door. Right. Oh, nice. Knock on it. They might answer. <laughs> uh, and they'll put you on a list to get in. Yeah. But it's so worth it once you get in. Nice. That's, that's cool. Great. Yeah. Also, Townsend's very good here as well. I haven't yeah. done that one. Nice. You do a good yeah. job. Yep. So many bars. It's so hard to get out. Indeed. And with this kid coming. Oh, that's, another <laughs> <laughs> that's another story. <clears throat> it's definitely not too loud. Mark and Bill are okay. Yay. John is a little low, according to Ooh. Elizabeth. There you go. All right. Well, yeah. Very there good. you go. So we can bring up John a bit. Anyway, we'll get it figured out. Indeed. Keep, keep yelling at Reagan in chat. We'll get it figured out. And that's how it'll work. Indeed. Um, okay, let's see. I, and you know what, Reagan? I'm actually. Can you go to my camera real quick? Do you see Bill's head? Huh? Do you want to see Bill's head? The top of my head? Yeah. I don't have a very attractive top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, like, well, that's fine. I feel like an ad on there or something, you know, a little yeah, That's fine. Maybe. That'd be great. Brought to you by. <laughs> Brought, Brought to you by, by Treaty of Distillery. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to get that Home Slice sponsorship. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to have a Home Slice box right there. Boom. And then at the end of the night, we're going to open it up. Pizza. Nice. Pizza. Excellent. Right. Someday. I'm down with that. Someday. Oh, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I didn't notice his head because it's behind the... Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, I was just looking at that, and I saw movement. I was like, oh, that's his head. Oh, yeah. hey, what's yeah, up? The window's there. Okay, should I stay back this way? Like, yeah, just lean back. Just lean back the whole way. Yeah. That's really good. I'll be right, right from right? my back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it'll sure. be fine. You'll be fine. It's okay. There's an overlay in front of him. It'll yeah, be, you know, uh, we're, just gonna, we're just going to roll with it's it. Fine. It's cool. Sorry. We'll do it uh, live. I'm down. <laughs> let's see, we, let's see we, uh, taste some stuff. Yes. Sounds great. Cool. We got. So the first thing, so there are a few things. Um, traditionally, I've made flavored syrups, yep. which are great. Mm-hmm. The problem with flavored syrups is I make a big batch of them and they go bad in two weeks and I don't drink enough cocktails outside of these to really get rid of them. So right. I thought to myself, how can I quit wasting stuff? The answer, I think, is tinctures. Hmm. So I've made a bunch of tinctures, hmm. but they right. are super high proof. 
95 percent abv Ooh. so this is not something you're going to drink a lot but oh. you can definitely get a smell like this is a rosemary and it is going to smell so earthy yeah take a whiff of that it's very green Ooh. wow <laughs> oh wow yeah right. wow That's i like that so it doesn't take it's a lot of this fresh. stuff like, yeah it's got a big fresh flavor yeah. so these are rather. cut straight out of my front yard put nice. in a bunch of liquor love that and and now I've got that. So it shouldn't take a lot. Sometimes it could just be like a rinse or a spritz. Yeah. If I had I more of, something. If I had more of these, I would have used them for all those. But mm. I only had this one and it already had absinthe in it. Yeah. So, well, you know, this is life. Hit that donate button. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that donate button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Cardamom. Ooh. Cardamom. Wow, okay. That one was tough. I oh, left it wow. in there for like two days. I'm not sure if I got as much flavor as I wanted, but you guys told it's me. It's pretty vibrant, yeah. Pretty in there? It's, right. it's, it's, it's solid in there. It's in there. Good deal. That reminds me of something, but... Oh, wow, that's good. I like that oh, yeah, a lot. it's working. Yeah. yeah okay, totally. All right, all right. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, this next one is a time... This is weird that we're just smelling stuff and not drinking, right. but you know. No, this is... Well, half of drinking is smelling, right? So... True story. True story. Yeah. Uh, how about time? Ah. Rosemary is nice. the bomb diggity, Lauren. Man, that rosemary. I, I like that, but I'm still thinking about that rosemary. That rosemary, that rosemary, rosemary is nice. That's good. I like that. It's a little mm. more subtle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. That one's definitely which is, which a lot is, more calm. Yeah. Yeah, I smell mostly, uh, I smell mostly the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe should have left that time in a little bit longer. I like the fact these are called tinctures. Yeah. yeah that's that's interesting. It reminds me of Final Fantasy. This one's... Yeah. <laughs> Remedy. Yeah. Is that a thing they did? Yeah, Remedy, tincture, Elixir. I think, I think a tincture is in Final Fantasy. It's been Fantasy. so Maybe. long since I've played Final Fantasy. I only really played 10, okay. which mm. I loved, but... I adore the series. This is cool on Twitch because I get to talk about games a little bit. Right, yeah. it, Oh, definitely into it. Obviously. Poblano. Ooh. Ooh. I thought I'd try that, you know? so good. Right? Oh, wow. Is it, is it really green, really earthy? Really nice. Oh, wow. Thing. That's... A, that's that really comes delicious. out. Yeah, doesn't it, though? Yeah, that that one just smells awesome. pepper. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I never. It's not a ton of heat. Either. Heard yeah, about as far as I can talk my nose. So I'm like, all right, let's try this thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm super pretty, into that. Pretty mellow. So now here's one. This is a flavor that can go bad real easy. <laughs> so be careful with it. This can go awry. Lavender. Oh, oh yeah. The bane of my wife's existence. <laughs> That's nice. I mean, it's it's a little a teeny bit strong, but I still right. Oh, it's nice though. It's not too perfumey. Yeah, which that is was what my I'd be, fear. What I, mean, I'd be afraid I think it's of. riding that line. Too right. Well. Yeah. yeah. My big fear was that it would be too perfumey. And these were dried lavender. 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 Hey. Welcome, welcome to Texas. We all can, <laughs> can get some lavender in here, y'all. Uh, dry lavender. Uh, I let it set for two days because at first I didn't get anything. Right. Hmm. And then when I got here, I was like, should I leave it in longer? Mm, I think I think you did it right. No, that's all that's. Right. I think yeah. that's spot on. Honestly. Two days. Two really? Days. That's it, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we've got this arugula tincture that I made for the last stream a month ago. The nice thing about tinctures, they don't go bad. Really? No. It's a, too, like too I said, IBV to... 95% mm, ABV. Wow. That's interesting. Nothing's alive in that. Ooh. That's a... It's kind of a... It's a weird kind of... P pungent isn't the right word, but it's right. like... It's, it's, it's spicy yeah. in a weird kind of earthy way. Right. Mm, does that make sense? Yeah. I, I think so. I don't know. Having smelled it, I think it's... Mm. Right. <laughs> uh, we can play with those. I have a feeling most of those are going to be rinses. Oh, yeah. No, just I think like, so. Maybe, yeah. maybe like a quarter drop. ounce. Like, yeah. Maybe like, yeah. Quarter ounce might be a little crazy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, maybe a couple of drops or so. Um, but they're there. Awesome. They're available to play with. That's cool. Um, now, you actually brought some beers. Because I did. Because beer is your thing. Beer is my thing. Um, and I try to bring a variety. And if you don't end up using them, that's fine. I mean, I, you know. Let's... let's Start with some beer because I want to take some time with these guys. Okay. Um, this is cachaca, which mm -hmm. I honestly have never had cachaca before. Okay. I've had it at Caprahina, which is mm -hmm. a drink, but I've never had just straight up cachaca. And I have three versions here: uh, a silver, an aged, and then an aged in zebra wood. Oh. So wow. right. I All right. Know. I don't exactly. even know what that is. Sounds exotic. <laughs> right. So let's start with some beer first. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What are we gonna do? Let's start with this hibiscus. Yes. So yummy. All right. So maybe you should tell me about these because yeah. you brought them in. Yeah, that's the uh, from Adelbert's, the hibiscus saison. It's going to be um, dry and but a little tart. Definitely a little fla uh, floral on the nose, um, as it says right there on the on the can. 
<laughs> and um, yeah, I brought it because I because I know you guys did a saison last night. You did a beer one mm -hmm. uh, with a uh, Caitlin. Yep. And I think it was uh, Craig. Was it? Craig, that's right. And um, I know you like the saison, so I figured that might give a little more floral. It's a touch lighter than I think the one you had. All right. So. Um, you yeah. actually reminded me of something too. And yes. I should I should point this out. So yes. Craig was supposed to be here tonight. Right. And he got sick. So maybe you saw on Twitter earlier yeah. today, Craig posted that he got he got sick and couldn't be yeah, here. Yeah, And usually doing these streams, finding somebody at the last minute, <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to leave it at that. But, John, you're able to come in here at the Came last in minute the clutch. and fill last in minute, that. Yeah. So we really right appreciate it. No problem. You literally like it. I mean, it could have been just me and Bill. Yeah. It would have been fine. But... That three person yeah. dynamic, yeah. that conversation. The third mic is so much more. Yeah, yeah. I totally agree with that. Idle movement. How's it going? Never lose age spirit. <laughs> 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 All right, let's try some of this. This is the hibiscus saison. 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 Oh, c'est bon. Sorry, Elizabeth. Yes, I know there's beer. Elizabeth is a beer person. Okay. More beer than cocktail. Yeah. Well, there's plenty more in the fridge. So. That's right. Yep. <laughs> My pregnant wife can look at the beer in the, in the fridge for the next give me that. few weeks. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> as soon as the kid's out, she's coming here and having a beer. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, like smells nice. Right? Yeah. It's nice. So it's a little floral. It's easy going. Yeah. I don't want anything too strong um, on the tart side. Mm -hmm. I figured I would go well with some certain things and be kind of a, a base almost. It is really mild. It is. It's a really relaxed saison. Mm -hmm. I think if it was any more, it'd be more like a shandy. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it'd be too, just too much. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. I've it's always... an awesome porch beer. I've always struggled making cocktails with beer, so it's always yes. kind of. I like, want to like challenge you a bit because you'd mentioned that. Let's let's do it. I'm always up for challenges. I say go for it, man. Mm. All right, we're gonna leave this guy out. If he gets yeah, flat, we'll that. switch it out. Indeed. Let's go to another one. We're gonna end with that chocolate one. That sounds awesome. Yeah, man. I actually was thinking about bringing a. Uh, have you heard of Groot IPAs yet? Has this been a, a thing no. that's come across your radar yet? In the drinking all. world. These are IPAs that are made with champagne yeast. What? So they're extremely well, it's dry. Like East Sider came out with their brew. They're yeah. using champagne yeast. They're using that. champagne. That's like the new hip thing. But I haven't okay. heard of an IPA. Kind of like yeah. a few years ago, everybody was like aging in sherry casks. Yes. Right. So Aged. now it's the brew the thing. And, and hazy, of course, has been a thing for about a year and a half now, which we do have in there as well. Right. The hazy citrusy IPA. But yeah, I was, I was going to try to find one because that would be an interesting one for a cocktail. Just sure. Yeah, neat, yeah. Right? Like champagne yeast, really dry. Um, the one I, I don't, I'm not in love with the style, mm -hmm. but I did find one I really like. Uh, Austin Beer Works does one called uh, Body Spray. Oh. It's a double <laughs> IPA. That's a great name. The, uh, the Body Spray, yeah. Nice. My, wife, my wife cracked it open a couple days ago. I'm like, oh, give it a shot. She goes, she smells it and goes, it smells like B.O. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> body Spray. I'm like, hence I guess Body Spray. I didn't yeah, catch that I, until I, you said you it. Funny. Thank you. Let's jump into this one. Yes. It's uh, Hayes IPA. Yeah, Houston Hayes from Spindle Tap. Uh, this is a classic. Um, Spindle Tap is probably the hazy IPA maker in Houston. So, what makes a IPA hazy? Yeah, it's it's really has to do with the um, the yeast that they're using and also the, the amount of hopping that goes through it. So, uh, this one, I don't know the amount of times it's been hopped. It's guaranteed at least double hopped, if not more than that. Again, Ooh, look at that color. Thick. Yeah, and that's perfect. Mm. Again, I was concerned about some reports in the craft beer world that the batch. Of this was no good, but this you is... You said that you could tell by the yeah, color. Exactly. What would the color have done? Darker. Darker, Darker, and it would smell like swamp water. <laughs> Great. That does not smell yeah, like... That does not, that smell, does not like smell like... Smell, that smells like, like orange juice. Oh, that's more of like a candy. Just, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I'm intrigued by this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's really, like, thick. Thick, kind of viscous. Not quite a milkshake IPA, which is another new thing that's out in about... I am shocked by how thick this is. I yeah. was not expecting that. It's, yeah, it's like. If you ever go to Pine House Pizza, they, they would be the uh, spindle type equivalent in town. They do incredible mm. hazy IPAs. Like the jellyfish, really? electric jellyfish is probably the best IPA in Austin. Right. Am I getting grapefruit? Yes. Okay. I, I always catch grapefruit and then like orange. I'm like, tangerine maybe? Or am I being too cool for myself? No. That no. Sounds about right. There's something in there. I, I'm getting hit in the face with the grapefruit. Grapefruit's though. always big in these in this style. Yeah. Yeah. All about that. That's... That's pretty good. Mm. 
My my cocktail brain's rolling right now. Oh, good. Much That's much that much was much the much whole much goal of me. Uh... This. AIDS before you can drink something good, your grandkids can. <laughs> I think I understand that. And yes, indeed. Bro, hero, energy, and beer. Yes, <laughs> indeed, <laughs> indeed. No, but yeah, they Spindle Tap. They do really great. Easy IPA stuff. Yeah, yeah that's, actually, that's their main. I, I'd never heard of Spindle Tap, but yeah, they're mm-hmm. in Houston. All right, let's uh, let's try the last beer that you brought. Yes, this one sounds very interesting to me. Yeah, I should open there. the box to get it out, huh? Yeah, it's a they box it. Darn you! Curses! Damn you, Stone! <laughs> stone! <laughs> Trying to make things difficult <laughs> on me. Okay, so this is. This would be Excovesa. Excovesa Imperial Stone. Stout. Inspired by Mexican chocolate. Elizabeth is going to go crazy over that. Yeah. Chocolatey with Mexican spices. It's awesome. Mm. It's probably my favorite beer of that style going. Can't drive so you hit here on Twitch. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh man, that looks thick. Biscuit 606 with Ooh, two types of IPA drinkers. Mm. Those that hate it and those that lie about liking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard that a lot as yeah, well. Yeah. Yep. Look at that chocolate color. That is a very chocolate I color. will say, there's, you know, for all the love that IPAs and stronger beers get, like a good lager Ooh. or an awesome Pilsner, like I'm all about. That is like a oh, Mexican hot yeah, chocolate that's right a, there. Mexican hot chocolate. It's like a mole. It's a mole. Man. Mm. These always go fast in the in the house, man. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that spice. Yeah, mm-hmm. right at the end there. It's not overpowering. The cinnamon and a little bit of like that nutmeggy thing going yeah. on. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Again, this is my favorite of this Mexican stout style of going. That's that's quality right there. Mm-hmm. That is kind of like I'm imagining drinking this at Hehui Mexico when they have their like trio of moles. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. Oh yeah. It'd be great. I'm down with that. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. I'll try to do the beer stuff first. Yeah, whichever you know, however you feel it works. These will actually sell her on this third one. Will sell her really well. Yeah, you probably keep it in your if you have like a wine cellar or it's a fridge. It's fine for a year and change. Oh wow, well, that nice. Mexican spice will mellow out, but lots of cool things will happen underneath. Really? Yeah. I find that whole concept interesting to me. That just like letting it sit in the can in a fridge. Yep, we'll do that. Yep, it's always been interesting to me because I think traditionally people think of. Stuff has to be in wood to get any additional flavors or anything. It's not necessarily true. Yeah, because a lot of the flavors in beer, um, hops, of course, is the most upfront ever and present. But those fade after time. Right. So when hops fade, other stuff comes out to the forefront. So is that pretty consistent? Depends. It, it, it depends. Usually, a beer has to be over eight percent. You okay. can't. You don't want to age lagers or pilsners or ambers. Um, but stouts are great for it because again, they they'll hold their flavor for a while. Um, IPAs, you never want to age. I mean, you can if you want to be crazy, but generally, uh, the fun of an IPA are the hops. That's sure. the big deal about it. Mm-hmm. When those fade, there's not much left there to enjoy. It just ends up tasting kind of flat. Um, uh, uh, Belgians age nicely. Trapels and quads. Doubles will age great. Understandably so. Again, they're yeah, higher proof. Kind of... And again, what you get out of those, like you get some really cool fruit flavors come right. out that you didn't expect. Um, and then certain beers are just crazy high in alcohol that you say, why not? Yeah. So these have expiration dates on They'll have usually born on dates. They won't have expirations okay, usually. Say. Yeah. That's, that's indicative of most craft beer these days. Yeah. People want to know if it's fresh. Like IPA should be drank as fresh as humanly possible. Right. I should have like an entire And doesn't, um, what's that one? It's like Yellow Rose or something. Yeah. That one actually has a drink by date. That's that'll like, have a drink by date, absolutely. Because um, of the type of hop they're using. Mm-hmm. It's really. It, they, it's delicate. a smash IPA, so they only use one type of malt, one type of hop. Mm. Um, and the Yellow Rose is, oh, God, fantastic. Yeah, really. Delicious. Yeah. Talk about floral. Like it's a yeah. big floral bomb. Yep. All this stuff about beer, man. I, I, I <laughs> literally like... this and Final Fantasy. I could probably talk right. about for hours. <laughs> <laughs> and Portal. Uh, someone mentioned Portal. portal. I yeah, could talk I about Portal for portal. Yeah. hours. Uh-huh. Yes. I think it was Lauren that said, uh, "Not zebra mussels, Reagan." I just saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's dive into some cachaça. Yes. Yeah, cool. uh, either of you know anything about cachaça? Nothing. No, not really. It's like the it national exists. spirit of Brazil. Ooh. Um, it's like, I was reading some stats on this. There's something like 13 billion barrels a year produced of cachaça in Brazil. And like, 
five percent is exported. Oh wow! Something. So it is the national spirit. Um, it is made from sugar cane, so it is a really close relative to rum. Uh, probably not so much the molasses type rums that you're thinking of, plantation or anything like right. that. Probably more like a rum agricole. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, other than knowing that, couldn't tell you much. I do know a little bit about Nova Fogo because they are, uh, they were at the San Antonio San Cocktail Coffee. Ah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> met some of the people from there. They told me all about Nova Fogo. Uh, they have an organic plantation where they do everything in-house. The people like that work there live there kind of thing. Um, the silver cachaca, uh, it's fresh pressed and aged for a year in stainless steel. So you're not getting any coloring, you're just letting it age similar to what you're doing with the beers, letting those right. flavors kind of mellow out. Right. Um, but, uh, I think what we're going to get here is, uh, a rum, similar to rum, a little more grassy, a little more earthy. You should definitely get the rainforest terroir. I never can say that word right. <laughs> Close enough. <clears throat> I even took French in high school. <laughs> uh, Lauren apparently likes turret song. Hmm? Turret uh, song. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I have a uh, plush portal turret and a plush Ooh. Glados as a potato sitting oh, at my desk at, nice. at my regular nine to five job, as well as a cactar. Oh man, you do have your Final Fantasy stuff. <laughs> I love my cactar so much. So what are you getting on the nose on this? I haven't even gotten to smell it yet. It's kind of almost like a, indicative of like a tequila. Yeah. That's exactly. Well, a little bit, yeah. I think it's a little sweeter than a tequila. Yeah. But I definitely get the vegetal, the earthy. Absolutely. That like like that grassy. Oh, that's cool. Right. Mm. I like that. It's not bad. That's really easy going compared to how strong this, pretty, how strong yeah, the aroma clean. is. Yeah, very clean. Surprisingly clean, actually. I actually thought it was going to be a little more harsh. And yeah, one of that, the aged one, will probably have a little more body to it. I probably suspect. so. Yeah. I had like a slight, almost corn kind of flavor. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Back of the tongue. I, I was just thinking, as you said, it, I'm like, is that corn? Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with that. No, no, good. no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a fan of that. That's my first cachaca, yo. Yeah, same it's here. Pretty good. I'm down with that. I could drink that. I just drink that. I mean, yeah, that's, that's totally a nice sipping uh, liqueur. I would drink that neat. I don't even think I'd yeah. use ice. Just no, drink it neat. It's neat. Mm -hmm. It's really nice, and it's very. It's not dry at all. No, it does, it, it yeah. stays there. Yeah. It definitely stays there. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty it's good. Lingering for sipping. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. a sipping liqueur. I'm down yeah. with that. That's mm. I like that a lot. So, what do you think in the make with that? <laughs> There's a lot of variety. I mean, you can do a lot with that, probably. You can do a ton with that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. It is It is really clean. Um, and it is, I, what you said, a little similar to tequila. I kind of like that. Yeah. Um, I would almost like swap it out for a gin. Yeah, I could. I could see that. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Just put that in. Like, I don't know if you'd have to like yeah. replace <laughs> the botanicals of gin with, with something to kind of balance that out. I would probably. A Maybe teacher. a tincture. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Crazy, right? Oh, look at, that. Look at all in there. You know, like a rosemary or a <laughs> thyme. You're unwrapping it right next to the mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Reagan. Okay, uh, this is a Calibri. Let me see. Yes. So this one, the way they age their stuff, they age it in American oak, which is traditional in Brazil. Um, most of the aged cachaca is going to be aged in American oak. They get their barrels from Four Roses and somebody else. Ooh, okay. um, but it's really interesting because when they get it, they take the barrels apart, strip them, retoast them. Wow. Interesting. Why would, that's weird. I, I'm not entirely okay. sure why. I didn't get a chance to really dig in on no, 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 why that's they do that. Yeah. Um, so now this one has been aged in American oak, but this one is also aged in Brazilian teak. Hmm. Nice. So it's kind of a mix of oak and they'll finish it in teak. I have no idea what this is going to be like. It's a special release. Ooh, even I'm better. Really Nova Fogo, thank you so much for sending me this stuff. Really yeah, wow. appreciate it. Let's see what happens. Beautiful color. That's great. There 
here, sir. Thank you, sir. Yep, yep. I have a horrible habit of heavy pours. You guys don't feel like you have to drink it all if you want. <clears throat> Again, a lot more subtle than I would expect yeah. on the nose. Is that... It's almost like a caramel kind of... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like a caramel, like a, I mean, yeah. not quite that, a candy seeds, but... From the charred barrel. Yep. Am I getting any spice in that as well? A teensy or is it bit. A teensy bit. Tiny bit, but the caramel I definitely yeah. nail. All right, Teak, what happens? Let's do it. Hmm. I'm all about that. Definitely catch the barreling in, in, yeah. in the, yeah, yeah. In the in There's the something through. different in that, though. It's almost like, I don't want to say it. I, don't, I'm, I always am afraid to say something stupid. I almost like a, like a vanilla, almost. No, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. vanilla, for sure. Okay. And you typically get that from the charred right, barrels from the charred, as well. Yeah. Hey, Zed Trex, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Definitely has like a, a like a whiskey kind of yeah, for sure, accent for sure. To it. Apparently, um, a lot of people when they get aged cachaça say that it tastes like whiskey. That's because they traditionally age it in barrels. I feel like it's less hot whiskey. than most whiskey. Yeah, yes, definitely. for sure. It's very smooth. What's the ABV this? Uh, 42%. Oh, that's about in line. Yeah. Yeah, about what you think. It feels good, though. Mm. Uh, Definitely doesn't feel like a 42. No, not at all. It is smooth. But there's there's a flavor in there I can't figure out. There's like something rolling down the middle of this that I can't quite figure out. Oh, that's going to bother me. But I like guess, it. I guess we're just going to have to drink more of it. Yeah. <laughs> more. I was like, oh, I can't shucks. contribute. I, I can't help with this one. I already... Uh... Damn. Yeah. That's it's nice, though. I think you nailed it on vanilla, though. I, I definitely get that mm-hmm. vanilla the more I taste that. Yeah. I just wish I could figure out what this other thing is. It is a little bit of caramel, but it doesn't mm-hmm. come as okay. strong as a vanilla. It's what you're tasting more of, like, a, a more bitter kind of flavor. I think that's flavor. it, yeah. But it's not, like, not saying it's bitter, but yeah. it's like... Um, yeah, it's like right on the tip, there's just a little bit... Yeah. But I dig it. I'm down with that. That's good. That's really good. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Zeb Trex, you should give us a shot because this is our first time trying cachaça. It is yummy. <laughs> and it's pretty it good. Is yummy. Yeah. Like, I was a little, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I, I've struggled with rum agricoles in the past. I find they can be a little too earthy. Mm-hmm. So, I was a little skeptical about cachaça. Because it is very similar. Uh, Romagricol is also made from the sugar cane, not the molasses. Right. So I was a little skeptical. That that note that you taste, you still taste it? Yeah, it's yeah, still there. It, like, it, like it hangs lingers, out for It a lingers while. in your cheeks. Yep, right. right there. Yep. Yeah. But what is it? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> what is here. this mystery I'm... taste? <laughs> oh, man. <That's... laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you've had the clear style, but not aged. What do you think, Zeb? Do you like some cachaça? Okay, uh, this one. I should, I should talk about this. We already talked. They, they age everything in their American oak. Retoasted. For a reason. Um, this one is finished in zebra wood. Yes. I have no idea what zebra wood is. I don't either. Not the door? No. But you can see it gives it this really cool red color. Um, like most aged spirits aren't going to have quite that tone of red. It's going to be really much rich. more of a... Yeah. An amber or, well, I mean, uh, let me give it one. Here's just straight bourbon. You can see this amber in that bourbon, but in the zebra wood, you get a nice deep red. I can even see that. Uh, I'm really intrigued by this. This is the tanager right. expression of their cachaça. <laughs> clear wasn't your favorite, but this sounds, yeah, no. The clear here is good. And I'm also curious about the brand, because I've heard that there can be a lot of variation between mm-hmm. brands and cachaça. So I'm curious what brand you're using. Interesting. No, that clear is delicious. Yeah. That's, that's, I like that again, I could just do that neat and hang out that for a while. There you go. Thank you, sir. Yep, yep. Ooh. Much sweeter. Wow. Really? Yes. Much sweeter note. Oh, oh yeah. It's almost like a... Not quite a candy sweetness, but... Like a Swedish fish. 
Like so <laughs> a little bit. A little bit like well, a am I, only, sh- am I the only person in the world who doesn't like, like Swedish fish? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like them. Like okay, yeah, see, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, we're all good. We're all the triumvirate yeah. of Swedish fish haters. That's nope. excellent. But you get what I mean. Yeah, no, I totally get it. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. It's again, it's like yeah. a slightly candy. Because I don't, I don't mind the smell. I, no, I right. don't like to. I don't like the texture. Yeah. Nope. It's the texture that gets me on these things. Wow. It's even more mellow. Yeah. Nice aging does that, yeah. That's really smooth, nice. It's flavor. really interesting to me how the different woods yes. are totally different. Because they're not aging them. It's not a different length of aging time in right. that. It's just a different wood completely. I wish I knew what zebra wood was. Yeah, kidding, I'm gonna right? have to look it up. <laughs> I have a, I have a thing back here. Uh, I almost blah, made blah, blah. a dad joke, but I'm not. I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna make a joke that says hopefully it's stripey and. Right. Yeah. yeah. If it's not, I don't care. Era Reba. Couldn't tell you. Freeze! I do know that, Everybody, um, clap your hands. Before they used oak, check it out, y'all. Cachaca they would age in some of the local native trees. The problem is that right now in the rainforest where they produce this, a lot of those are endangered or threatened. Right. So they have to be really careful where they source it. They there are certain government places you have to go to specifically to source it. And even then, a lot of cachaca places. They'll illegally source them. They will buy them from somebody that doesn't have the correct license and everything. So I like what Nova Fogo has been doing. They've been really trying to make sure that what they get is legal and make sure that the government is really enforcing that people are getting them legal. So all of this stuff is threatened, I believe. I'm not sure the zebra wood is. I have to check on that. But um, everything they have is responsibly sourced from the government, legally done. That's cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah, very different from varietal to varietal. Ooh, Zeb. I just saw it while I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> Zeb, thanks for the follow, Zeb. Appreciate you. Yeah, it's just, it's it's softer, a little bit sweeter. Soft is a great word for it. It really yeah. is. Yeah. But I yeah. feel like it's not drastically different from just the regular age. No. no, not drastically. I do think it is sweeter, though. There's something at the front that's definitely sweeter on that. Yeah. Really, Especially the nose. Like, man, I really dig that. That's great. Good stuff. Mm. And this one lingers too. Yeah. Bit. With a nice long layer. You can feel it. Yep. Again, side tongue. I think I dig chachasa, y'all. I'm down with it. Wow. I didn't, I didn't know I was going to dig it. I now, dig are it. these all available here in the... These are available here in the States. Cool. Um, so you can get them here. There are some things I tried that aren't, but these should all be available. I don't know how wide it is. I don't know if you're going to find it at Twin. Okay. Um, Austin Shaker? Austin Shaker, I would bet Probably. Have it. Probably. Yeah. yeah. I would yeah. bet that they're going to have it there. Um, yeah, if you guys want to try some cachaca and you see this stuff, pick it up. And honestly, oh man, what's your favorite expression? You like the... Sour. I like the clear. I, I, I like the other two for its quality, but I just love the clean, the clean notes and the big aroma, clean notes. I actually really like the clear. I would totally just get that. And again, throw it in a glass of meat and sip away. Right. I'm, I'm all about it. I mean, the other two are great, but I just, I don't know, I just like the approachability of the, of the clear, personally. What do you think? I think the zebra wood. Zebra I like wood. I like the softer, sweeter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always, I always I always tend towards um, stuff that's a little harsher, personally. Yeah, probably because my my Irish Irish whiskey <laughs> upbring- my Irish whiskey. I should say upbringing. It's not. Upbringing. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have that when I was five. But um, Zeb wants to know is the vanilla still as pronounced in the zebra wood as it was no. in the teak? No, no, no. Man, the teak no. is good though. That vanilla is. It's beautiful. interesting though. I don't get the vanilla, but this is sweeter, and I always think of vanilla coming along with sweet, right. and it didn't translate as much. So there's yeah. another flavor that I haven't quite pinpointed yeah. yet. No. Um, yeah, it's good. Though. Might have to drink some more of that. Indeed. Yeah, yeah go, ahead and, <laughs> go ahead and give me a little, do a little bit extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah why not? So we got to figure, 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 figure it out. This is detective work. This is science. exactly. We are yes. for science. This, this is why for we're science. here, y'all. Just, just a little bit, because we had a long night ahead of us. <laughs> Apparently, zebra wood can come from a variety of trees. Ooh, the specific one they call is Airy. Hold on, let me look at it again. Hold on. What is that? Uh, Arariba. A-R-A-R-I-B-A. Arariba. Arariba. I don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Get a little bit of burn and then... I- so that one, I try to skip the tip of my tongue. That's where you get the burn. Yeah, right. That makes sense. Try to hit the back, but it didn't help me. <laughs> 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 I still don't know what. Uh, 
I was proud of myself for doing that. Yeah, but. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Man, it really is smooth though. Like it's just, mm -hmm. it's this soft, oh, man, man, soft is the perfect word for it. No, it is, that's excellent. I really dig that a lot. I almost want to change my choice. I'm gonna Do you want to try the silver again? <laughs> <laughs> Be like a brown sugar? Yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not. Oh, well, I can see that. That's probably the closest thing I've found so far is brown sugar. Isn't that a song? Hmm. No. That's a song. Like, what are you? What are you? <laughs> what are you? Why do you tend to tell me so? <clears throat> That's really good. Yeah. I like the drama. It's awesome. I think I might. Yeah, honestly, it's, I'm torn between these two. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, um, this one's really nice. I think mm -hmm. the fact that it's oh fuck, I can't tell you which one I like better. Of this, I would be, of, of those two varietals, I would definitely say the zebra. Zebra. Yeah, yeah even yeah. though I love the vanilla on that, the complexity of the third one. Is That's great. what I was going because I think for. if I'm going for this, I'm probably gonna just go for like a more of a rum. Oh yeah, fair, fair. See, because I'm not a rum, I'm not a rum drinker, so this yeah. actually fits my wheelhouse a bit more than that. So. Right. I kind of yeah. gauge it based on what I would just sit back and enjoy right. you no know, more, I guess, every day. That's fair. This is probably a little more unique, I guess, right. I should say. Yeah. Man, the vanilla yeah. one's so good, though. I, they're all great, I depending look, on your application. I gotta make sure I email these folks and be like, these things are awesome. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay. First stage done. We've tasted stuff. There we go. Um, so I kind of have, and you're welcome, Zeb. We're here for you. This is the collaborative experience we're going through. Oh, wow, Lauren just Oh, Lauren. She just let us know what's going Okay, on here we go, folks, because <gasps> some of you aren't going to read this. The name zebra wood is used to describe several tree species and the wood derived from them. From them. Zebra wood is characterized by a striped figure reminiscent of a zebra. Hmm. Originally applied to the wood of Astronium gravelolens, large tree native to Central America. 20th mm -hmm. century, most important source of zebra wood was Microberlinia brazavillinensis. Gesundheit. Easy for you to Thank say. Thank you. Really? Tree native <laughs> Central Africa. Other sources, <laughs> Astronium Fraxil of Yeah. All right. And Wikipedia, y'all. Wikipedia. Thanks yeah. for looking it up, Lauren. Yeah, Appreciate Lauren. That. Thank you. That's awesome. Appreciate that a lot. Yeah, that's awesome. Dictionary Very interesting. Man. I like that. I love Very that. Can you just look everything up for <laughs> us? Yeah. Every once in a while, just wiki something and just bam. Throw it out there. See what happens. We Conversation it. starters. <clears throat> uh, okay. So now we have to make a cocktail. Indeed. Um, so, I kind of have a project that I was mentioning earlier. Um, some friends of my wife, they're throwing a uh, baby shower. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be, oddly enough, at a bar. Um, it's a restaurant bar. There's a lot going on. Anyway, they suggested on this stream I come up with a cocktail that they can maybe make at the bar and be a thing. Oh. So, I kind of have a challenge of making a cocktail for this event. Okay. Now, the chances of them having cachaça, hmm, zero. Pretty low. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking I probably need to avoid that for this. Mm -hmm. We can come back to this stuff, though. We shall return. Um, we could do something with beers, or we could just dive into the world of tinctures. Yes. I'll make a tincture. I might have to have them make a tincture, because the ABC probably wouldn't like me bringing in. No. Right. I That's agree. not legal. Oh, no, no. Yeah. But I'll tell them how to make it. <laughs> like, you yeah. guys can make a tincture, right? Yeah. Sure. Just know. get a couple mason jars and some can-do attitude. Yeah. Make, yeah. make that happen. Yeah. It doesn't take much. <laughs> so, favorite spirit? I'd probably lean towards gin or whiskey. Favorite spirit? You guys should know this. Whiskey. Whiskey. That's what I do. Okay. That's where I live. I think we're going to have to do, because I want this to celebrate my wife, mm -hmm. she is much more of a gin person than a whiskey person. That's perfectly fine. So we're going to start with some gin. I like gin a lot. Um, do you prefer a new expression or a London dry? Uh, new, actually. Okay. Um, I think a lot of people would. <laughs> nowadays. Yeah, nowadays I think it's probably true. Yeah. Um, let's start off with some Austin Reserve. Cool. This stuff is great, by the way. I don't know. Do they have national distribution yet? Do you guys know? I have no idea. Not sure. If you guys can see this, it may be. It may just be regional right now. But if you see this, pick it up. It's a really nice modern gem. Um, it's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. So just do that. Um, starting off with that, 
feel the urge to use the tincture. What is your favorite tincture? I really like the smell of the poblano the most out mm -hmm. of all of them. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> the smell of poblano. Yeah, but I like that rosemary a lot. I yeah. really, really dug that rosemary. But the smell of the poblano was fantastic. But with the idea, that cardamom was good too. Of, right? a, of a baby oh, shower, yeah. maybe the lavender, especially because it might balance a little bit better in a gin. Mm, very good point. Yeah, very good point. I can try them all. Of course, it'll just be a rinse. Yes. So we'll have to figure out what we're putting in after the rinse. Right. So if we do a gin, mm -hmm. and we do a rinse of, let's say we do a rinse of the, there's a little piece of lavender stuck in there I didn't get out. Oh. A little bit of lavender. Um, cataract the floral, I would assume we would need a bitter. Yeah, for sure. So what about, what about a poppy amaro? Maybe. <laughs> you know what? I'll try anything. <laughs> <laughs> Zeb, you nailed it. I don't know if you noticed on the back wall here, there's also a bunch of juices. So there's going to be a non alcohol version as well at some point. Ah. Hey, we got something going. That's cool. Um, let's, try, let's try this. Let's start off with the Austin Reserve, mm -hmm. Grand Poppy. I want to do just a rinse, rinse of lavender. This lavender. I think that'd be actually. And let's see where we start yeah. off. Yeah, that bitter and the, uh, yeah, that bitter and. So the, I think and the nose, <clears throat> the nose on that will, will yeah, really come out. Um, now I'm I'm actually not terribly familiar with new new expression gins. I kind of grew up on the uh, on the old school dry, sure. dry, dry styles. So I mean, they're still going to have juniper. Juniper is going right. to be consistent across any gin, so you're going to get that. But London Dry is Fairly rigid, mm -hmm. and that juniper is the predominant flavor you're going to yeah. get. Mm -hmm. New style, no rules. Okay. Whatever you want, I'm whatever you're going to get. Like this, um, the new gin from Treaty Oak. This stuff, nice. well, oh, that stuff's nice. awesome. It's great. Yeah. But it's not hitting you in the face with juniper. Right. right. It's got a lot of local stuff in there. There's a lot of lavender. There's mm -hmm. a lot of uh, local herbs that you're going to get in that. Yeah. Whereas if I was just to pull out, even this broker's, yeah, mm -hmm. juniper hits you in the face. <laughs> Um, or this still Austin the Rye mm -hmm. Gin they have. That one's kind of interesting too. It, I haven't actually had that one. It's pretty nice. Right. It's got a little spiciness into it because of the rye. They use yeah. a rye base instead of just a neutral spirit. So yeah. you get flavor from the rye. Um, they, I think that one's still a little bit heavy on the juniper if I remember. It's been a while since I've had that. Might have to try that later. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I might have a try later. I don't know. Let's go with an ounce and a half. Maybe. An ounce and a half of gin. And half a poppy. Yeah. 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 I think that sounds right. <laughs> that, is a, that is a face of concern. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, that's, that's his thinking face. <laughs> yeah, really. That's his uh, consideration. It's my thing. like, what well, is need something? I'm just getting the gin, I think, is burying the poppy. It could just be on the nose. Well, it makes sense. It's like an Negroni, you have to do equal parts, mm -hmm. kind of balance it out. Right. Let's open it up a little. Maybe it'll open up. <clears throat> when I first started doing this. Because when I started doing this, I had no idea how to do anything. It was all just teach myself this stuff. That's the best way to do it. That's awesome. I agree, right? Trial by fire. There was definitely a lot of fire. <laughs> there was definitely a lot of sticky behind the bar. Oh, I'm sure. Oh my God. I'm sure. There was one stream she made me take my shoes off because every time I moved, it was like <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> So bad. I've gotten a little better. It's gonna be a really light pour, only looking at two ounces, but yeah, whatever. Let's see, just need a dash of this in there. 
Mm, I can do more than that. There's Willow the cat. Hello. Hello, Hello Willow. <laughs> Hello, cat. What's going on, Willow? She does that. She's half blind, so. I'm sure she sees something. She sees something. <laughs> That's she, right. She hears everything, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think she does that. <laughs> the cat. Oh, man. Very light pour. I'm going to have to up that. Tasty, which thing? Right. Love bitters, but never tried poppy. It's pretty good. If you like yeah. lemon poppy bread, give it a shot. Really, again, like that's the the uh, the tincture really comes out. Yeah, it really does. Surprisingly, so considering it really was just a little bit of rinse thrown into the sink. I don't know. I think Almost it needs has, some, I think it needs something else, but that's good. That's a good start. Almost has a nose note of like a gimlet or something. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. I've had a gimlet forever. Gimlet or bye. I agree. It needs something. <clears throat> it's a little kind of like just one note to me. I want something yeah. underneath There's it. Something else it needs something else. Something a little dark. Yeah. If that makes sense. Something that'll give it a little depth. Then it's a lot of floral, mm -hmm. right? The lavender comes out super strong. Like I don't think you need any more rinse of lavender. Like lavender no, is fine, even if it's a fuller pour. They like, get yeah. good. Yeah. Um, is it worth going into a darker amaro instead of the poppy? Possibly. <clears throat> you probably get like a little more depth, maybe. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I definitely think opening. I definitely think opening it up. Yeah. Help. For yeah. Real. I, you can definitely just expand it a bit. Okay, I'm just gonna put just a splash this in here. Just see, Brelio may be the wrong choice, but Brelio's kind of got um, some Alpine botanicals in it, and for whatever reason, that feels right to me. Yeah. Nice color. Yeah, the color's good. It's gonna definitely cut down on that uh, on that lavender. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Improvement. Definitely. The Amaro's definitely come out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot more. I actually like that. Yeah? Yeah. It definitely adds a different note to it. Mm -hmm. So would it be a replacement of the poppy with straight Braulio or an addition of Braulio? I'm, I'm not even sure Braulio is the right one. Yeah. I mean, that's good. Um, it's pretty good. Right? We, but something, I don't want to say something else because you don't want to overcomplicate it. Sure. But, um, oh, man. You know, sometimes I find the simplest things. Yeah, I was gonna say make a garnish or something, just a, a quick spritz of something aromatic to go with that lavender. Yeah. Mm. And she knows. Changes a lot. It a lot. Covers it up the lavender a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe too much. I'm a big citrus yeah. fancy, but yeah. That, well, also figure too, the lavender's probably. It's yeah. It's rinsed all. Rinsed out. So. Mm. I don't know if that really changed much. I'm not sure okay. either. I don't. Mm. Other than the aromatic, I don't know. Yeah. Other, other than like just the nose. Right. In terms of flavor, it didn't. I yeah. Don't feel like it changed a whole lot. Didn't do as much as I was hoping it would. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Um. Well, let's think. What do we like about that? So I definitely like the, um, I definitely, again, the lavender I think is great. That okay. lavender, and I think the lavender gin works mm -hmm. nicely. Okay. You need something underneath it, and I think the choice of bitter is what, the choice of bitter and the amount. Do we go with a more aggressive gin? Possibly. Good. Because this is not going to hit you in the face, but maybe we need a stronger gin to really kind of kick the, a little bit. Or to balance out the lavender, because that lavender right. is super strong. But then, 
I still think <clears throat> we still don't want to go like London Dry. Okay, no, it would be so. it'd be too floral at that sure. point with the lavender. Yeah. What about like? Um, do you have um, Trudy Oaks Antique Gin? Uh, that's the one I don't have. I have their number nine and their Yopon. I haven't had the Yopon. I have one at home. The Yopon that's unopened. Yeah. I was actually going to bring it, but I figured I figured Mark would have. He would have. You, you know, should at least try it. Hold on a second. Even if we don't use it, you should try it. <clears throat> yeah. Just give you a quick. I did a I did a big old Instagram story on Treaty Oak uh, seven or so months ago. Mm-hmm. They had a big old thing where Nickel City had an installation oh, there. Oh yeah, nice. sure. That whole weekend, and um, the folks there were very kind. They hooked us up with. Oh, I I love loads of good old Treaty Oak. Their stuff. their whole rebrand and everything uh, they've done. Oh yeah, has been the amazing. rebrand is fantastic. <clears throat> oh, it's been great. The bottle for the antique one with all those all the cool like. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's beautiful. That stuff you can just drink straight. I, I love. The antique, Yopon. you can drink street, straight, yeah, street, yeah. straight, no problem. Street short fixes, we're an hour in. <laughs> but that stuff is so much oh more gosh, interesting. That right? is so good. It's just done. I mean, what else? I, I did make a cocktail with that. I just put a video up mm. two weeks ago that used that in a cocktail, but you don't even need to. Yeah. No. Just drink it straight out of the bottle. It's beautiful. That is actually beautiful. It's a cool spot too. If you ever, yeah. if you've ever been, it's, yeah. it's an awesome location. And they were great. The past two shows, we've had somebody from Treaty Oak on here, yeah. nice. and it was just, man, they did. Yeah, I, I love all of them over there. Um, I've been lucky to get invited to a lot of their stuff, and uh, man, between the food and the drinks. Oh like, yeah, their new restaurant they got out there. Yeah, it's legit. Mm, it's great. It's man. legit. So good. It's funny. I actually went out there for the gin rebranding <laughs> event they were having, yeah. and uh, we went to eat, and uh, you know we're all sitting there and. All of a sudden, I, I'm facing away from the expo door, and so everyone turns around and like is looking behind me, and I'm like, "Oh, what's going on?" I turn around and I look, and they're bringing out like a whole, a whole fish. The whole fish. And I was I like, was at that event too. "That's where we saw each other." That, I was at oh, that yeah, event. That's, yeah, yeah. That's totally it. Yes. And everyone was like, it like overshadowed yes. the actual gin <laughs> rebranding part. I was like, "What the hell is was this?" Was it just like, bad timing? Yeah. They Dude, it was this a, giant monstrosity was fish. Well, it was after we like oh got to God. taste everything. Oh, okay, but, okay. Or maybe that was the whiskey. That was the whiskey. It was the whiskey re-brand. thing where they brought yeah. it out. Yeah, and, they, and oh. it was just everyone just was floored. They're like, "Oh my God!" That's they, so funny. And then they also brought a tomahawk ribeye. Yeah, the tomahawk and, ribeye was ridiculous. What? Like in addition to the whole fit for every oh. table, it was amazing. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I mean, wow. wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's where we met. Yep, that was it. That was it. Now I remember. Once you told that story, I was like, I was there too. Yeah. Remember that story. Um, okay, let's go back into this. Yes. Would that be crazy to go with the mezcal? Mm. I'm, I do. Reagan's a, voice. A voice yeah. from the ether. <laughs> a devilish voice from the ether says do Might it. as well. I adore mezcal, so I'm always, my answer let's is try. yes to that. Elizabeth loves mezcal as well. Regular tequila, I I just kind of steer clear of. I've had right. bad experiences. But mezcal, I am just a like, lot of people have. Yeah. <laughs> You're not the only one. Yeah. Mezcal has always treated me well. <sighs> which one is the smoke? I can't remember Especially which with one's my, my Scotch background. Nuestra Soledad or the Alipus San Andres. I want to say this one's smokier, so I want something not quite. Okay. It's been a while. Sorry, y'all. You're never crazy to go with mezcal. Mr. Stucker, you are right. Indeed. It's never a bad idea to go with mezcal. Oh, that might be my wife. Mrs. Tucker. Oh, Mrs. Tucker. Yeah. I thought it was Mr. Stucker. Yeah, Mrs. Or Mrs. Tucker. Mr. Stucker or Mrs. Tucker. That's my guess. Hang on. There's a camera here. <laughs> Let's try this. So the real question is, though, do I keep the poppy Amaro or do we switch to a Braulio or a different Amaro in general? Like, did you get the Alpine? There's a lot of Alpine in the Braulio. Yeah. And I felt like that may have been a little strong. I don't know if, possibly. I don't know if the poppy would really work well with the mezcal. It might not, but it might. But it might. <laughs> Won't know until we try it, I guess. That's Indeed. what I love about doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Literally make it up as we go along. I remember who I was talking to. I was talking to a bartender who had on the show once. And she says, like, everything's already been done. And ever since she said that, I'm like, are you sure? Though. Are you <laughs> sure? <laughs> Has it? I mean, I sure, know. like, you know, Jen Amaro's bitters. Like, sure. Yeah, sure. Why not? But, like, what kind of Amaro? What exactly. kind of bitters? We're going to try this poppy and see what happens. Yep. You're the wife and you want that drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. All right, so we did one and a half. We're going back to a half of the poppy Amaro. Curious what this is gonna smell like. Yeah, 
I don't want to talk to my wife via stream. I'm just curious if my kid's asleep right now because <laughs> he shouldn't be at this point. He's uh, he usually goes around 8:30. He goes down. So I'm curious if he's uh, watching Daddy drink liquor. Right. I could be into this. Okay. I could be into this. I normally don't start breaking out the glasses until I have a final recipe kind of thing. But with, with the that rinse, rinse, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> I really wish I had a spritz. Mm -hmm. And who knows? Depending on how crazy I get, I might try to light this stuff on fire. Oh, wow. I gotta stir that up. Because that could add an entirely different complexion. Sure. It's one of the nice things about tinctures, too, is you can spray it on top of a drink, light it up, and you've got this great presentation. No reason they couldn't do it in the glass itself, though. In fact, it's not my lighter. I have one of those little lighters. <clears throat> I can tell you I like the smell of this from here. I don't yeah. know if you're oh, getting yeah. the smell. Not quite. No. I could just love mezcal, though. And I do love mezcal. Oh, God. Um, Andrew's using one of your jackets. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Again, I have a, a dog and a two-and-a-half-year-old. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> so a cat's there's, nothing. No, a cat's nah. nothing. There's always someone sitting on something somewhere. It's fine. It is a cozy coat. Yeah? This is not at all what I expected. We'll see if that's a good thing. That poker face. <laughs> I've been doing this a while. <laughs> I love how the smokiness of the mezcal really comes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mezcal nose. Is really, nose is great, huh? Nose is beautiful. Yeah, between the lavender and the mezcal. Mm -hmm. mm. Seb wants to smell a stream. I know. Right? <laughs> well said, Zeb. <laughs> You're torn. I feel like I almost just catch mezcal. And yeah, I feel like yeah, I, I feel like if you it's not do much it, else. you need more of the of more the poppy. of the poppy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, twist my arm. Because that that note doesn't. We're really getting there. Out. I think we're really getting there. Like there's definitely, the mezcal, there's definitely a there's definitely a mellowness to the mezcal yes. because of that, but you don't actually get the flavor from that from right the ratio. Right. Yeah, <clears throat> and that's probably a little too much. I didn't mean to get quite that much in there. Yeah, that's too much. Definitely so coming out now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but it's not it would bad. give us an idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you can still get the smoky from the mezcal. It's See, and it's interesting because that's now a little more balanced on the flavor, but now there's no mezcal smoke up front, really. Yeah, which is okay. I mean, depending what you're going I, for. I don't hate it. You don't hate but it. But I don't hate it. No, not at all. I don't yeah. hate it at all. I'm I think that might be the best variety so far, right? Probably so, like the mezcal and the poppy. Yeah, I think that works great. Okay. And I don't think it's a big deal if you lose the mezcal aromatics at all. Cause is it a little one note? Do we need anything else in there? I mean, I, if... I don't know. Like, do we need an I, I don't. I don't think it's necessarily one note. I feel like maybe something could be done, but I, the, think I don't necessarily think it needs it. No, I don't think so either. I mean, it's not one of those, like, knock it out of the park, like, oh, yeah. oh man. See, that's no. what but I'm looking for. Then. I know, I know that's what you're looking that's for. That's the goal. It is the goal. Knock but, it out of the um, park. It's good. I, I think, I just don't know what else I, could, I would add to it to make it better or more complex. I feel like I'm missing a little bit of brightness to it. Yeah, like a citrus. Sure. Like a citrus. Like maybe we could try the orange thing again. Or lime. Lime? That might be, I don't know, maybe, yeah, lime. Lime might be too strong though. Oh, you're right, that's a good point. Let's yeah, start with orange. orange. This is kind Call of back. Go again. I wonder if, yeah. I don't think so, at least. No, it, it, it's, um, again, you just get big orange up front. Yeah. Was, but. It didn't do anything to me. Yeah, no. So I wonder if, 
Because I feel like I feel like it's a good flavor, but it's not something that's memorable. It's not gonna be like, oh man, yeah, that's great. No. Yeah, it's a good that's flavor. That's what I'm looking for. It's a good flavor, but it's so what would punch it up a bit more? What kind of would elevate that? So you got mezcal up front, and with with the proportions you're doing with the bitters and the mezcal, you you don't have as much mezcal up front, which is fine. Right, right? but it's so definitely there in the flavor. We're probably looking at ounce and a half to ounce with what I had in there right now. Right. So ounce and a half to ounce. Yeah. Um, but I wonder. I just feel like we need something just to hit you a little more. Just something that's going to have a nice... At the aromatics? About, I would say on mm. the nose, probably. Hit. Oh, man, but what would it be, though? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, something that hits it a bit more. Yeah. I don't know. The thing is, that's such a smooth mezcal. Yeah. Or... No, that would be bad. Disregard what I was just about to say. That would be horrible. <laughs> it would be absolutely horrible. Um, I don't think I want to do Apollo's <clears throat> orange. I don't think. I think that'd be too sweet. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Um, the jasmine, I think, jasmine's wonderful, but I don't know if I want to go that route either. Because you have a lot of floral going on. Mm -hmm. Need something a little brighter. Yeah. Uh, let's, see. let's see. Idle movement says no acid, just flat. Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I kind of agree with you, Idol. I'm afraid to put an acid in that, but I, I need something to kick me a little bit. Um, what about a... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Inspiration is striking. Poblano? Poblano tincture. Oh, see. I, so you want to do that as a rinse, or are you want to, just going to go for it? I wonder about doing both. What would it be like to do both? Oh, I don't know. It might be crazy. It might be mad cray. Man, that does so much to it. Because there's your up front, you, got, you have your pop, you have your up yep. front. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Oh, there's a glass there. Oh, wow. Oh, you know what? I think that definitely... Is that the thing? Mmm. I like that. That's... Yeah, because it kind of brings back a little of the mezcal flavor. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with... With a little bit of a, that pepper, yeah. not heat, but... So, a mixture mm. of lavender and poblano... Tincture. You know, I'm, that's, I'm curious I mean, if, if you even need the lavender. Just at use that point, poblano? Yeah, I think due to poblano rinse. Yeah. And then you know, yeah. mezcal poppy with poblano rinse. Yeah. Orange expression? No? No. Nah, I don't think you need it. I don't think so. Yeah. Seems like a waste. Yeah. <laughs> Reagan's a seven up person. That's why you're not <laughs> sitting over here, Reagan. That's why you're not sitting over here. <clears throat> Spirit thick to the nose. Uh, let's try it. Let's do a poblano. Um, rinse with the same. Uh, let's up the poppy. So we're doing one and a half yeah. to one. One and a half to one. So one and a half to one. Poblano rinse. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's, work. If I ever get a new house, I'm going to have a room where I can just do this. And I'm going to get those cool, like, bar stations where you just, it shoots up the water and cleans all the stuff. <laughs> it's all I want out of life, y'all. Yeah. It's, all, it's all I need out of life. It's not really true. My wife and I have those dreams of the, of the bar where you can clean the glasses with sprayer. Yeah, that's the best. Oh, Ugh. Ugh. We're well, very close to getting just to get a kegerator to start just kegging our homebrew as opposed to dealing with yeah. carbonating in bottles. Well. Yeah, why not? You get the little mini, do y'all do mini kegs or do y'all do? No, we just carbonate yeah. in bottles right now. So we oh, just do yeah, okay. the bottle uh, conditioning and yeah. it's always disastrous. Not disastrous, but always varied because there's so many variables that go into sure. bottling. Yeah. When you do a keg, you just put it right in there. It finishes and you're finishing the keg. For those of you watching at home, that's one and a half of mezcal. One and a half of mezcal. I'll try to remember this. And one of poppy. Might be a little much. We'll see. Install <laughs> <laughs> the water system that Starbucks has. That's what I want to do. <laughs> that's what I want to do. Oh, man. That would just make it all work. Indeed. Uh, I'm actually going to use some crappy ice so it'll dilute a little faster. <clears throat> I know you're big on your ice. I am big on ice. You're, you're, ice you're, is important. Yes. Yeah, ice it is. is very important. 
Yeah. Especially if, if you live close enough to the zebra muscles. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. We do. Oh, did you catch all that? Oh, man. Was we that... could not drink water for a while. Really? My wife was, was really telling bad. me that same thing. Yeah. Yeah. She works um, South Congress above Hop Dottie, and she was saying they walked to the bathroom. It was just it was horrible. disastrous. Yeah. My wife took a shower, and when oh, I got in there yeah. after, I was like, did you get a new conditioner? Because <laughs> you need to return it. I mean, yeah, it's bad. Right. It's really bad. Really bad. All right, we're just going to do a little rinse of this poblano. Yeah, man. Was a look of intrigue. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I'm down with that. It's just the right amount of kind of that poblano. I like that. It's drinkable, yeah. I'm down with that. I think it's approachable, <clears throat> and if you're doing it for the baby shower, I think that's very approachable yes. with a lot of good flavors. True story. What do you think? I'm done. I like that a lot. That's great. That's, yeah. Thank I won't you. reserve my greats, but that's very good. Yeah, very good. Very good. It's very good. Could we do more? Always a question. Yeah. Because I feel like you want more. I could be I wrong. I, I mean, I could, I could sit down and drink that. Yeah, I'd be very happy with that. That's nice. Because it has, has a smokiness, has a sweetness. It has smoke, yeah, and it's got some... You're not bad when I left that on fire. I can't even express. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn off the smoke alarms and talk <laughs> amongst yourselves. Come <laughs> find me a lighter. No, I'm, I'm down with that. I yeah, would, I would I'm, not I'm sneeze too. at that at all on a um, yeah, in bar I'm situation. To, I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of because there's. It really melds melds well together. And again, yeah. if he's you know making a signature cocktail for a baby shower, that's. Yeah. You know what I, I really like? It's really nice. We started this and I said, how about mezcal with poppy? And he said, would the poppy go with mezcal? I did. Oh. I did say that. All right. And you know what? It does. It does. No, it totally does. I like yeah. it. I love it when that kind of stuff happens. Yeah. Just, you know, things we don't expect suddenly working. It's the best. <clears throat> First of all, here's what I want to see if I can do. Actually, that'd be too wet. But... Okay, it's an experiment of house brings down. I apologize. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the whole point, isn't it? Poblano smoky taste would go well with the mezcal. First of all, I want to see if I can even do it. So, like, oh, we're going to legit light this thing on fire, aren't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. If it's 95, I mean, it should, should light pretty easily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too easily. That's the problem. I am not concerned about the flammability. I'm glad it's on that side of the yes. bar as opposed to yes. this side. Yeah. <laughs> I've never right. not had eyebrows. But right. There's a nice rinse. That is Stand it back. Is Let's move the, the high proof alcohol away. I'll move my, I'll move my head out of the that shot. A heavy rinse. Ooh. Interesting. There we go. Hello. Is it too wet? That'd be too wet. Oh, Damn it, Janet. Oh, with no visible flame? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. I can, it's warm, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. I can see the heat waves. Yeah, it's totally, it's actually like burning. It is on fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, it totally is. I see the flame. It's burning. <laughs> Nobody can see it on stream. Nobody can yeah. see it on stream, but it's burning. It is burning. <laughs> it is burning up. Oh, I got to make another match. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little worried about that. We, so, we were so wrapped. Oh, you can smell it. I can, yeah, it's still burning. Oh, yeah. It's on fire right now. Yeah. <laughs> we're, all staring at the we're all staring at the glass and we're not paying attention to the to the flames. Yeah, that, that's actually burning really well. Yeah. Shocking. I love it. Uh, okay. Huh. <laughs> Good catch. Good catch, right, Well played. Well played. Yeah, I was thinking about safety more than anything, so... <laughs> Safety first? What are you talking what kind of about? Show is I don't this? know, man. <laughs> We're gonna he's all lose fire subscribers on that. <laughs> he's all fire warden over here. Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> uh, someone still, has to be responsible. It's still going. Still going. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. It's 
pretty high too, actually. It's actually more of a three quarter poppy. <clears throat> yeah, it's actually warm. Have an evacuation plan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the evacuation plan is run. Run, <laughs> run. The house. Mm, that's it. There's a lot of alcohol here. That's it. It'll go up. Yeah, move that guy out of the way. There you go. That should put the fire out. Oh yeah, that will. Yep. yep. I don't see any heat waves. Nope. He's gone. Nope. As you send your nose, Eric. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw that face. <laughs> yeah, that's spot on, man. I'm I'm down with that. Oh, that's great, man. I could definitely. It cuts the nose, yeah, of the poblano. Mm -hmm. But I'm okay with that because there's enough there to stay present, and it's mm -hmm. it's it it hits where it needs to. Right kind of side of tongue on the finish lingers a little while. Oh, that's great. I actually really like how that I am... that burned poblano kind of works in there. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah. Actually, I yeah, I'm <clears throat> totally down with that. It smells less spicy, but it still has all the flavor. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's maybe more approachable to people that. Yeah. Again, we want to. They, they might smell it and be like, "Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't really like." The or you may rinse. see it on. Yeah. Them. Yeah. You may see like, "Oh, poblano rinse," and you're gonna. Oh yeah, no, we can't. I, I see that and check out, but it's really got a very nice. Yeah. I think what I am most interested in that is lighting the poblano up. You're definitely getting that smoked flavor yes. mm -hmm. that is distinct from the mezcal smokiness, but right. they're all kind of both working together. Yeah, right. no, that's great. And the linger is excellent on that. That's actually really good. I am down with that, man. I think you, oh, yeah. winner, winner. Nailed it. Oh. Nailed it. Nailed it. Please tell me you watch that <laughs> Netflix show. Uh, There's know. a Netflix show called Nailed It. Oh, Nailed it, the baking show. The baking oh, the show. baking yeah, show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was fun until it wasn't fun. I, I kind of took that turn, like, oh, this yeah. isn't fun anymore. Right. One of my friends who I went to Japan with was watching it, like, on the entire flight. Oh, to was Japan, it? Say, and I would, yeah. like, glance over. And... That's a long flight. There's plenty to watch on that yeah. one. Yeah. My wife and I binged it for maybe a she, week. She and was then... just over there giggling, and I'm like, what the hell are you watching? What are you watching over there? <laughs> That's nice. Question is, which bottle would you save on the way out? I'll tell you what I'd save. Oh. This Monkey 47 gin. Ooh. Best gin I've ever had, this stuff right here. Um, it is amazing. Um, Super expensive, like a 750 cost like 90 bucks. Ooh. Yeah, it's super expensive. Is, this was a yikes. gift. That's pricey for a gen. This was, and this <laughs> is a 750. This is this is a smaller yeah, yeah. one, but uh, this was a gift for Christmas. I'm like, oh my, yes, it's really nice. If you'd like, I will let you have a little taste of it. Oh yeah, I, mean, I am all for gins. No, I love gin. Uh, is that a rinsed? Uh, I don't know if you rinsed it since. I don't, know. I don't think I did shot. actually. I gave you that. Um, the Yaupon? Yeah. But your game was awesome. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I like it a lot. I actually keep, I have a little mini bottle like they have over there. I keep that in my in my Thank fridge you. so that it's like slightly chilled. Yes, please. <laughs> I will not turn down a. I think I may have gotten like like that. switched, but sorry. we're friends now. All right. <laughs> we're friends now. It's okay. Oh man, the nose I, on I that like is that. exquisite. That's neat. Oh, that's awesome. It almost has like a citrus nose. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's good. That is a nice that is gin, beautiful. Right? I mean, the complexity of that is incredible. Yeah, it's not it's not hot like it's no. Mm. Wow, there's a I lot going heard, on there. Heard a lot about that gin. I saw they had it at Odd Duck one day, and I was like, "Can I just get a shot of that?" Mm. I really, really liked it. And then I got it for Christmas. Um, I was like, this "That's is great. good. I like it a lot." Oh, yeah, that's really good. We have a cocktail. We do. Yeah. We need to name the cocktail. Yes, we do. That's what we That's need to chat That's the challenge. For. So, chat, give me some name suggestions. Let me figure out what this is. Now, this remember, was... this is for um, a baby, baby shower. A baby shower, yes. Right. So, you should have some sort of child reference in there somewhere. I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> child of fire and darkness. I don't know. Uh, right, so okay, I gotta, so. Gotta put our writer brains on now. One and a half mezcal. That's the. Mm -hmm. 
And I always write down which <clears throat> specific one it is because there's such a difference. Right. I that was probably it. more like three quarter of the poppy amaro. That sounds about right. Yeah. And then a rinse of the poblano tincture. But on fire. <laughs> fire! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Names. so glad that that worked, actually. I was yeah, not that's sure that great. was going to work. Yeah. And actually, um, yeah, I was kind of thinking that would be great if there was like a, if, if I could talk them into doing that for the shower, they could do like a spritz on top and then light it on fire. Mm-hmm. That would be kind of awesome. That would be kind of awesome. I wonder if it would have the same effect or if it would just burn off. If it was floating on top, I would think it would burn off. Probably. Yeah. So maybe rinse it, light it, pour it. Yeah. yeah, mix and pour. Mix and then pour. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly because okay. that's what you did this time, and it worked out beautiful. Yep. Yeah. What are you laughing over there for, Reagan? Uh, yeah. Someone is watching and texting me. They said it's. <laughs> they said "Twinkle in the Eye" is the name. <laughs> Twinkle in the Eye. Twinkle in the Eye. Huh. Uh, they, they told me not to say this one, but they also wrote historic surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stork surprise. I, okay, so far we have stork surprise. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> just whoops. 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 <laughs> just whoops. Yeah. yeah. Twinkle in the eye. Uh, uh, I'm liking my good names. Names are hard. I don't do this well when, when watching the show. I'm always. I, no, I, nobody does. Oh, what? Yeah. What do we got? Agave, Agave Gugu. Gugu. <laughs> that's that awesome. is it. That's it. Oh, Zeb. Agave Gugu. Oh, Zeb. Agave wow. Gugu. A national treasure. Jeez, that's, that's amazing. That's great. Wow. Nailed it. Wow. That Nailed is it. amazing. Wow. Yeah. Bacon, I like the Oops Baby, but I don't know if we can beat Agave Gugu. Although I like your... Uh, your, your uh, screen name. Is it screen name or handle? What do you call it on Twitch? Boom. Screen name. Screen yeah. name? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Bacon Grease is a Bacon very, Grease is very in clever. The nation of Grease. Yes, yeah, it's a very clever like screen name. That's Sweet. Awesome. Agave, agave Gugu. Gugu. What a great agave Gugu. Way to go, man. Well done. I'll take well another done. Agave Gugu. Yeah. What, is, what it is, what's in it, and the price. Uh, what's in it, Mezcal, the tincture is cheap. Um, and the poppy, not bad. In each one of these bottles, you're going to be running around. I'm gonna guess around, probably around 35 and around 20 to 25 for the Amari. That's what I think. Most of them are around. Yeah, right around. That cost. So I mean, we're not going crazy with the price on these, but. Now, can you actually just buy a tincture, or? Probably can. Yeah. 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 I don't know many people that just sell them out just That's because right. it is so high proof. I mean, true. Ah, true. Essentially. Bitters are tinctures. It's just a mixture of things instead of right. one thing. Okay. So mm-hmm. technically it's the same thing. I'm drink some more of this. Bacon grease agrees. Can't beat agave goo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good one. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right. Well done. Let's do some of your beer. All right. Let's do it. Or should we do a mocktail first? We can. I'm into that. I think that's... You need a mocktail comparable yeah, thing there. So you light the orange juice on fire. <laughs> right. So let's see. Um, I suck at mocktails. For the record. I'm really bad at them. Because I, I, everything to me is just juice. Right. Um, so I don't, I don't have a lot of insight when it comes to doing a mocktail version of something. Especially something that I've lit on fire. <laughs> I feel like that... It's hard to replicate. I mean, I guess if you light the glass on fire, you're burning it all off. I or don't you can, know. or you could use one of those, you know, smoke smoking machines. Or well, I guess like a smoke rinse would be the worst thing in the world. Oh yeah, a smoking machine, sure. Yeah, smoke it up. Because um, that would give you that aspect of it. And then yes. The, the, the fruit juice would just kind of cut it. Right. Yeah. Um, sure. Mocktails are hard to come by. <clears throat> In this town, is that is that still a thing? Is that still yeah, a problem? They're, they're yeah. not like finding a place to do mocktails. Yeah. Austin Austin's too boozy, yeah, for that to take yeah. off as well. Like I see it in a lot of other places. Like I saw it heavily in Denver. Like mm-hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure I saw it at Death and Company. They had oh, like a, sure. a good selection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there were a couple other places I hit up, but here in Austin, like it's it's just not a thing yet. 
Yeah, my wife and I, again, two and a half years ago, had the hardest time finding a place to get mocktails. We would call all over the place. They would, they would look at us like we're insane. They're like, yeah. oh, we can get some cranberry and some soda, I guess. That's all, that's all most like, places do. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm trying that's to not, think. I feel like, like I be saw creative a, or something. I feel like I saw a place recently that had you know, like a small mocktail menu. but I've seen them too, yeah. But, but I can't couldn't tell recall where. where it was. I know that, and I, I don't like calling places out, but there's a hotel just down the road from here. <laughs> uh, I went to with a pregnant <laughs> friend of mine yeah. and asked for a mocktail, and everybody was like, this is it's just like Sprite and cranberry juice. This yeah. is gross. Yeah. I mean, come on, be creative. You can figure something. something. Anything, anything different. Yeah. Wife like, and I had the same, same issue when, when she was pregnant. I'm about to actually. Like, you know what? I think Bar Peach will do it now. Oh, like, really? I think they'll make a I mocktail there. version of most okay. of their cocktails. How are you oh, liking wow. Bar Peach? I actually haven't been there, but I'm trying to remember because I have a I have a friend on Instagram uh-huh. who doesn't drink, but um, she has been invited to a few, um, you know, like bars and stuff, and, mm-hmm. and she's actually found a few that they're like, yeah, nice. we'll just we'll just make you a mocktail. That's nice. Um, I so I think that. Bar Peach was one that that did it, and they, you know they're newer, so obviously yeah. like they're going to be. Uh, more inclined towards the you know the trends. Uh, I would be curious. I want to go to Bar Peach at some point. It's hard to go to bars right now, y'all. Yeah. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. You live right next to Bar Peach? Oh, he's like, it's really good. It's, really good. <laughs> it's awesome. So I kind of want to like go outside and like clip some rosemary that I can set on fire. <laughs> well, nice. don't let us stop you. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Chat amongst yourselves. Yeah. yeah, mocktails were the hardest thing for us to find when my wife was pregnant. It yeah. was just... We've had we had some places get downright snotty. Oh, I like I how think, dare you ask yeah. for us? Like, and yeah. I, I, you know, I bet you with with the knowledge of ingredients and stuff that maybe like Roosevelt Room has, they would mm-hmm. probably be more inclined to do yeah. mocktails and stuff. Yeah, just yeah, you don't want someone sitting there with a diet coke, you know, right, everyone's yeah. enjoying. Trying you know, to, mm, I don't know what these flavors are. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah, just give um, it a shot. Can I try the remnant? Yeah, yeah. Which one was the right. was the winner? That was the. Was this it? I think that was the winner. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. But yeah, so. Uh, what do you think? What's your take? Yeah, if you, you like, like it? mezcal, that is amazing. I love mezcal. Yeah, see, I adore it. Yeah, I think that's the right one. It's like all the flavors of, of a mezcal, uh, and then. But it's not too strong. It's like right. You drink it. It's been cut. Yeah. 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 It's almost cliche how many times I've gone out front and gotten rosemary for cocktails. <laughs> I do it all the time. And they're in bloom right now, so we'll awesome. have a little extra Even better. pollen Ooh. or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. A little, little ex- a little extra to light on fire. A little extra allergy. <laughs> to go Darkman's in the house. Hey, Darkman. Reagan's hey, Darkman. Dark tonight. It's not the intern of God. It is Reagan. I guess, I don't know what Reagan's title is. Reagan is Reagan. Yeah. He's like, yeah, that's who I am. <laughs> um, okay, so if I were to smoke a glass with rosemary uh-huh. and use a bunch of juice, you do. What would pineapple juice do with yeah, that? Yeah, I think. I think maybe a little sparkle on top of it. I what could you that... do with the ginger beer? A lot. I guess so, yeah. I think pineapple juice is a good starting point. Yes, I would agree with you on that. Maybe not with ginger beer. I, mean, I, I just saying, saw it hiding back there. And I was thinking like, oh, yeah. of the ginger yeah. drinks back there earlier. Yeah, ginger that, beer and that ginger definitely ale. gives you a brightness because ginger yeah. is very... Mm-hmm. Or is a smoky cherry fun? That would be great. I think those two flavors would work Like, really I well. get a little scared about smoky pineapple. Well, I mean, it's a thing. I guess it is a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. There's a there's a drink that they make at the switch out in Dripping Springs that actually they throw a pineapple in the firebox. Oh yeah. And then they muddle it into a drink. Nice. So it's definitely a, a thing that works. It's a thing, yeah. I can see that. Um <laughs> obviously you can tell them I'm, I'm a food guy. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. <laughs> well, yeah, by the way, this place. Oh yeah, this restaurant that does that? They do this thing. Where, oh there it is. Yeah, with the kiddo, it's a little harder to get out to, like, nice, right. nice, nice places to, eat. You have to 
Sorry, man. I don't mean to keep mentioning this. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's worth it. It's so worth it. Oh, I know. I know. It's awesome. Kids are fun. I know. It'll, it'll keep us young. It'll keep you busy. There you go. <laughs> it's actually going to... Mm, no, it's too much. Okay. Yeah, I don't... It might not be too much, okay. but... Do a little chartreuse. I hate to use chartreuse for this, but I do it a lot. All right. At least it's something that's easy to obtain at a regular bar. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> I need some smaller snips of this. So basically, I'm just letting the rosemary soak in the chartreuse so it'll burn a little easier. Nice. Austin, uh, <laughs> Austin East Ciders, um, newest, I don't know if you've seen this, but their newest uh, cider is pear and rosemary. Yeah. Ooh. I'm actually supposed to go pick up a six-pack this week. Yeah, so it's supposed nice. to be the same. I haven't been over there yet. <laughs> I, I know, I gotta... Tomorrow's the deadline, I think, right? Is it? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow's yeah. Wednesday. Maybe you yeah. should over there. You should do that. I'll have to just run over there on a the lunch break. <laughs> I'll just pop over to Austin East Ciders. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, letting that soak a little bit. So we want to try pineapple. Um, anything mixed in there? Or is it just a smoked glass with pineapple? Uh, you need something else. Yeah, we need something else. Do a little spark. I don't even know if sparkling is it. I feel like sparkling and smoky don't go well together. I don't think so. I mean, maybe they do. Is there a bitter that we could use? Technically, doesn't that take it out of mocktail? Does it? Well, I guess bitters, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's like, such I mean, a what's small amount. Yeah. What's the percentage of a, of a bitter? I mean, it's a high ABV, but you just put a couple of drops yeah, in. Yeah, it's just like one drop. I think this yeah. will be fine. Um, if we were going to do a bitters with a pine smoky pineapple, <clears throat> probably just a straight aromatic. I really like the um, Portland. Actually, what, what do y'all think in the, in the chat? Y'all think it takes Good it call. out of mocktail range if we had a bitter? Good call, chat. Is it no longer a mocktail if I add bitter? Because technically, it's alcoholic. It's alcoholic. Chartreuse, yes, but that is yellow chartreuse that I'm putting in there to kind of help the rosemary catch. Yeah, but it's it's right. but it'll, it'll burn off. Yeah, just put it, uh, actually, put yeah. it on your yeah. there. fist. There we go. Let's put it right there. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ooh, that's very nice. I don't know if that's the right Not it. note. Um, it's, you know, it's the aromatic is more of a licorice kind of mm -hmm. note than orange bitters. Maybe orange that might give the brightness. Mm -hmm. But I mean, pineapple's pretty bright to begin with. Yeah, that's why I was thinking of something. Idle says fresh squeeze, squeezed with ice water and sugar. Hmm. I mean, I do yeah. have a simple. Yeah. I feel like the pineapple juice though, is going to be sweet. That's yeah, a, yeah the pineapple is going to be sweet. Yeah. And this isn't fresh squeezed, but this is not from concentrate and yes. fresh pressed. So <clears throat> it's close as I can get. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well, you know what? Let's let's see what happens with our life, huh? Let's do it. Might as well try it before we <laughs> mess right. it up, right? Yeah. <clears throat> let's see if I can get that to catch. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I love the fire. <laughs> Trying to catch. Yeah. Part of the problem is the rosemary is so fresh yeah, it's that really it's not going to want to. It's rolling. It's caught. You don't want to choke it up too soon, right? That's about right. I don't think I'm getting the smoke, or did I not let it catch enough? I don't think it caught enough. No. Damn it, Janet. Nope. You can maybe leave it tilted a little bit. Mm -hmm. There you are. One of these days I'll get an actual. Good. Doesn't it though? It does. One of these days I'll get an actual like torch. I think I've lost it all though. Yeah, yeah I think it it's out already. Damn it! See, that's why I was thinking about using the tincture. Mm-hmm. <coughs> It'll burn easier. Yeah. But I like that smell. I'm just gonna put a little rosemary tincture in there. Yep. 
being a blowtorch, I have a friend who I used to work with. On his last day, he sous vide filet mignon for everyone in the office, our entire team. Oh my God. And then he finished it with a blowtorch outside the office. Nice. So he just sat there with like an acetylene torch and just seared everything. Wow. Yeah. The what man's a way to go out. The man's right. amazing. <laughs> right. If you're going to go. I, I literally want to be him when go. I grow yeah. up. Like that's, he, Every time I've left a job, I'm not making my coworkers nope. like filet mignon. <laughs> he made the entire team. I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> See you later. Sous vide filet mignon. Lucky if I do watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got a BOGO and Mad Greens. I'm like, yeah. I'm picking who I want to like share it with. I do really need a butane torch. And hi, Avery. How's it going? All right, let's see how this catches. Well, that catches. Ooh, that caught. Oh, yeah. Really good. There you go. It's just the alcohol so, burning, though. It's not actually getting the rosemary right now. Yep. Oh, wait, now we're getting some rosemary. Yeah, I get some rosemary. Keep it tilted a little bit if you can. Yeah, yeah so I don't know how I'm going to do that. So it doesn't choke it out. Let's just see what happens. I'll that just hold it for a second. It's gone. Yeah. Yep. Give me some smoke, y'all. Yeah, yeah, a little, 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 little bit. That'll work. That'll work. I think that's good. Yeah. Got it. Ugh. Yeah, I really do need to be I actually went to Austin Shaker and I was like, Do you guys have a torch? And they're like, nah, we just burn each other with it. And I'm like, you're probably right. <laughs> you're probably right. I'm going to take a cracker. Ooh, I do love the smell of that, right? That's really wonderful. It's, oh. Great. Yep. It's like fall transitioning into winter. Right? Mm. Very mm. poetic. Yeah. Very nice. For all those listening at home. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. Let me let me take you through this scent. <laughs> let me take you through this. Yes. Imagine if you will. <laughs> well, this is sitting here. I might as well help. I mean, you might as well. Really, I mean, you know. I throw it away. I don't know which one that is. Was that I think the, that's was, the right one? I think that is the right one. Yeah. yeah, I think this is the right one. I don't think that one's, yeah, I think that's probably it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right. We're going to say there's yeah, smoke awesome. wash in here. I'm down with that. Is there? Yeah. Cool. Totally. I have juice. I'm just, okay, technically. In measure. You might as well. <laughs> Rinse it out so it's still a mocktail. Yeah. Proportions are still important. Two ounces of pineapple. Well, <laughs> Maybe one, one and three one quarters. Ounce, three I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were almost there. I hate martini glasses. Nailed it. Oh my god, yeah, no. I think it's way too conical. They're the worst. <laughs> oh man. Did it do anything? I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm just drinking. There's a little bit on the nose, but I feel like I'm just drinking pineapple juice, which I don't hate. No, not I all. love a good pineapple Nothing juice. Nothing wrong with pineapple juice. I don't, the rosemary doesn't linger. No, mm -hmm. not at like all. I think it's, I think it's mostly gone. Yep. I agree with that. I mean, it wasn't the best smoke in the world. Yeah. I mean, if I'm being honest with myself, <laughs> I'm going to try to clean up my mess a little bit. Hmm. <sighs> Keeping a tidy bar is important, <laughs> y'all. Y'all at home with your own bars, keep a tidy bar. A public service announcement. Because this is going to be so sticky tomorrow now. Oh man! Yeah, it's just it's just pineapple juice. It's just yeah. pineapple juice. That's, that <laughs> is what it is. Get some water on this. At least that pineapple juice isn't very uh, aggressive. Like it's, it's true. It's, yeah, it's, it's a it's, yeah, yeah. It's not super acidic. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of it's mellowed out. It's not that cheap pineapple juice. Yeah, it's a good pineapple juice. But having said that, I'm not as worried about the sweetness as I was before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. I have a towel on my shoulder for my hands. I'm not going to clean up the mess with the towel on my shoulder. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah, I think it's smoked cherry shot. is a thing as well. Smoked <laughs> cherry and pineapple, both. I mean, you get super tart and then tart and acidic. Some mellow and acidic. Yeah, yeah I have some sweet. pineapple right yeah, there. I can just sour and. It's a cool color. Yeah. 
it needs a hit to make it feel like a mocktail. Because mm -hmm. again, right now it's just juice. Right. Which is fine, but it needs like a... It's got to be something that makes you be like, I'm drinking something <clears> fancy. spark. Yeah, something that just kind of sets it off. I mean, do we want to keep trying to get the smoke working? Or are those just too fresh to catch right now? I think they might be too fresh. I mean... I can try again. Give it a go. I mean, listen, I'm... What all about think? setting things on fire. Yeah. That's the best kind of show. I mean, did you like the mix of the cherry and the pineapple? Yes. Yeah, I think, it, they, I think the mix worked well. Yeah. I probably would do a little more cherry, cherry. to get a little more tartness to it. Sure. Again, because you want a little more aggressive. Again, just because you're not going to have any alcohol to, to be aggressive. Ooh, that's actually catching right? Hey, Xander. Hey, cat. Xander, I fed you earlier. Don't even give me that. Dark Man expects you to do cool towel tricks. No. Yes. <laughs> That's how things get broken, Dark Man. <laughs> oh man, I had great smoke a minute ago. It's all gone yeah. now. It really might be too fresh. Don't tell me these things, Bill Tucker. Bill Tucker. Yum. 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 <laughs> oh, that is so wet. I just think I just screwed that up. Take it out. Yeah. See, this is what towels are for, Reagan. <coughs> cleaning glasses. Cleaning glasses, not cleaning messes. So whenever you see, like, what can I get you? You're always doing this thing, <laughs> yes. right? Right. Even if it's a prop, like a prop yeah. glass, yeah. that you're just never going to do anything with. Nope. Catch on fire. Because I kind of like the idea of the smokiness with the cherry and the pineapple, but I just got to get it smoky. Xander, what do you want? I'm gonna let it roll, man. Come on. I agree with you because once you pop it in, it's gonna. It chokes it. Yeah. It chokes it. Yeah, there's still an ember. Uh, yeah, but not enough to really generate the smoke. All right. We'll you, could, you could tilt it and blow into it a little bit. Yeah. That would add a little bit of a like, salt. That's a good idea. See, there you go. You got a little smoke in there now. Yeah, it just went out. Yeah, see, it went out. Yeah. Damn you! Curses. Yeah, because I barely get you can smell in there. Probably not. Yeah, really? More just. Yeah. Mm. Not rosemary. Curse you, <laughs> rosemary. Get rosemary. And we'll delicious freshness. One. Yeah, one's got yeah. some fresh alcohol on Ooh. it. Wow. Look at that. That's catching. Yep. Yeah, that's just the alcohol burning off. But. Yep. But if it catches rosemary itself, it may Waiting in breathless answers. Freeze! Everybody clap your hands. Check it out, y'all. It's out. Damn it, Jeremy. I mean, I get it, but it's really subtle. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't be. The fruit juice is going to overpower it anyway, I think. Totally. Burn flower. <laughs> See what that smells like. Closer. It's still the smell of this burn. Yeah. <clears throat> More on a carbon note than a rosemary note. Yeah. Damn it! Curses! Well. Well. Idea. Fozzie, what's going on? Welcome aboard, Fozzie. Thank you for the follow. Is the alert really loud, Bacon? Sorry about that. We can, uh, Hey Reagan, on the uh, you should be able to see on the scenes the volume for the alert box. No. 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 If you look over to the left. Are we doing another talk amongst yourselves? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so how about these crackers? Man? Oh man, those wow. crackers! Ooh, yes, huh? yes, yes. Spot on. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you. They like have no flavor, but they have Indeed. stuff that'll soak up alcohol. Indeed. So what uh, what's the best restaurant you've uh, new restaurant you've been to Thanks. lately? Um, <clears throat> Open within the last let's say six months. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. Last six months. Said, uh, or a year, if that makes it easier. Yeah. Um, okay. So over here. You know, I, I think I found one of my new favorite burgers in town at I Dean's One Trick like Pony. I have not be been there. It was in the Wine Hotel. Okay. Um, it didn't oh, open when the Wine opened. It's something that has been added since then. 
Um, um, it's just a great freeze. Sunday, Everybody, um, clap your hands. You go there Sunday Friday. Check it out, y'all. You can get a single meat version of it and fries for five freeze. Like, Everybody, yeah, clap you know, your hands. Like five or, uh, Check it out, y'all. And on a Sunday, so you can do it on the weekend. Which sorry is for spamming. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. We got a, just gonna have to be called surprised by the scro- alerts. Scrolling over there. Okay. <clears throat> Other than that, you know, I really liked, um, I really like Suerte, but that's kind of on the fence for a lot of people. Um, I don't understand that. I got to tell you, I think Suerte is outstanding. Yeah. Same. Outstanding. Ever been? Ever been? I, Where is it? Uh, it's over on East Six, right next to uh, Via Three One Three. Oh, okay. Like, literally, like the parking literally, lot. Literally, yeah. The they separation. share a parking lot. Oh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so those two are probably my. Favorite that has, that are recent. Lynn was also really good. I went to Lynn recently. Lynn's nice. Yeah, we went there like the first week they opened. I was really impressed. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, ounce and a half pineapple. I'm putting in this one instead of that freaking martini glass thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And oh, it's just lost control. Um, ounce of cherry? Yeah, that's what I would do. I'm the, or you think no equal? less than an ounce. Yeah, I would say no less than an ounce. Do you think it should go equal? Ounce and a half? Yeah, I mean... It's hard not, I mean... It would, but it's a fresh, <clears throat> so, you know, it's organic fresh cherry, so I would say... Yeah. I would, let's start with an ounce. Let's start with an ounce, ounce and you can pop it on there. If we need to bounce yeah. it up. Okay, fair. Yeah, my first instinct was an ounce. So flavor-wise, it would balance a little bit because I feel like the other one was still super pineapple. <clears throat> still thinking super pineapple. Mm-hmm. Why not? Do probably equal. Could've, yeah, equal. Yeah, probably equal. We're gonna need another half ounce in there. See if I'm on the same page as you. Oh yeah, equal. Might even do more. Might be be two and then one and a half. Like maybe it switch might be it one and a half. Maybe one and a half and one. Yeah, one and yeah. a half cherry, one pineapple. I like it better with the cherry, I think. Mm-hmm. In general, I'm more of a cherry person than a pineapple person. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Same. So maybe one yeah. and a half cherry, one of the pineapple. Yes. I think that's yeah. that's right. That's okay. Now, how do we punch it up so people <laughs> are like, this is an awesome mocktail. I feel like I'm drinking, but I'm not. <laughs> that's the challenge right there. Yeah. There's got to be something that really kicks it into gear. Is it just... It needs... I mean... Like, I feel like I need to look at, like, what some good like, mocktails again, are just be, to see what like the ingredients are. A bitter would be like... Phone. A bitter... I mean, I can, I can look it I up. I can't. I yeah, look up a thing. Let's see if we can find out what a thing is. All right, let's see. That's definitely one that was on fire. Still a fan? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think the name is inspired. Oh, the name is beautiful. Wonderful. Oh. Yeah. Should give him a steam coat of... So here's a ginger green tea mocktail, six ounce green tea. Two, oh, come on, with your pop ups. Two tablespoons ginger syrup, half ounce crushed ice, two thin shavings of ginger root. Did you barely shake miss? the tea? Sorry. I'm still shaking this train of glasses. So I mean, it's not. They're not complicated by any means. No, I can't think. Yeah. So here's a juice based one. This is a pink grapefruit margarita. So you have grapefruit juice, lime juice. Meyer lemon syrup or lime syrup. Oh, see, now that actually tastes like, actually smells like a cocktail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they, they don't get. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that cherry works with the right proportions. And like, mm. I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm down with that, man. That's that's a little bit of a sparkle. Uh huh. Yep. But Again, it also gives you that, that very clean yeah. ginger note. It's ginger beers. You ginger could. Beer. You could, I don't know if you could trick somebody into thinking that's a cocktail, but it's definitely much it's, more mocktail. It's mocktail-y, yeah. Definitely, and I think I would have no problem. Well, let's see if we can get the ratios right then. So we're going to try one and a half cherry. One and a half cherry, and then an one ounce of pineapple. pineapple. Mm-hmm. And then, I'm not sure, I mean, a half? A, like a half? Maybe a half? Yeah, maybe a half. Maybe like a, we'll start with You don't need a whole, because ginger's pretty <clears throat> strong as a yeah. flavor itself. Yeah, yeah you don't need a lot. lot. Okay, so one and a half cherry. Yes. 
See if I can do this without spilling it all over creation again. It's like it's the worst design of a glass in the history of glasses. <laughs> I don't know why somebody thought this is a good idea. I only have like four of them, so. One. And there might be a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> One of the pineapple. Like a half, maybe yeah, a half ginger beer. beer. I don't want to go overboard. Does the mocktail need to be passable as a cocktail? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah. say so, right? It has I think to that's be, the idea. Yeah, the whole point. Again, is you to... can just do a you know Sprite and soda or something. Yeah. Or, All right, here we go. It's more ginger. More ginger. More. Is it like three quarter? Or do you want to do a full one? I was. That was yeah. I will tell you in a minute. Here's another quarter. Hey, it's Angela. Hey, Angela. I remember Hi, Angela. Angela. Full one. Full, Full one. one. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. I think so. Try it first. Try it first. <laughs> All right. Before let's, I put it let's, forward, yeah. Uh, let's uh, give this a shot here. Angela. Hi, Angela. What's going on? You got to come here, Angela. Yeah, it does. It needs. It needs another quarter. Yeah, because you yeah. can barely taste it there. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's saying something with ginger. It really is, right? <clears> okay. <throat> one and a half, one, one. I think it's all right. And it's easy. At least it's a... It's better. Mm -hmm. I, I'm... One and a half, one and a half, one? Mm. Maybe. I think it has to be one and a half, one and a half, one. I think so. Yeah. No, I, I think definitely you really didn't. get that ginger and really... What we were seeing before... And the before, sparkle. And the, and the... I don't know if one and a half. Maybe one and a quarter. One and a quarter? That's fair. One and a quarter. So one and a half yeah, cherry, okay. one and a quarter ginger, one pineapple. Yes. Just like drop it by a quarter every time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm down with that. Because I think yeah. if you added a full half, that might be too much. Yes. <laughs> Angela. <It's> mocktails? <laughs> Where are my real <laughs> drinks? Has a really pregnant hurt. wife we need to consider. <laughs> <laughs> Angela, you missed the one. We already had a good cocktail. Oh, yeah. boy, did we. Agave goo goo. Agave goo goo. Agave goo goo. <laughs> so good. <laughs> It makes oh my god, the name alone just makes me happy. It makes so me almost happy. envious that he thought of that oh, right in. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so we're right. doing one and a half cherry. Yep. Boop, 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 doo, doo. We'll get back to the liquor here in a minute, Angela. Don't go anywhere. We're almost done with the mocktail. Yeah, I think we're so close. <laughs> and I, I don't know about you, this is just me. I don't like mixing, I don't like watering down juices. Watering yeah. down juices to me is kind of gross. So whenever I do like just juice like this, I never water it. Okay. There's no ice, anything like that. One. 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 That's right. One pineapple. And then one and a quarter. Ginger. Yep. One of the pineapple. Ooh. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you want to calm down over there? <laughs> no. My wife goes, where was this when I was pregnant? You are my hero. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got, like I was telling, I was saying, that's, yeah. we had the hardest time in bars and restaurants getting really nasty and snotty about it. It's hard. I would call around like, hey, do you guys do mocktails? No. One place in particular, which I probably could mention because they're no longer a thing. Oh. Um, I think. <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> yes, yeah, six months later they closed. And I didn't even do it? anything angry. I'll let you decide. All right. Got a little bit of ginger on the nose and then. That's probably. I like the color too. Mm hmm. Why do I want more ginger? <laughs> I want more ginger too, yeah. <laughs> what? It's good. It's good. It's but good. Might as well try it with more. I want to see how it is. Just compare it. You know it. what? Let's just. Actually, keep, we'll keep this one here so we have a side by side. There you go. There like you go. What do you think? Excellent. <clears throat> okay, we're going we're gonna to So we're just going to do one, one and a half, one and a half, one? One and a half, one and a half, one. Yeah. Because I think the pineapple is, is pretty solid. Yeah, the pineapple's good. Yeah, the pineapple's right on. The cherry mix is good. It's just needed that extra something to yeah. give you that illusion of a cocktail. With also being really tasty. 
feel like everyone was having babies. Holding my coworkers kid the other day, and someone asked me if I was the son. I was like, I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't you live for a while? Yes. Kids All are right. awesome. I'll never I'll never say they aren't. The other day, my uh, my son is now learning how to tell Alexa how to turn on the TV. Oh, oh, that's so he, always fun. Oh, yeah, it's dangerous because he's oh. like, Alexa, Amazon Prime. Oh, like, no, no, what? no, 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 no. Because he, he so wants to watch Wild Kratts and all like, yeah, the yeah, shows yeah. that he's really uh, into. And he actually got Alexa to turn on the TV and go to Amazon oh, Prime. Yeah. I'm oh, like, no. that's the end of an era. Yeah. That's yep. it. Next thing you know, I'll be binge watching Breaking Bad. <laughs> that's one and a half ginger beer. Did not close. One and a half cherry. Tart cherry, mm-hmm. and one of the pineapple. Now I'm curious if you would if you would do the ginger last to get some more of the sparkle. Mm. But we'll see what the flavor comes. Let's see what the flavor goes. That's a good point. And yeah, that little bit of fizziness. That's a good point. A little bit of fizziness was kind of cool. Don't be so mm. smart. Man. Don't be so <laughs> smart. God. Attention to detail. You're making smart. me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think that proportion's right. I think you got it. Way better than that. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll give it to you. you yeah, mm-hmm. you agree. I think mm-hmm. I agree with him though. Add the ginger beer last at the end. Yeah, because it's it's flattened it out a little bit. That's yep. legit. That's fair. Oh no, that's that's awesome. That'd be a, a lovely. Yeah. Mocktail. There you go. Not not a bad little mocktail there, huh? Absolutely. The key is going to be the quality of the juice, though. Like organic, mm. you know, like fresh juice, none, none of the sweetie. You use, like crappy stuff. Yeah, forget yeah. it. You're you're boned. So, so it has to be like that kind of really. I basically, have to bring them this stuff to the bar. Yeah, I think it's what you can use. <laughs> Try to use that crap you got back there. I know what you use. Yeah, really. <clears throat> uh, okay, cool. Well, let me write that down. We got a recipe. Hoo ya! Know that and we need, we a, need name. a name. Need a name. Yes. Okay, chat room. Make Come it happen. On. Gave us a good one this last time. This is on time. you. We're doing a lot of work here. It's your turn. Hmm. All right, so we have ginger. We have... You're looking for a mic block. that wirelessly hooks up to your computer for streaming. Where did you get these? Um, this is kind of an interesting... This is a little different. It's not going to hook directly into the computer. This one actually goes into a mixer, which goes into the computer. Um... But mixers are fairly cheap now. Mixers are yeah. fairly cheap. You can get a four-channel yeah. mixer for... Because you're going to get a higher... If you don't go with something direct, like purely wireless for a computer, you're going to get a better sound quality from it. Mm-hmm. So if you can afford to do it, try and keep it separate. The biggest mistake sure. I ever made when I was podcasting many moons ago was doing USB mics. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, worst no. thing. No. It was it was a terrible idea. Yeah. And it was yep. just... Yeah. So if you, if you can, keep them separate. Uh, you'll always get a better sound. You're talking to two podcasters right here. <laughs> I'm a former podcaster, yeah. unfortunately. I know. It's only so many hours in the day, unfortunately. For yeah. For stuff. Sure. Tell me about it. Oh, man. And as you know, when you start doing a show, it's you have to just keep doing it. Yeah. You can't just yeah, you can't no, take you a couple weeks no. off. That doesn't work. Yeah. No, I took I took two <clears> weeks <throat> off, and we lost subscribers like that. Oh, yeah. Just like, yeah. It's just like Especially uh, if you're new. Like, oh, yeah. It's the What is it? The first six months are like with anything, with restaurants, with... Anything that you do the first six months are like key. Yeah. You gotta be consistent with it. Yeah, so. She has a $200 budget from you now. Okay. I mean, if you're just doing a solo show with a USB mic, I mean. So, um, Audio Technica makes some cool mics that are both XLR and USB. Um, oh, that's nice. So, True. you can start there. Yeah, that's um, a great idea. And they're idea. only about, I wanna say they're only like 80 bucks or I think so. so, yeah. I have one of them. I will say the. Durability is not the best. So um, there's two different kinds. There's one that um, um, they only come in silver, and this is weird to think about, but they only mm-hmm. come in silver. And then there's one that's slightly better that only comes in black. Mm. Um, and I, I wish I knew what the model numbers were. Do you use blue mics <clears throat> at all? No. I, I mean, blue mics are great. I've used them. I, remember that's when, what I, I used to use blue snowballs. I remember when everything. the snowball came out. Yeah. Like, that was, well, that was everyone everything. Was amazing. Yeah. 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 I mean, I still, I still use a snowball for when I'm like gaming from Overwatch. Yeah. Games. I oh, use do you? On that. Yeah. That's what I use. I love that. it. I mean, yeah, my like blue snowball with a pop filter is just that's all I really need. Yeah. Audio Technica mm-hmm. gives you some options there because they, they do have mics that are USB mm-hmm. um, where you don't need a mixer. 
Mm -hmm. or if you decide to upgrade to a mixer later, they work over XLR as well. Keep in mind too, if you're if you're streaming to you now through like OBS or something, OBS has an integrated mixer in there, so you can actually do some mixing with mm -hmm. OBS. So keep that in mind too, Angela. There's a lot of stuff. We should do stuff. <coughs> and hey, Bernsey. We need a name. Hello. We still yeah, need we a name. Yeah, we still need a name. <laughs> still need a name. We're cherry ginger mash. Yeah, I know, right? Cherry Instead ginger. of a cherry We're ginger a... smash, like a gin cocktail, a cherry ginger mash. Ooh. I mean, I see where you're going with yeah, that. Yeah, all right. A cereal, oh, sure. a bit of a steal. Hey, genius is steal. Yes. Is, what's that saying? They're just saying like that. It's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah something yeah. like, you know what I'm talking about. I do. Mm. Cherry ginger mash. So Angela, you can stream to you now through OBS as well. You just have to go through a little change in the format. Um, uh, if you want, I can walk you through that, but if you can use OBS to stream to you now, and you can still get overlays and everything on you now. So it'd be like a Twitch stream on you now, which I think is kind of fancy. I don't know. I don't do a lot of you now, so. But I'm just saying, if you want, you let me know and I can help you set that stuff up, but it's possible to do. There you go. Talent borrows, genius steals. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Thank you, Fozzie. I appreciate you. Good artist borrow, great artist steal. Yes, Bacon's on there as well. Bam. Everyone's on it. Oh, you're just lazy? Well, then what are you talking? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> get out. I kid. Let's see, I'm trying to find what that mic is because they're they're pretty good. Yeah. Oh, Name now them. she's leaving. Oh. Angela's leaving. Oh. Well. Angela. Angela. Oh, come on now. What the heck, Angela? Angela. Angela. Come on. Angela. 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 I mean, we didn't even get the alcohol cocktails yeah. for you. We already had one, but we didn't even see it. I mean, zero. So, will we, so do you want to do? Was it cherry ginger mash? Oh, it's an Audio Technica AT2005 USB. Oh. Audio Technica AT2005. Roll with that, Angela. Angela. Hopefully you haven't left Angela. yet. You, you need that. a shower, you smell. I can't smell you. <laughs> no one knows. I don't know. You're not sitting here across the thing. You stay in here and you give us yeah. names for this cocktail. But cherry ginger mash is kind of good. That's too bad. Cherry that sounds mash. good. Yeah, the cherry ginger mash. It's like a almost a dance craze. <laughs> the dance craze? <laughs> From like the, <laughs> in the it, 1950s. The 60s dance craze. Yeah. Those uh, kids doing the cherry ginger mash. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, our first cocktail was called Agave Goo Goo. Oh, I just gotta, I just gotta throw that out again. Love that. That's so beautiful. <clears throat> Agave Goo Goo. That is just like... Fozzie's leaving too. Bummer. Fozzie. Come on, Fozzie. Yeah, Foz. Killing me. You're really tying Angela the room Merkel? together. We'll go with that way, Bernsey. I'll call her Merkel. I'll just call her Merkel from now on. She already <laughs> leave? She already leave? She probably yeah, she already left. Angela. I'm just gonna call her Merkel, Merkel from now on. And come back. What, what is that? Even? What, what do you mean? What are you doing? Yeah. Well, it's kind of like uh, Avery's daddy, who was in here, had a different username, mm. Janitor J. Yeah. But he was like, yeah, nobody can mess up the pronunciation of mine, so we found a way to mess it up, and that was what we called him, <laughs> Janitor Jai. Oh, there you he go. was always Janitor Jai for like a year. Nice. Was Angela one since she's twenty-one? Yeah, we're. Yeah. Yeah, so she might not even. She might, you would <laughs> no, no clue, no clue. She streams on you now up in New York. Oh, nice, New York. New York. Yeah, my wife and I moved from moved to Austin from New York. What part of New York? Uh, Manhattan. My wife, I was Upper East Side. She was uh, Hell's Kitchen. Nice. Wow. I love that. I love New York so much. Yeah, we're big fans. I grew up in Northern New Jersey, so I was ever so slowly inch my way closer to New York. And slowly but surely. Yep. And then what we got you down here. Well, A, there's only so long you can spend, <coughs> excuse me, two grand a month on, on a 400 square foot apartment. Fair. On the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Fair point. And uh, my wife got a job down here with working with her brother. All right. So she's like, you know what? And now you can get a two grand apartment down here, but it's a little bit bigger. A little bigger oh, yeah. than 400, oh, yeah. We yeah. ended up with an apartment <laughs> that was half the price and twice the size. And yeah. like, oh, can you it. call a mocktail, uh, I love you to the moon and back? I mean, you can call it whatever you want. Is there, is there a reference I'm missing? <laughs> I love you to the moon and back. I mean, it's cute because it is for a baby shower. No, oh, yeah, it's true. Just call it to, the, to, the to the moon and back. To the moon and back. Yeah, because people understand that's that. That's adorable. Yeah, that's super cute. I love that. Can your wife make all of her names? Nice job, Jane. Well, actually, between your wife and who did the first one? It was a... Uh, oh, who did it? I We, we need to remember because... Oh, it, crap. Who it, did it that? It wasn't Darkman, was it? No, no, it wasn't Darkman. Gosh, need to give that man credit or lady, whoever it was. Oh, God, who did it? Is there a... Is there a rock? No, it wasn't Angela. It was, uh, 
Look at the mirror in the back. Lord That's Mini. so sweet. Lord Minnie? No, it wasn't Lord Minnie. No. no. We'll Lord. find it. Oh, no, no, no. It was, it was Zebtrex. 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 Oh, yes. I want to make a note of that. Are you talking about Agave Gugu? Yes. yes. Agave yeah. Gugu. Yeah, that was Zebtrex. Zebtrex. Oh, Such a great name. I hate myself. I really, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> normally, <laughs> normally I'm pretty clever oh, at this. Well, there's a, yeah, yeah, there. yeah, yeah, we got you. <laughs> nice. All right, man. All right, mocktails out of the way. Yeah. Cocktails yeah. out of the way. <laughs> Liquor. Beer. Beer. Love you beer? Beer. All right. You want to start? I'm kind of digging that chocolate one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, what does this taste like? I don't even remember. Tastes like chocolate. Like a spiced chocolate. No, Mark, I'll take the ones Elizabeth can't drink. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Right. You know what? Creme de banana. Ooh, yeah. I mean, I think that is a great start. Creme de banana with. Ooh, base spirit, man. That's tough. Because beer as a base is too much. Yes, it's got to be just like. An accent, it's an what are you using from like the? That. What are you using from it? Right, you're right. using the chocolatey notes and those those kind of spice notes. Like the chocolate and the cinnamon. This tastes like a banana's foster. So you put that in there That'd and have perfect. a splash of this. It's amazing. Perfect. Just need a base. Something that's not going to compete too much. I mean. What do you think? I was just yeah, about to say tequila. Yeah, tequila, I guess, would be I mean, the most... It's just about to say tequila. It seems like it would fit the theme. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's see. I don't... But an easygoing tequila. Nothing that's yeah. too aggressive. I don't have a lot of tequila. I've gone through my tequila a lot. Um, the suerte is pretty vegetal. Siembre is very rich. I don't have a lot of siembre bias. Mmm... Mm. Let's see what tequila ocho is like. Yeah, let's do tequila ocho. Let me get this shit out of the way. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge while I, because I'll forget. Because usually after the stream's over, I like crash. I'm like, I'm tired. Get me out of here. But I don't want those to go bad. Okay. Okay, so tequila ocho. Ounce and a half. Come to banana. Grab that. Thank you. Quarter. Let's start with that. Yeah. Let's see stuff out. Do do do. Ounce and a half. Tequila ocho. I found myself laughing a lot at San Antonio Cocktail Conference because there was a day that there was a tasting day where they had tasting suites. Mm-hmm. So all these people set up a booth and you could just go by and get tastings. It started in the morning. I think it opened up around like 10, something like that. It was amazing to me how many like, I think the best descriptor is soccer mom. <laughs> so many soccer moms there just running through like grabbing the free <laughs> swag on the tables and I couldn't even get to a table to get a drink and everything. So I go up to these tables and I'd be like, yeah, I'll try one of those. You're like, oh, have you ever tried Campari? And I'm like, nope. Mm-mm. Yeah. No, that is. What's Campari? Yeah. Help, me out. Help me out a little bit. <laughs> well, have you ever had a tequila? No. No, no it's a tequila. Never. New to me. Uh, you said it. I would say half, probably. Because yeah. the, the chocolate's on the stronger side. I really do like the flavor of that beer. It's amazing. Again, it's a. I always try to, whenever I do anything like this, keep it hyper local because that's the awesome nut. That's what we do. Right. But that extra base is one of my favorite beers of the style going. We always get a whole bunch. Do you know that Violet Crown? Violet Crown's out of Bass Drop. They're coming mm-hmm. out with it tomorrow soon. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. More banana. More? I think so. <clears throat> favorite children's book is Go the F to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, you'll become an expert on, on kids' books, so you'll have to find your favorite. Oh, I'm sure. 
already, I found a few that I read when I was growing up. Like, somehow they ended up in the house. So it's three quarter. So, yeah, three quarters. Get that ready. You'll get a bunch of uh, Good Night Moons. Already have one of those. Oh, yeah. Yep, we'll have already four. Got we one have of those. four. It's awesome. We had a, and awesome. I'm not going to complain because that's no. rude, but uh, we had a shower for our family. Our family had a shower and everything right. like that. Um, it's like hardly anybody got anything off the registry. God. We like got so many blankets. Yeah, of course. So many, and we're like, these are adorable. I love them. We kind of need a crib. We kind of need a changing table. I mean, <laughs> yeah. these are the vital stuff, right? Yeah. Get in there, you stupid whatever. Yeah. We're talking about baby books during a, co a cocktail tasting kitchen. That's what. That's yeah. How, that's how we roll. <laughs> uh, what did you say, Birdsy? I miss you. I love you. She's moving back from the children's book. Guess how much I love you. Aw. It's adorable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that the one with the. I think that's one with the rabbits. Wait, you saw Elvira? Where did you see Elvira? And we need a stream of me reading the Dr. Seuss book. Fox and socks. I'm in it. Because <laughs> yeah. our theme for the nursery is kind of woodland, so we've mm, got a cool. ton of foxes and everything like there that. We've go. got so many foxes and bears and stuff. I like it. Stupid martini glass. Cursed. I hate you. Cursed vessel. I hate vessel. you. I hate glass. You. Cursed vessel. You're the worst. Do we want to measure it or do we just want to splash it? I would say just splash it probably. Right. That was a yeah, that's a big splash. Wow. <laughs> that was an aggressive splash. I'm just surprised how subtle that spice that was on it. <clears throat> poker face. Yeah. Poker face. I feel like the flavors are there, but they're not coalescing. I think you oversplashed the beer. Yeah. Well, I don't know because it's the banana is nice. I guess the banana. There's in definitely there. a, a sweetness to it that maybe needs to be cut. So less of a banana. Well, think about it too because the chocolate in that beer is gonna be sweet as well. Fair enough. So I would say probably splash less of it. Okay. And yeah. maybe you think cut the banana too, or because I would say cut one or the other, but not I didn't, not both. I didn't get enough banana when I tasted it. I really it was getting buried by the tequila. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure I had enough. So that's why I did a three-quarter banana. Right. right. I did an ounce and a half tequila, three-quarter banana. So what do you think a was... heavy splash. A heavy, heavy. <laughs> More of a splorsh yeah, than yeah, a splash. Yeah, a splorsh, a splorsh. <laughs> think the technical term is a fuck ton. Morkin, um, morkin. <laughs> All right, we'll try this again. Uh, I'm going to do three-quarter banana. By the way, still one of the best liqueurs on the market. Like... A stellar. Have you had this straight? No, I don't think I have actually. Give me a thing because you need to make this happen. Thank you. Oh, that's good. That's really nice. That's it. Okay, three quarter banana. That almost has like barely. Oh my scent. god, that is a, that's incredible. Right? Wow, you can do so much with that. I'm sure you probably use oh. this in a lot of stuff. Like a mellow sweetness. That's what Ooh, that's yeah. what this is. Mellow sweetness. That's not over bright. Oh wow, that's good. That's, that's awesome. Good. We went super crazy last week, and I think that recipe is going to hit YouTube. Maybe next week. I'm not sure. Use chocolate milk with it. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh man, that's not. That's it's really that's, good. That's crazy. Ounce and a half tequila. And how much did you do of the? Uh, Three quarter. Three quarter. Okay. I think I think this is the note that I have from that though. Oh really? You know what? Yeah. Now that I taste this. So you straight, think we're there wasn't enough of the? Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking there needs to be more beer. Maybe not even cutting, but maybe a heavier. A splash. heavier sploosh. Yeah. Sploosh. Okay. So I'll measure a uh, half ounce. We'll taste it, see what it's like. If we need more, I'll measure another half ounce. We'll go from Easy. there. Easy. And then we'll have an idea. Yeah. At least no. Because now that I tasted this on its own, I think that's the flavor that I get more forward on mm -hmm. the that's cocktail. Fair. Again, good, but you know, it's 
just, it wasn't quite coming together, you yeah. know? I think I was definitely wanting a lot more of the, of the spicy chocolate mm -hmm. than you were getting. Okay. I mean, we could go nuts and force that spice out with the garnish. Ooh. So have some nutmeg. Ground some nutmeg yep. on top. I think that would actually be really good. Um, you think? Possibly. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's see what this is like first. Yeah, let's yeah, let's not get let's not go crazy. Let's yet, not get ahead of Just slow down a little bit here, all right? Just slow down. Whatever. Uh, half an ounce. Yeah, it's a little bit darker. Dark. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like yeah. that. Yeah. It's definitely an improvement. Yep, I like that. You get more of the chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Oh I, yeah. That's, that's what I really like. Me. I like the chocolate that's coming through. Yeah. yeah. The banana is not there up front, but it's underneath. It's it hanging all. out there. Oh, absolutely! Because, you, you can distinguish that, each part because the sweetness you get from this is that banana. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the beer itself too. That thing, and that milk chocolate kind of like not quite milk chocolate, but it tastes like chocolate. chocolate. It tastes like, like chocolate yeah. milk to me. Oh no! I'm gonna put it all in there. Yeah, because the chocolate um, it le it leaves that bitter note as well. I'm just curious what a little bit of nutmeg will do to it. Mm -hmm. Is that it? That's it. That's it. I'm glad they're in different glasses. Yeah. Who's just thinking of that? Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> better on the nose? It was super tequila, tequila yes. on the nose. I super like the nose with the nutmeg better. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that nose. Oh, yeah. Nose I like is that great a lot. with the nutmeg on top. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm a fan. That's yeah, a, that's good. That's good. I think that's a, that's a winner. Oh, yeah, three that's a winner three thumbs up. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Yep. Triumvirate high five. I love it when we can get that together, which is like, that was like two tries. Bam, bam. That was easy. And it was a beer cocktail. I know. I know. Holy crap. Challenge met and... <clears throat> Challenge accepted so, 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 and met. Yeah, that's it. Challenge accepted and met. Like fighting fencers? What? So what's the name of this beer? This is the... Uh, Excovesa. Excovesa. My wife loves the Excovesa. Excovesa? Your wife has good taste. Oh yeah, that's her favorite. That's what I'm wearing. Whenever that comes out, it's a seasonal, so it's... But what would it need to do? Oh. Very interesting. Hmm. That might be too powerful. Because Anise is pretty strong. It might be, but it might be awesome. I mean, if you have it, obviously, we're going <laughs> to try it. <laughs> Do what? I'm somewhat most insulted. I mean, a little absinthe on top will give us the Anise. Just a spray. I mean, there's not much left in there, so I don't think it'll be overpowering. You're right. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's fair. No, this yeah, is yeah. far back. Mm. Well, now that is interesting. Mm -hmm. Ms. Tucker? That is very interesting. Definitely overpowers the nose. Yes. Yeah, but it's also a small pour, like we're, mm. we're halfway through it. Wow, I don't know. I don't know if it needs it, but it's, I don't mind the fact it's there. It doesn't suck. No, it does not. I'd almost be curious. Just I, think, another, I think we need to do another. We need to do another. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did you see that donation link in the bottom? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that donation link. Okay, I did three quarter banana. Three quarter banana. It was an uh, ounce and a half of the tequila. Mm -hmm. And then half ounce of the beer. Yes. 
The beer. The, the beer. Three quarter banana. Ounce and a half to kilo ocho. I've got that Paloma Loco song stuck in my head now. <laughs> tequila ocho. Ounce and a half of tequila ocho. That's cool stuff. <laughs> Ounce and a half. Stir that up. I'm glad this beer was a success. I was yeah. I was hoping at least one out of three would be would be yeah. Uh, would that's be that's, that's, that's a good. big success. Yeah. yeah. I feel like so. I'm not a beer guy. I admit it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's one of the reasons is because I've had a lot of shitty beer. There are a lot of shitty beers out there. Shitty beers. I also the feel likelihood like of getting a shitty beer is way higher. Way higher. <laughs> yes. And way like, higher. There's lots of average beers and quite a few. There's there's really good ones out there, but you need to know where, where yeah, to look right, and where to right. get it. Um, I also feel like beer in general, when I'm out drinking, I like get so full so fast. That's a big complaint about it. I mean, the one thing I always tell people when they, <clears throat> they drink at bars or have beer and they say, oh, it, it fills me up. Never drink it out of a can or never drink it out of the bottle. And the reason that causes a problem is that you're swallowing all that CO2 mm. that's expected to be released in the glass. Uh, in, oh, in glass. interesting. So never drink beer out of the bottle or a can. I even a solo, even a solo cup. I mean, it doesn't disperse the aromas right. properly because it's plastic. But um, even just a shaker glass, which I feel about shaker glasses the way you feel about martini glasses, how they're really? kind of a little useless. They're convenient. <laughs> they're nice. They yeah. just don't do anything. But even that. I mean, so, if you have some shaker glasses, just use those. Important question. Yes. Are you going to spritz the glass or spritz the head? Spritz the head. Okay. You think the glass? I don't know. Depends on how much you want in it. Well, here's the thing. What kind of aromatics do you want? Do you want the aromatics of the beer coming out or do you want aromatics of the spritz? I would say the beer. So I'm thinking you might want to spritz the glass. You want to spritz the glass? I think the That's glass. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Again, what I liked about it was that those chocolatey the cho notes yeah. and the yeah. I mean that's that's fair. That's fair. Do we still put the nutmeg on top? Yeah, I I'm 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 a fan. Oh, I don't know. I mean, that's something we can try after. The yes, let's well. try fair, without the nutmeg fair, and then we'll just nutmeg. nutmeg. My <laughs> <laughs> you just spray the camera. <laughs> the fuck with <was> that. <laughs> uh, apparently, there's a Tremors Five with Michael Gross and oh, Kevin God. Bacon. Maybe. You know, Tremors used to scare the crap out of me when I was a Tremors kid. Tremors is amazing. Oh, yeah, the first one was great. So amazing. Man, so oh. anytime I see it on TV, I'm like, no. <laughs> well, here's, here's the movie question. M Robocop 2, are you a fan? never saw it. What? True story. It's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. I can't say I remember it enough okay. to have an opinion. I recommend giving it a read. I know Robocop time. 1 is super over the top. Half an ounce? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. half an ounce. Robocop 1 is... Near it's perfect. Just, it's almost perfect. Yeah, it's, it's just almost a perfect so movie. absurd. <laughs> it's absurd, but it's got satire yeah. and it's funny. It's like that super over the top, hyper violent, eighties gore. You know. See, that's. I think that's. Yeah, that's like that. Like that aroma a lot. Yeah. See, because you can still get the absinthe, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but it's mostly the chocolate. Oh yeah, I like that. I don't even know if you need another. We can try it, but oh, I want to try it for sure. Oh, I like that a lot. That's great. Oh, that's Let's see great. What happens with a little nutmeg on top of this thing? Mmm. Dive in. I won't. Oh, I won't. Tejas Cajun ATX knows that guy. Oh, I had somebody that was asking who the guests were. So, why don't you guys introduce yourself while you're tasting? Uh, uh, Bill Tucker. With Bill, the, Bill Tucker. Tucker. Yum. Um, <laughs> with, the, uh, with the Austin Ott, lead blogger. And uh, evidently meme generating person on Twitch chats when I'm drinking and watching this show. John Kulo. Uh, I have ATX Food Guy on Instagram and the World Wide Web. Uh, I, I travel around, I eat and I drink, and I share my experiences with people. I kind of like the nutmeg. I do, but I don't. Know I don't think it's enough. necessary. I don't think it's, it's necessary, necessary either. I think it, it almost felt distracting. It, to me it gives a. It, it changes the 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 head more to like a peppery note as opposed mm. to the chocolate. That yeah, I yeah, good point. Yep, good point. Future, good point. Who? Te Teos Cajun. <clears throat> who do you know? 
Do you guys know Teos Cajun ATX? I don't know. I don't know. They're local. But Clearly. We local. We don't know. Aware. I mean, maybe you're local. Maybe you're from <laughs> Atlanta, Xanadu. <laughs> nice. It could be a thing. Yo. Two o'clock. Hey, What's Adam? up? I, what know, up? I, know, I, I know that guy. Two o'clock. I don't know him personally. Two o'clock. I know, I know him from is? the chats. Do you know who this is? Two o'clock? It's Bill Tucker. Yum. Yum. <laughs> wow, that's a long one. What is this? Again, like I said, like I said before, it's almost like the uh, the jingle to a product I haven't invented. Yet. Uh, right. But, yeah. Well, it's actually uh, Red Robin. Oh, uh, is that what that is? Yeah, Red like, oh, well, Robin. So it's just a, it's the uh, it's the copyright infringement. Oh that, yeah, we're totally infringing yeah, yeah. copyright that I haven't invented exactly. yet. Right. Okay. Right. Absolutely. Very so good. don't don't take that anywhere. NBC, <laughs> man up. Who is NBC? What's going on at o'clock? Bill Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey there. Okay, someone knows me. Awesome. Hey, Tejas. Apparently. Apparently. So, uh, yeah, that's, anise that's spritz on the glass. Yes. Mm-hmm. As opposed to the top. Mm-hmm. And then uh, tequila. I was going to have tequila. Banana, three quarter, three quarter banana, banana. And a half, half of, of the uh, Escobesa. Escobesa. Man burger, of course, equals he knows me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. And that's. Um, don't look at me. I can't yeah. help it. <laughs> That's not why you're looking at anybody else. Troy, I know. Yeah, like, there's nothing hey, there. Don't... Oh, I know. Yeah, Troy, I know. Hey, Troy, chat room. Hey. Guess what? Name. We need a time. name. Ah, oh, hey, yes. Hey. That's the name. Uh, ounce and a half tequila ocho. Yep. One and one half ounce tequila. You know, I always get bugged whenever I would go to like liquor stores and be like, yeah, I'm doing a cocktail stream. So when you get some tequila, it's like, well, if you're just making cocktails, just use that. And I'm like, no, 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 Let's back this up. Yeah, it's like, let's rewind. Let's reset expectations here a little bit. It's like, not all tequilas are the same. No. If I use a different tequila in this, it's going to be a different drink, hands down. Yeah. If I use Freeze! Everybody clap your hands. Check it out, y'all. Hey, you know what? Here, I'll help you out. Yeah. Yeah, we should finish it. Huh? <laughs> hey, thanks for the bits, Jolly Cajun. bit me. Ooh. Mm, that's good. You need to explain to me, what are bits? I don't understand these things. It's kind of like a Twitch currency. So yes. on Twitch, you can get <clears throat> bits, and then you can give them to streamers. Right. And then part of that goes to the streamer to support the stream. So it's like a, a micro, like a micro transaction y currency thing. Like exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people have bits and they'll just use them and they get little bonuses and you cool okay. do cool little things in stream like that. Nice. Um, I do appreciate the bits, Cajun. Gotta stock that damn bar. Indeed. Okay, we did one and a half the swear tank. Three quarter banana. Rip ears. <laughs> yeah, RIP ears. What what, what, what Are we did we scream? No, the alert. Oh, the alert. Yeah. Why is the alert so loud? Reagan, no, turn it down. I tried to find the setting. I can't find it. Turn down, Reagan. Reagan, turn it down. <laughs> Try harder. Try harder, Reagan. <laughs> You're not trying hard enough. <laughs> Una paloma loca. Freeze! Everybody clap your hands. Check it out, y'all. Oh, I forgot. Um, just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. 100 bits. I'll read that message. If you donate enough, it might read the message you sent. There, 100 bits. Oh, really? Is that what it is? <laughs> it works. <laughs> Voice of God today is Reagan. Reagan, say hi to Avery. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth is out of town. I'm going to try to draft Reagan in to do this more often, I'm not going to lie, because with the baby coming and everything like that, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get Elizabeth's undivided attention for five hours at a time. That's yeah, challenging. Where's the baby's room? Um, Is so it far know, enough where she won't be able to hear, or he or she? Well, but, here's the fun thing, okay. right? Let me check this. So it's in, you know where the bathroom was? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Bathroom? Right there. There's okay. another door that leads into the nursery. We actually put some foam insulation in that wall. So oh, good. So that's helpful. Yes. Here's the, the bad thing. I'm about to start another RPG stream, and the players will be sitting on the opposite side of that wall. Oh. Mm. Is so it another yeah. D&D tree stream, or...? Uh, not D&D. Star Trek Adventures. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> I do all sorts of shit. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know this about me. I, I, <laughs> yes. I watched, I think, maybe, maybe 10 minutes of one of your D&D streams, and I've never played D&D in my life. 
Yeah. I, I thought it was interesting how storytelling it is. And oh, like, it is, yeah. It's super, I was very fascinated by it. So. I mean, there, there's, you can play it however you want, but the system is set up for role play. Yeah. That is what it's set up to do. I have a terrible name for it. Oh, I, I still. I, I still love you already have a name for it, but do that. Let's go What's for the it. name? This is this is pretty bad. He's not, you're actually turning yeah, slightly this, red. This is a chocolate starfish. Oh. <laughs> Anise. I mean, I've heard Anise. worse. Oh, okay, yeah. And the chocolate from the beer. It's not. It's not the worst. No, I mean, no. Yeah. the connotation though. The connotation is suspect. I mean, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's not. It's not okay. the worst thing in the world. Same drink with Suerte tequila, which is a little more vegetal and grassy. D and D is so fun. You're right, Bacon. It is fun. I've been playing it for three years, <laughs> live streaming that stuff. Definitely has a different nose. No, definitely mm. different end flavor. I think I prefer the first one. Still good, but I think I prefer Yeah, it's still it. good. But yeah, but the <clears throat> kilo is better. Yeah, it's just a definitely. Yeah. I think it's a higher quality. So the lesson learned here, folks, is when you're going to the liquor store and you say that you want a certain spirit for a cocktail, don't let them sell you shit. Because it matters. It really does matter. Remember that. Ingredients matter. It's true. Man. Whether it's in Anything. food or cocktails. Yes. Absolutely. Don't Avery's stink. been loving Vampire the Masquerade. Would love to see Birdie play a vampire. Oh, God, Avery. Oh, my head kind of hurts with the thought of Birdie playing a vampire. Oh. Is there a theme tonight? We're kind of past the theme because I needed to make cocktails. Just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. a couple. And a mocktail. <clears throat> a cocktail for the non-pregnant people and a mocktail for the... Pregnant or people who don't drink people. Yeah. <laughs> Burnsy. Uh, get involved by watching. I'll tell you this right now. Starting March 12th. So. All right. Starting March 12th. Mm -hmm. Weekly Star Trek Adventures. Not bi-weekly like D&D. Weekly. For those of you who are regulars in the chat, you know what I'm talking about. For you guys, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Keep the thing. Do what now? <laughs> I actually yeah. popped on to um, whoever was streaming last night on Overwatch. I popped them for like... Oh, Stephanie. Stephanie, yes. Mm -hmm. That was fun. I, every time I watch people play Overwatch, I'm like baffled by all this stuff going on because so I don't... stuff. I can't. I can't handle it. There is so much stuff going on and I love doing it. It's one of my regular streams, Overwatch Wednesdays, mm -hmm. which is going to be weird because... The Star Trek streams are going to be on Tuesdays. It's going to be weekly, which means this stream is going to have to move to Wednesday, which means once a month, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be playing Overwatch on Wednesday, and my head might explode. I don't know. It's weird. We're going to have to. We're going to have to adapt. All agree that the Tequila Ocho is the better option. Yes. Yes. We have a name. Yeah. Oh, we don't have a name. Other than Chocolate Starfish. <laughs> I mean. I mean, if you want, and listen, if you want to roll, hey. I mean, I can't think of anything better. My name game is just <laughs> off today. I didn't even finish writing the recipe. Awesome. One and a half tequila ocho, mm -hmm. three, three quarter creme de banana. Yep. Then half of the Exco Mesa. One half. I gotta learn how to spell that. Yeah. I mean, any, again, so, any Mexican, Mexican um, or mole stout will do. I didn't even know that was a, that was a genre. Yeah. yeah. Neither did I, right? I yeah, Lakewood makes great. a mole stout, which is really good. Um, I'm trying to think of others that are kind of local to Austin, at least. But that's the one. Be, that's the one that'll be most widely available. It's still okay. distributed everywhere. Right. It's still a seasonal release, so you're not gonna find that every year, all year round. Yeah. Burnsy, brand new cast, no returning cast. Six brand new people in the Star Trek mm. RPG. What? True story. Six brand new people. Ambitious. I really is actually. I'm a little terrified. <laughs> It'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Um, Good shit matters on making great drinks, right, Zeb? Good shit matters. Um, I, it really bugs me when people say don't use a good whiskey in a cocktail. It's like, why not? I yeah. yeah. Why would you not use a good whiskey in a cocktail? My wife has a story about. What am I looking at? Is it, is it another name? Oh, Zeb Stone banana. Stone banana. Well, F it then. <laughs> Burnsy, no. 
Isn't the beer from Stone? This is uh, yep. Stone, yeah. Yep. Yep. Stone. Exabesa. I mean, Stone Banana is all right. Stone Banana. Um... We'll, we'll put that down as a possibility. <coughs> Stone Banana. That'd be a different. Choco Nana. Choco. I'm just going to start word clouding here. It's fine, man. That's the best way to name stuff. <laughs> Although some people, when they say we're making cocktails, they say like, Start with the name. And Freeze! Everybody Maybe clap your hands. After the name for this, let's Check it out, y'all. Oh, Lord. Let's make a cocktail. That'll be fun. Yeah. Because we're kind of on a roll tonight, it seems like. Chats we're doing mind. good. Yeah. I will say, last month set the record for cocktails made. I remember that. It was like seven. Six. six oh, no, it was seven. It yeah. was seven, yeah. It was seven because wow. we corrected another one that needed a little adjustment. Right. And then we did six brand new ones. So it was seven total. Nice. It was... <laughs> uh huh. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Rainbow, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Una paloma loc. I don't know. Okay. Uh, still need a name. Stone banana is all we've got, and I'm not sure I'm in love with it. Right. Um, I mean, nothing it's a personal. Point. Start, start point. Zeb, I like what you're going with. It's not an agave goo goo, but I like what you're going with. So keep rolling. Banana nana. It says Ms. Tucker. Banana, banana. So, so the key on this is like it's not it's not banana it's not a banana flavor it's, it's more really chocolate not, yeah it's, it's more, more chocolate. chocolate and good so, point they so don't when we say that, the it's, Amar, it's an amari um, banana is like it's, it's hard to describe it's more of a, a sweeter mellow kind of flavor and yes. we're getting more of a chocolate tequila out of it than yes anything. it's almost like the the banana is acting as a simple right yeah almost at that yeah. point. I would say Choco, chocolate. Oh, well, it's oh, chocolate, chocolate. like chocolate. mole, but chocolate. Yeah, yeah. chocolate. I like that. <sighs> Could your wife make all of our names? Yes, yeah. Jane, you uh, need to be on the stream every month now. You have to be. Oh man, that'll make that our uh, was the first or second Tuesday of the month tradition. Let's hang out, watch the stream, and make up names. What, what does that say? Wednesday. Co was it Wednesday? Coco Agave. Starting, starting in. Oh, that's April. right. You're moving, April. You moving to Wednesday. Which is going to be weird because like we're due April twenty fifth, so it's mm. going to there might be a break in streams for a little while. Uh, Coco Agave, I like. As long as you don't cross the streams, you're all right. Yeah, then we're fine. Otherwise, we don't even bad things. Are really bad right. things. Yeah, it all goes crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, think I think so chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate sounds really good. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, I like that. You have to be here to the, every stream. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it, it alludes to the Mexican aspect yes. of it. It's beautiful. Yeah, chocolate. Perfectly done. Like Perfectly that. done. Excellent. Cool. Now, Thunder. here's here's the real challenge. What's the name of the next train? Just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. The world is your proverbial oyster. Yeah. I've been the drinking oyster. for two hours. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not letting this go. Oh, away, man. So. We're almost at yeah, 10 o'clock. It's almost, yeah. I mean, two and a half hours. Two, two hours and 40 minutes. Yeah. Hmm. Burnsy, thank you for the bits, Burnsies. I appreciate that. That helps me keep this show going because this is hard to do. But thank you, Burnsy. appreciate all the bits. Even Zeb likes chocolate. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Olé. Yeah, chocolate. Chocolate. And you have to put that's your right. hand up because that's where the you accent is. You gotta add is. the accent on the E. Hold on, yeah. hold on, huh? Chocolate. Yes. <laughs> arrow. Put Kill it hands with the up. Exclamation point. Chocolate. <clears throat> yes. The name of this cocktail is the chocolate. <laughs> I like it. All right, so. I like it a lot, actually. Name of the cocktail. Since we're in Austin, maybe some, we'll start with the Austonian. The Austonian. All right. Make, something make a new that, signature cocktail for Austin. For Austin. I already have one. Oh. Uh-oh. But nobody knows. So make a new-new. <laughs> Damn it, but I really like the other one. The Austin Negroni is one of my favorite Austin drinks I've Negroni. ever made. Yeah, that's awesome. It's so good. I'm going to make you an Austin Negroni. Yeah, let's Please do, do it. it. I love Negronis. Yeah, I'm all about it. Actually, you know what? I'm not the biggest fan of white Negronis. But, Fair. you know, I, I think fair. the Lilith Blanc kind of, I'm not a huge fan of it. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I like Lilith in general compared to some other things, but yeah. I think there are other things. Like Dolan, anything Dolan, I'm not oh, really Dolan. I, had a good, I had a good drink in Denver at Cooper Lounge in Union Station. Oh, yeah? Uh, the Diplomat. Do tell. It was, uh, let's see, Dolan Dry... I'm trying to think. I actually just posted it. Um, let's take a look. 
I always put the ingredients if I can remember them. <clears throat> I feel like I've read that. I like I've read about it. Let's see. For those of you at home, this is one ounce of the Desert Door Sotol. Uh, varying. The different Sotols are very different. Be aware. So this is the Desert Door Sotol. So the Diplomat is Dolan Dry, Carpano Antica, Cochi di Torino, Luxardo, Maraschino liqueur, and aromatic bitters. Mm, that sounds really good, actually. It's really good. Zeb is heading out. Zeb said no, Zeb. Zeb no. Zeb no. This is supposed to be three quarter to Miko Amaro, but I may have poured a little heavy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later, hey. Zeb. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully, you can come back again next month. I love me some tomorrow. Just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. Oh, Zeb, thanks for the bits. Appreciate you. Ugh. And we're going to do one. Just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. Parts, but I find the Amico Amaro to be a little bit aggressive, so I like to pull it down a little bit. So this is maybe a little... And the base was so tall. Does yes. it work? Mm -hmm. I still need to visit them. It's interesting. I actually heard um, some stuff about them. Um, I see the drink, but this is a food and drink stream, right? You know what? It's very interesting. The other day, we were watching Great <clears throat> British Baking Show. Mm -hmm. okay. I love that show. Great, or Great British Baking Show? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Baking my wife show. and I are obsessed. It's yeah. amazing. It's wonderful. It is freaking amazing. And at Mignana, they have a patisserie book up there. It's like a thick book. And it goes step by step to make every French patisserie you could ever want. And I'm like, Beautiful. this is my new life. That's amazing. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do. So who knows? Give me another six months, and there may be another stream with me baking patisserie. <laughs> baking patisserie, I also like Le Palatine. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a great space. And oh, right on. Pretty great menu. Cool. They've been out, you know, probably about a year and a half, two okay. years now. Cool. They did close for a while to, I don't know what they actually did when they closed, but they did close for a while. Who's this? Le Palatine. Oh, yeah, they heard completely like reopened and rebranded. Yeah. Not, I shouldn't say rebranded, but they yeah, like rebranded. Re yeah, it's not rebranded. Yeah, I think they adjusted their menu a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but they have a separate patisserie. Yeah. Um, that if you just like for breakfast or whatever, you're going to pop in there and get your like croissant or something. And it's yeah. there for you. It's really nice. It's really their good. The cinnamon rolls are phenomenal. I'm really See, curious what the new restaurant's roll. like. Because when we went there before, I thought it was good, but I didn't think it. Sorry. I didn't think it lived up to what I was expecting. Right. Um, so I'm curious what the rebrand is like. And also, if you like French pastries, Mignana. Oh. Because um, Amanda Rockman, who is the pastry chef for the group over there, she studied under a French patissier. Lovely. And <clears throat> she does amazing stuff. Nice. Really nice stuff. I actually overheard there was a... Um, I was in there working the other day. So people came in and got some pastries. And they came over and like brought her a drink. She's like, was this a French trained uh, chef? And he's like, I don't know. I was like, yeah, she really was. Yeah. <laughs> but like a French person, like, yeah, this is yeah. this is legit French. So it's the Austin Negroni or the Longhorn. Hmm. I like the color. It's Sounds definitely it's kind of a burnt orange. orange, orange yeah. Yeah. Right. right. And I actually went really crazy when I did it is I had two orange strips, so I had little on each side, so it was like, oh, yeah. Oh, fun. I'm not going to do that. Clever. Right there. Oop, tore that up a little bit. All right, man. Thank you. Ooh. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I love it. It's approachable, well balanced. I guess that I've never had it. The mm. jasmine liqueur is that giving what's that that um. Yeah, what is the flavor? Of, yeah, I'm of just that? trying to. Give me a shot glasses. I'll uh, let you know. Yeah, right. It's a great liqueur. It's um, definitely floral and sweet. That's what I'm guessing because that's that floral. That's delicious. That it's would... definitely a strong bitterness. Mm, mm, that's the, the amico, back of the throat, which I like. Which is why I actually toned it down a little bit. I'm a little mad that I got the overpour on that for you guys because I normally bring that down. That's probably a little. Probably about a quarter ounce too much. Personally, I, I love a bitter drink. Um, you know, one of my go-tos is like Boulevardier, Negroni. Sure. You know, yeah. obviously like a regular Negroni. Ooh, I love the smell of that. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah, the rum is, rum is really tasty on that. It's like a nice, like, brown sugary. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's got a, yeah, like that little rich, like the brown sugar. Oh. A little bit of like, like, like a, like a, almost like a root beer kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Almost like, yeah, like a, wow, I like that a lot. That's delicious. And they're local, huh? Yeah, they're out of Bastrop. I like Crown Spirits. I nice. can't get over there. It's it's great. They don't actually have a place you can visit. Oh, that's. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's delicious. That's good. It's, I like to use it, and I've started to do this more and more. Uh, when I first started doing this, I was using a lot of simple syrups. Yeah. But I'm liking to use my sweetness through liqueurs more than sure. just a straight sweet mm-hmm. because there's so much more complexity involved with it. So I like using like the jasmine, or Ooh. the creme de noyau. I mean, all this stuff is great. Smell that as it's rusted. It's completely changed. It really has. Like the tequila's kind of burned off. Uh huh. I don't know if it. I didn't. Just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. Changed it? I'm trying to remember. I don't think it's. You know, I'm still getting a lot of chocolate. I don't know. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't think it's necessarily uh, changed yeah, it, but it's definitely but, a different nose. Yeah, the nose is way different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some, yeah, like you said, something's kind of burned off. Well, that's interesting. Huh. I wonder why that happened. Hmm. I mean, it's still good. It's, yeah, it's still very good. good. Still very good. good. Yeah. Obviously, we have a lot of drinks here that I'm trying to... <laughs> I know. Not <laughs> 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 really. It should be... Well, that is... That was good. <laughs> that's good. Actually, uh, the, 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 the back on this one is, has changed, for sure. You get a little more spice. I think yeah, I'm like, getting a little mm-hmm. more spice. Well, I'm just having a groaning in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> this is like what a, happens. <laughs> it's more of like a toasted chocolate on the back, in my opinion. That's interesting. Yeah. And I actually wonder, because the creme de banana to me kind of tastes like a <clears throat> banana's foster, mm-hmm. oh. like a roasted banana kind could, of thing. Could be getting it from that. So I think maybe that's where that's coming from. Mm, sure. It's still good. I feel like the spice lingers a I wonder. More. I wonder how different this would be if you shook it. Shook what? Yeah, shook the, the, the initial like, two ingredients yeah. and, then, and then floated? Or right, floated. And, then, and then floated the beer. Yeah. Because you're, you're breaking it a little bit. I mean, we you're can see what happens. more air. You can see what happens. It is a test kitchen. That is the name of the show. <laughs> it is the cocktail test I, kitchen. I really like that toasted chocolate yeah, yeah. note yeah. on the back. Yeah. Oh. Let's give it a shot. What and that gives you a little bit more of a flair, like cho- chocolate. Chocolate! Chocolate! Oh, it's true. Chocolate! Chocolate! And then you need some Mexican, like some mariachi. <laughs> yeah. mariachi. If I get somebody behind me when I do the recipe video, yeah. do either of you know how to do the mariachi thing? No. Because you can come behind me. I, 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 can, I, I, can, I can make sing. the, uh, I can make the <laughs> oh, yeah, noise. I can, I can grito. Like, <laughs> is that what that know. is? Yeah. <laughs> grito is, a grito? What, that means yell, I think. In, oh, is that what that is? Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Anyone in the chat room? You're wrong! Jamie, that was so good. Yeah, that was so good. One and a half tequila. One and a half tequila. Three quarters. Three quarter banana. Three quarter banana. Ban- banana. One half of the. Thank you. Yes, sir. You're wrong, says Dark Man. What? <laughs> what are you wrong about? Oh, are, uh, about uh, is it cry? About, about a grito? It, it, it's something like that, like cry or or scream. Yep. What is it? Don't just tell me you're wrong. Tell us <laughs> <the> an- <laughs> what the answer is. the answer, Dark. Come on. <laughs> you're not helping. You're part of the problem. I said that. I don't think we're going to get an answer. Yeah, answer. No. We just got Someone a flat Google, denial. Google Translate? Nope. <laughs> high cane powder is the secret ingredient, says Burnsy. Have I said hi, Burnsy? I'm sure I have. So you've been out here a while, but hi, Burnsy. I love when you show up, Burnsy. All right, shake up. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're off the bench. 
or mariachi doesn't do the scream. I think that's where we're falling short. Mariachi doesn't do the scream according to Dork. Mariachi's don't, uh, I guess that's ranchero music, is that correct? The ranchero instead of mariachi. <clears throat> yeah, I'm double straining so I don't get ice chips. I hate More ice chips. More of a chente kind of thing. Ooh, that's a totally different color. <laughs> <Look at laughs> it really is, right? Holy wow. cow. Now we still don't have the beer in there. Right, so. right. But still, just the milkiness of that, it's... That's amazing. It's astounding. It's more of a banana <laughs> color now. Yes, it oh, is. True. All right. That's astounding. Half, so half ounce. ounce. I do believe this is an entirely different cocktail. Yeah. This will be the hazy Olay. Ooh, and I like that. Mm hmm. That's interesting. It is interesting. It looks right now like a banana pudding. Yeah, it does. Or like, yeah. To me, it looks <clears> from the top. That's cool. It's actually separating a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that on stream. Yeah, that's it's separating. Huh. Hmm. Intriguing. Intriguing. Unexpected. <laughs> Fascinating. Interesting reaction. Speaking of Star Trek, yes. fascinating. Yes. It's a totally different drink. Totally different drink. Mm -hmm. That aeration mm -hmm. blows it out. I like the original better. The chocolate's more present. There's more banana in that than. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm legitimately surprised. I'm but shocked I do by taste that. More like how, how different that is. Yeah. Just, yeah. By, just shaking. by shaking. Because when you suggested shaking, I'm like, it's not going to make that big a difference. We didn't do the, sp the spray. Oh, fuck me. Fuck. Ah, that's just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. <laughs> I want to spray towards me. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Yeah, go for it. Oh, there's a lot of bad names. That, 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 adds, <laughs> that adds that toasted flavor. So it's the anise. Mm. That's it. Do you don't taste it? No, I do, but I mean, like, mm. what the fuck? Yeah, like, the, I wasn't expecting that. Mm. Science, y'all. Science. Explain this to me. <clears throat> Now it's got more complete. Yeah. yeah. I prefer the original though. Yeah. Personally, I just like the chocolate and the mole. Spices. The chocolate is definitely more it's present all in the, the first one. Yeah, yeah, this chocolate's way in the back. You know what I forgot to put down on this recipe was the anise. Yes, that's, that's anise. vital. That's yeah. vital to this. Shockingly important. Intriguing. So maybe we have two cocktails out of that. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's Shaking interesting. and a stir variety. So stir... Yeah, it's getting that time. <laughs> shaken, do we agree that the shaken is more banana? Way more. Yeah, yeah I agree with I that. I believe so. How does that even to happen? It's like toasted chocolate banana. Or toasted banana the chocolate. The toasted banana. Because the chocolate really isn't very present at all with the, the shaken one. Mm -mm. No, it's, it's really just not. really not. It's just like it's, it's very, they don't even catch up the Mexican spice. It's totally like the bananas overpowers. It. I wonder because you noticed how it was separating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was that because the chocolate was at the bottom of the separation? Where's the glass? This is the glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, of course, they have the anise in there now, so. I'm but yeah. Mm. Go for it, man. Please don't make me. I don't know. Do that all myself. It's definitely more banana, and I don't understand why. That doesn't make sense. I mean, does it, did the shaking break it up and produce more of the, like, I don't know. I, mean, I, I don't know. It doesn't make logical sense. Yeah, I mean, theoretically yeah. speaking, like, chemistry part of me says, like, it doesn't matter. Right. But it's the same <clears throat> constituent part parts. But something with the shaking. Well, so, I mean, shaking is a lot more harsh on ingredients when you're doing it. So there are certain drinks that you want to, you either want to um, toss, like, they're, they're, like, if you toss a Manhattan, it's a lot smoother a flavor than mm -hmm. if you were to... Right. I mean, it has to do with the air bubbles and all that yeah, stuff that's sure. integrated with the there's an, air so. there, there's an air aspect to it that, that changes flavors. You're and I wonder if the air aspect, I wonder if the air aspect of the, of the shaking caused that beer to settle because maybe this has gotten a little flat since it's been open for a couple hours now. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that kind of caused it to settle. And Interestingly fine. enough, this thing's still kind of fizzy. Oh no, it's definitely, it'll, it'll hang out fizzy for a little while. For a little while. I just ruined that drink. But. No time. <laughs> so too. Bernsey's leaving. Bernsey, thank you for all the bits. I really do appreciate it. It really does help. Every little bit. Ha! Huh, helps. Hmm. 
Yeah, go for it. Yeah. I'm just going to go over here. We're just like grabbing. <laughs> 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 hey, there's lots here. of cocktails sitting here that's not going to be alive. So. It's really weird to me that shaking has such a big difference, but we'll go with that. Huge difference. So <laughs> now here we're going back. So to, to the, we named the cocktail that we named have the cocktail to create. first. Now so, so I said the Austonian. That's right. You did say the Austonian. So I said I already had the Austin Negroni. Right, yeah. Or, mm. see, for me, the Austonian would be, again, because of my whiskey bias, something whiskey based. I would like to do something whiskey based. I don't know if anything whiskey based would go with some of those uh, tinctures. I don't know if. Oh, he gave me a look. Come on now. All right. We were questioning Poppy. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. That was a poor. <laughs> yeah. That was a silly statement, I guess. <laughs> I'm a fan of this Negroni. Well, Negroni's delicious. With the Sotol, that's it's excellent. I wanted something that was uniquely local. Yeah. So right. Desert Door. Desert Door is unique, uniquely local. Mm -hmm. Jasmine, uniquely local. Miko Morrow. All of them, Austin distilleries. Yeah. So, I'm. I became a fan of it. I like it. And the Violet Crown people tried it and they loved it as well. So oh, there you go. Great. Now if I could just get the same <clears throat> thing. So everybody tell your friends about the Austin Negroni. Clearly I've had just start a walking in drink. Just walk in, but can I have an Austin yeah. Negroni? They're like, what the What's fuck that? is that? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well let me tell you. Yeah. There's this guy on you know, Twitch. I've done that, actually. There there are so at Arlo Gray at the Line Hotel, mm -hmm. they have a whiskey skipper. Mm. Which is, um, it's similar, so if you look on the side of the ch uh, Chinar bottle, there's a, there's a Chinar Manhattan recipe on the side of the bottle. Um, but you do it more of a uh, Negroni style. So you do equal parts, sweet vermouth, Chinar, and rye. Okay. And it's really delicious. Hmm. And the only place I've ever found it was on the menu at Arlo Gray's Bar. No and maraschino? Then, no maraschino. Just those simple three ingredients. Mm -hmm. Rye, Chinar, and sweet vermouth. Mm -hmm. And uh, I freaking fell in love. I was like, this is delicious. Nice. Um, and I've gone to other bars, and I'm like, okay, you actually have Chinar, because that's something that you don't see everywhere. Right. Some places don't pull that out. Um, and if you're lucky, you'll find it Chinar 70. Mm, yeah. But that's even rare. Mm. Um, How do you feel about Sue's? Like, I have the Sue's Savoy de I had it. I love it. It's amazing, but a lot of places you just find the straight Sue's. There's a little bit of a difference in there, and I love the Savio de Foie. Open though. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's little a, sticky. It's a little sticky. Oh, that's very, it's very spicy. It's wonderful. It's <clears> like <throat> you were saying you didn't like white Negronis. I think if you use that in a white Negroni, it change it. Mm. It really would. Yeah, it's a nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. Like, try That's that easy. with a Lilith and a good gin, and you might be into it. Just as a thought. Huh. Could you place that? <clears throat> well, I don't know. It's whatever. Um, okay, let's go with the Austonian, because you came up with that. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> we have Avery saying George, Sue. <laughs> a drink great. named Sue. That's cool. A drink cool. named Sue. <laughs> That's cool. Let's start with the Austonian. You had that one first. You're thinking whiskey. Yes. I think whiskey and cardamom. Oh, I think that would be actually great. So mm. it's because you challenged me on the tincture thing. I'm I like, did. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I got this on lock. Kind of tincture. Uh, whiskey, cardamom. Cardamom, maybe not a bourbon, but a rye. Mm. Probably. I love, I love a rye. I oh, do I. I love a rye, too. A good rye is It's an Austin, so if you have red-handed. Oh, I have a little red-handed. Oh, you have a, almost a full red-handed right there, don't you? No, oh, a, I do. Yeah, I have two bourbon. bottles. I have two samples. I have okay. two samples of the red-handed. So we've got a little red-handed... Well, Local, since it's red-handed. Oh, yeah. Source. There Good you go. point. Source. Excellent. Source somewhere else. As they're building. Aged here. Yes. Right. That's what happens. Hey. So red-handed rye with cardamom. Mm -hmm. Estonian. I got a spicy. It's just going to be a rinse. It's not going to be a lot in the glass. It's right. just going to be giving that spice. So you need something else to go with it. Mm. Rye. I almost think we need a Isn't sweet. Isn't it good? It's good. I not that. Something sweet? I almost think we need something a little sweet in there. So cardamom's going to give you that kind of, again, that spice. Mm -hmm. And rye is going to have a little spice in it right. as well. And it's going to mm -hmm. be really rich. Yep. So, so you might need some that. sweet to cut it. Either a sweet or an acid. Mm -hmm. This doctor had a name. Oh. Driscoll Spice. 
Oh, that's a good name, too. That's a good name, too. That is a good name. We can work... That kind of works with Austin. kind of works well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah with the rye yeah. and the cardamom as the well. The Driscoll Spice. I like that. Let's just do Driscoll Spice. We're going to use Driscoll Spice because yes. you are the naming authority queen. right now. The Queen O Names, as you have been entitled in this dream. Yeah. Yes, Queen O Names. <laughs> queen O Names. So we can do a rye. Um, with cardamom, rye, cardamom, either a sweet or an acid. I don't, I don't know. Acids are tough for me. I feel like they can overpower a drink really easily. So you want to try the jasmine again? Oh. Yeah, idea. let's do it. That's a good idea. Try some jasmine again. That's yeah, I'm down with that. Um, <clears throat> and let's use... Should we do like one, one to one, you think? Or maybe like whiskey one and a half and then jasmine one? So I mean, if we're going Boulevardier way, then it's going to be equal parts. Yeah. Okay. Well, Boulevardier. Well, no, because Boulevardier would be more rye than the other ingredients. Because mm. otherwise, it's more of a Negroni. Yeah. True. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Boulevardier, because rye is typically softer than a gin in terms of overall flavor. Right. So you need more of it. Than yeah. Boulevardier. So if we go. Um, One three quarter rinse, but I need another ingredient. Yeah, because cocktails three. One Cocktail, more. There you go. One more. Otherwise, it's a highball. <laughs> um, we have rye, jasmine. Okay. I, I had someone the other day that tried this and they didn't like it. And ever since then, I've been like, well, I want to find something you're going to like with it. What is that? What is that? Uh, what? I think that was one of your tinctures. <laughs> that was the tincture popping there a little bit. Cool. Uh, this is a fennel amaro. Ooh. Huh. Okay, let's taste that first. Yeah. I'm, I'm, rather, <laughs> yeah, because I'm rather curious. I don't know my That's my the little, thing. Where's your thing? There, there you go. go. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's taste that first before we dive Yeah. Because <laughs> it may go way wrong. Can you center your mouth a little more? Certainly. Is that better? Alrighty. What am I doing? Oh yeah, you wanted the fennel stuff. I forgot who asked, but um, somebody asked at a clock. That's a heavy pour. If they <laughs> don't drink all that, <laughs> I, it's it's been three hours, y'all. It's hard for me to control my muscles. Yes. The uh, I don't mind the nose. Yeah. It's not super fennel-y. I don't know what I would do with this. <laughs> I haven't been able to find much <laughs> That's with what it I'm yet. Saying. I, don't... I found one cocktail with it, but it's been a challenge. But I'm curious. I like the aromatics. I like the flavor. I mean, the aromatics rather not. Yeah, the flavor is actually not bad. I like the flavor. I'm curious what that would do with something like it's, this. I feel like it's kind of hollow, so it might work. It's got like in it. You you know what I mean by hollow? Like it it. I'm not over the moon about it, but I would give it a shot in the cocktail. It's I almost don't like a, it. It's almost like a buttery flavor. Yeah, fair. it definitely has a fair, buttery. Fair, fair. So that's that's gonna smooth out some of the spices that you're introducing. Hmm. And what what is this Don? Don Siccio and Figli. Ciccio. They make that's super interesting. an amazing line of Amari. Man, I actually really like it. It's this almost one. reminiscent of like a brown. I like it quite a bit, and it's I just don't know what you would do with that. I guess, like you said. It's almost reminiscent like a brown butter. Ooh, yeah. it is a brown butter. That's exactly what it is. Nailed. Oh, that's totally what it is. Um, anybody that's into Amari, try Don Ciccio and Figli. Mm. I tried their Luna Amaro at Dante in New York when I was up there last time, and it is stellar. It is stellar. They make an amazing lot of Amari, and they're all kind of based on the Amalfi Coast in Italy from okay. recipes they've received on there. It's really nice. I want to try it. It, so Death & Company actually had a drink with brown butter in it. Really? Mm. And it was fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Guys, let's dive into this. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. Let's, let's do this. Because once you said brown butter, that's all I can taste now. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to go too far with this, I feel like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because, not going to take a lot. Because I, I feel like if, if, if there's too much of this present, you're going to get tired of it too quick. Mm-hmm. Let's do one and a half rye. We're gonna go with Rittenhouse. That was a lovely sound. Yeah. <laughs> What's really great is the fact that I open these things like right by my mic. Right, so it's yeah. like coming straight through. Mm -hmm. One and a half of the Rittenhouse rye. Mm. I'm using the Rittenhouse because I think it's a house. little more forward than Templeton. I love Templeton. This is my favorite rye. Yep. Templeton, the good stuff. Out of Iowa. 
my wife's uh, home Didn't state. Realize that. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, good old Hamilton Rye. Good old Rye. It's a fantastic Rye. <sighs> I did one and a half. It was a corn state, right? It is. Yeah. It is a corn state. That's good where John Deere is from. Is it? Yeah. I had Davenport, no idea. Davenport, Iowa. I okay. Believe. Davenport. <clears throat> one of the jasmine and a half of the fennel. What? It, what was the? How much did you put in the first? One and a half. Sounds about right. Hold on. One and a half. Miss Tucker got really excited. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, yeah, she reps Iowa. Templeton <clears throat> is an amazing ride. It is my favorite. Am I right on my facts from Iowa? <clears throat> Davenport, John Deere, corn, all that kind of stuff. My wife reps Urbandale, which is right <laughs> outside of Des Moines. And at a clock, I know Hawkeyes, my wife's family, are Cyclones fans. They're Iowa State. Right. Oh, oh. University of Iowa. This is very interesting oh. together. <clears throat> oh, um, oh Templeton makes a good Sazerac, according to my wife. I'm going to do one of the jasmine, one half of the fennel. So I've done one and a half rye, one jasmine. Don't forget there's a cardamom rimps coming on all this. I know. I, I know. <laughs> Ooh, this is, this what did is, you say you're going to do with? One half. Okay. One half. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. I couldn't do more than that, I don't think. So Ricky over at Water Trade, one of the bartenders at the bar team over there, when he makes cocktails over here, he came here and made cocktails once. I swear they all had like eight ingredients each. I'm like, really? Oh, God, I can't yeah. keep up with all no. this shit, Ricky. Come on. It's impressive. Hello. Hello, cats. Here's Willow. <clears throat> Hi, Willow. Willow's one that makes a lot of noise. Xander's just quiet. Oh, why didn't I use the red-handed rye? I was going to use red-handed rye. You decided to use it with the Rittenhouse. Templeton. Or Wait, did you go Templeton? I did, or? Red, I did Rittenhouse. Rittenhouse. I was going to use red-handed. Whatever. That's fine. Well, it looks like we're going to try another one. I guess we're going, <laughs> I guess I guess we're going so. in. Keep it because the red-handed is super spice forward. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Probably it's, more so than Rittenhouse. Very, yeah, it's very... I haven't had a Rittenhouse rye in a long time. It's been a while. Which is what I like from a, a good rise. King, no, we're not just getting hammered on Twitch. <laughs> we've made mocktails. We've had drinks. <laughs> It's all about making good cocktails from scratch. We're eating plenty of crackers. Eating plenty of crackers, having water. I will admit there's a little bit of influence of alcohol to sport. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. But we have been going for three hours, so. Yeah. I feel like no matter what aspect, you know, how, how hard you're going, it's going to happen. Yeah. True story. Uh, I was doing the cardamom. There's the cardamom. Yes. The thing that popped. You're right, don't show. Can't beat the price of Rittenhouse. The price of Rittenhouse is great. Um, I like Templeton a lot more than Rittenhouse, but the price is great, which makes it great for making cocktails. That is way too much. Good thing it's a rinse. Yep. Mm -hmm. What would you say your favorite bang for your buck whiskey is? Mm. Bang for your buck. That's a really good question. Um, what am I trying to think? Um, I can't think of the name of it right now. It's in a green label. This may suck. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the jingle for the show? <laughs> this may suck. This doesn't suck. <laughs> this doesn't suck. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's a lot going on there on the nose. There's a lot on the oh nose. Oh my god! So much on the nose. Heaven Hill had a bottled in bond that was super cheap and amazing. Heaven Hill's pretty good. I've never had it. I haven't seen a bond. Oh, oh. I, I actually kind of like that. Cardamom's kicking. Ooh, there's right. a burn. There's definitely a little burn at the end, at least for me. Which is fine. I don't mm. really mind that. I just didn't expect it. I don't get much of a burn. No. I'm not getting a huge burn. <clears throat> okay. I'm getting a cardamom spice that lingers. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe that's kind of what I'm. Eh. Evan Williams, that's what I was thinking of. I, yeah, that's, don't well, that was... Green label, green label over black for sure. Uh, my mine was going to be Evan Williams. That was my 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 head answer for that. Even the black, I think, is fine, like but the yeah. green is by far better. 
I, th I think the uh, I think we were good on the amounts for mm -hmm. the uh, whatever the hell. I the, think the, the amounts the, are for fine. The brown butter <laughs> mm -hmm. flavor. I like <clears> it actually. I think it's good. I think that's pretty solid. Yeah, solid. I, that doesn't suck. It does not I mean, suck. Legit, it doesn't suck. I mean, I'm wondering what it's like with the red handed over the written house. You're gonna get more of a spice out of it. I mm -hmm. believe. Too, Too much think spice? I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't think necessarily so. think that. Let's try it. Let's let's try. It. Might as well. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, so let's remember this is the one with the written house. Right, that can go ahead. Which, I'm actually surprised how much I like that. I didn't think that that mix was going to work at first. Honestly, I thought I was going to have to adjust a little more and maybe kill something. I was kind of worried about the uh, the brown butter aspect. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It didn't really hit it too much. I think it was the right amount. To me, at least. Avery recommends good old Jack Daniels. Good old Jack Daniels. Yeah, it's always the, a solid one. Which is the one? The Jack Daniels Black Label. Where is it? I thought I had it up here. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not Jack. Jim Beam. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Jim, the Jim yeah. Beam Distillers Cut. Yeah. This stuff is great. I don't remember the price point on it, but the Jim Beam Distillers Cut is really nice. I'm also a really big Elijah nice. Craig fan. Elijah Craig's pretty good. Yeah. But I think I, Evan Williams, for the price point, I think is what's that perfectly new, fine. What, what's that new Bob Dylan one? Is Bob Dylan one? Yeah, yeah there's, there's one that Bob <laughs> Dylan back, and it, it just came out. It's actually getting quite a, pretty good reviews. I got a I bottle at that. home, Heaven's Door, I believe. Yeah, I mean, that sounds fun. That makes sense. Uh, there's the one that Metallica has out. Metallica has a whiskey. It, I think it's called Blackened. Oh my god! So, of it is. <sighs> yeah, Heaven's Door. <laughs> Heaven's Door. So okay. I got a bottle of it for Christmas. I haven't cracked it open yet, but uh, I've. It's getting pretty good reviews. Has anyone in the chat had Heaven's Door yet? The the Bob Dylan back whiskey. <clears throat> Old the one too. I don't remember what the one. There's the Metallica one. I can't remember exactly what it is. It's black something. Mm -hmm. Basically, what they do is they take the whiskey and it's in barrels and they play sound to speed up the aging process. So it increases the vibration of the wood. What? Yeah. So it pushes the liquor in and out of the wood faster than the regular aging process. I call shenanigans on that. I tried it, it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. I kind of call shenanigans too, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Cause like, it'll, it'll obviously. I, I call balderdash on that, I don't know. But if it's good, it's good. Okay. It was good, I can't deny it was good. It was a. Because realistically, like if you if you think about the way that it ages, like the, the temperature matters so much because that expands the wood and contracts. the That's wood. what gets the liquor in and out of the wood and like, brings the flavors in. Moving the liquid inside, I don't necessarily think would do much. Well, it's the same. It's just basically speeding up the process because it's a contraction and expansion that pushes into the wood, and then when it contracts, it brings the flavor back in. Yeah. So the idea is that the sound waves are actually forcing that. So you're not relying on temperature; you're relying on can't even speak yeah. relying on the sound waves to push in right. and out mm. there have been some places there's actually a study um, in Scotland they did in like the 60s mm -hmm. that showed that they could effectively age a liquor in like a few months as opposed to a few years and the the people that were in charge of the scotch in Scotland said like no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> we're not, we're not <laughs> yeah. allowing you to do that no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> um, how much of the jasmine one ounce did we say one ounce? It was one and a half, one and a half rye. One ounce. One ounce, half ounce. Half yes. ounce of the, yes, that's correct. It gets really hard to remember the numbers of this. Oh, point. I know, this is the 10 o'clock hour when I, when I And you were kind of boring when I wasn't paying attention, so. <laughs> oh, so it's your fault. It's all my fault. It's your fault. <laughs> one of the Jasmine. Sure, bam. No, actually Austin, well, um, Grackle, which is a, obviously mm -hmm. from here knows, yeah. is a surprisingly good whiskey bar. Oh yeah, for sure. For being a quote unquote dive bar. They had a Elijah Craig that they um they they call pull from a cast that they cask mm -hmm. selected with Austin Shaker. Oh yeah. And yeah. it yeah, was nice. unbelievable. Really good. I tried some of that. It was once. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It was maybe, gosh, probably nine months ago when I did an article on whiskey, but You know what I miss? Awesome. Friedman's. Oh, I miss Freeman's. R. I. P. So Friedman. Much. The, that is that's A level. Barbecue. They were yeah. like top three barbecue in Austin, hey, but never yeah. a wait in a place to yep. sit inside. It was they, they the night barbecue. They were in the top 50 in the state, actually. Oh. I do miss Freeman's a lot. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if Jamie yeah. is. Jamie, Freeman's is gone. Freeman's is no longer a thing. Hurts. I don't know. I mean, I don't supposedly know I they do you. catering and stuff, and they're supposedly going to come back, but I don't know. realistically, that might not happen. 
Well, I heard they're doing catering only. Yeah. They are, last yeah. I heard. Yeah, but, yeah, they are doing and right they now. said they might try to come back in a different location, but who knows? Because that was a great. I adore Freedom's. Their, their whiskey of the month was always something decent. You know, it was like George Dickel or yeah. something. Uh huh. And then for five bucks, you could get a whiskey cocktail. Man, I miss food. And I like really do. Food. I, we would go there for brunch and get like the brisket Benedict. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. Man. I never went for brunch. I always went for like Yeah, dinner. their brunch was oh, phenomenal. And, and oh, great was whiskey wall. Oh, yeah. I only had to wait there once. Some of the best yeah. barbecue in town, and I waited. It's A level. It yeah. was. And if, you, and if you went for their Nicole happy hour, and they had $5 break, uh, I mean, barbecue sandwiches. So you could oh, get yeah. a brisket sandwich and a, and a whiskey drink for 10 bucks walking out the Forget door. Forget it. Mm-hmm. Come on. Forget it. Now, um, that's a bummer. I, that's now made me sad. This cocktail will make me happy again <laughs> because that just made me sad that Freeman's is gone. Yeah. What's the, uh, uh, I can't think of the barbecue place. It's just down the road over here. Um, I eat there a decent amount. Leroy and Lewis? Leroy and Lewis. That yeah. was the pit master yeah. from Freeman's. Evan, Evan oh, Leroy. How is it? Yeah, Evan Leroy. Oh. Legit? So, Sorry. so. Mm-hmm. I actually have a lot of barbecue experience. I went to all the top 50 barbecue places in Texas. Oh, damn. Um, in 90 days. Damn. That makes me Only on the weekends. <laughs> oh, damn. <Whoa. laughs> Holy what? shit. Which you can you can look at my personal top 10 yeah. on my website. I'm but, going to. Um, what's cool about it is, so I learned a lot about barbecue along the way, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, so there, there's, there's old school Texas barbecue. There's New Age Texas Barbecue, which is more of like the Franklin, the little barbecues, the Mickleways. That really thick pepper bark. Then there's mm-hmm. like the New New Age, which is more of Leroy and Lewis. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's doing stuff, you know, like his his barbecue sauce is beef based. Yes. It's he's doing a lot of 44 Farms, um, I think Beef based. Cheek. Beef Cheek is big on their menu, which is Mac really Mac and cheese nice. stuffed quail. Yep. What? Like all this yeah. stuff. This makes me extremely happy. It's really great. You should go down to the trailer and try it. Yeah. Uh, they're totally. very rarely aligned. You can always get See, that, there. Cool. that did add a spice. Oh, yeah, it, it definitely did. added a spice. Oh, nice spice. Like too much the, spice or? No, I like it. I like the spice. I like I know, very nice spice. I feel like you said that there was quite a bit of a spice on the back end of the last one. It was more like a hit. and, I, and It might have been something how I, 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 I feel like I this has it. a nice linger of spice. I enjoy that Fair spice enough. a lot. Fair enough. This is the original one, yeah? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, please. I, I like, like that. Uh, I like that one. Yeah, I do too. Again, I like that spice. I like yeah. the little hint of rosemary this hanging. This one's better. I like the hint of rosemary <laughs> that, <laughs> that, was, that <laughs> was hanging from the tail of that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, his, what he's doing over there, and I still need to go over there for his burger. Better. Yeah, better. Better. But oh, I haven't had the burger. That's only on like Saturdays, right? Uh, I think it's weekdays after 5 p.m. Oh, I haven't been Cause, there. Because basically yeah. what happens is like as he's making the stuff, it's all the trimmings and stuff. Right. That he bundles up. Oh, it's better with the it's better with the red mm-hmm. cabin. One hundred percent. It's really good. You're just gonna empty my cabinet? No, no. Avery. No, no, you can't empty my cabinet. No. no. <laughs> Theater's hosting. Thanks for the host, theater nerd. Yeah, uh, Avery. If you do get down here, you're gonna have to go to Treaty Oak and get their gin. I mm-hmm. look. Let me be honest here. Um, I like Treaty Oak's whiskey. I love Treaty Oaks gin. Hands down. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. I think their gin... Their gin is better than the whiskey. Yeah. And that's saying something because their whiskey is really good. Yeah. yeah. No, their, their gin, gin is phenomenal. Their gin is spectacular right now. Yeah. Hey, Jane, we have to pop that, uh, that Yelpon. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. The Yelpon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we still haven't cracked that yet. So we have to do that. It is delicious. Let's go right here. Very yeah. good. It's really see. good. That, and the that ain't seen... The Yelpon Yo- berry from the... Yopon which is... It's a and, pest... It's a pest bush, basically. It is. It's ridiculous. It's, a, it's basically a weed. It's a non-native bush here in Central Texas, and it's yeah. everywhere. And you can make teas and all kinds of stuff out of its berries. And it's a naturally occurring source of caffeine. Ooh. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's <clears throat> is that a winner? Oh, yeah. That's a winner. That's a... That's a write it down in the notebook. And... Lucky for everyone listening, if you're not in Texas, they are nationwide now. They are, that's right. Who is? They, Treaty Oak. Treaty Oak really? is nationwide National now. Distribution. Oh, yep. oh, excellent. I didn't hear that. So you can get Red Handed awesome. Rye. I need to do for a proper For the most part, anywhere that. in the country. They've done so much over I the last couple of years. I mean... Over the last year. Really, over the last year. Yeah. I didn't, I'll be honest with you. I never tried their rum. Because every time I ask someone about the rum, they'd be like... Eh. Yeah. yeah. So I, I haven't had rum. it either. Supposedly, yeah. they're bringing it back. Are they? That's what I heard on the last. So I was out there. They had uh, Aaron Goldfarb. 
Oh, um, yeah. Uh-huh. He wrote the, the Hacking Whiskey book. Mm-hmm. Um, and on the tour that I went on when he was, after that event, uh, they were saying that they're trying to bring back the rum. Interesting. That's really interesting. They're just waiting on, you know, because they're, they're at a point right now where they're expanding so much. I don't know that I'd bring it back. It's kind of, you know, where they started. It's where they started, but I think they're better at the other kind of stuff. Kind of a good, like, heritage. I don't know. We'll <clears throat> see what happens. I, I just am so impressed with their gen expressions right now. Yeah. It's really Phenomenal. Cool. Yeah, it's great. All right, remind um, me of the recipe. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have stuff. What do we have? So, um, where was I at? Don't Choke TV asks if there's a bottle of Novo Fogo hiding there. Don't Choke. There are three bottles of Novo oh, Fogo. Oh, that's what we were just... Here. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. And oh, we yeah. made a cocktail out of one. one. Yes. Have no, we haven't. Oh, we haven't. Oh, we haven't. We, haven't. we, we just, just drank it. it. We just tasted <laughs> it. We just tasted it. We just tasted oh, it. Oh, my that's right. Maybe that's next. <laughs> well, yes, I think we need to make a cocktail right, of that. Cocktail over, on, over the beers I brought. Out of some I think the one... Uh, cool. Yeah, uh, don't choke. I was at the San Antonio Cocktail Conference. Hey-o. Hey-o. Hey! Hey! Uh, and I talked to the folks from Nova Fogo, Nova Fogo, and they sent me three bottles to try out because I have never, honestly, never tried cachaca before. So they sent me these. We tried them today for the first time. I didn't open the bottles until today. Really good. I'm like impressed. I'm like legitimately impressed with them. Theater, I'm just glad you're here. I know you miss, we miss having you around, but I'm glad you're here now. Hey, we're here. Uh, yeah, Avery, check your store. See if you can get some of the Treaty Oak. Um, you should be able to. You should be able to, depending on the distributor, get the Yopan. Yeah. It's I mean, right. again, it's a cocktail in a glass. Yeah. It's just straight up. And the antique is pretty amazing, too. The antique yeah, is really good. good. It's one and a half rye. One of the... Uh, jasmine? Jas- jasmine? Jasmine. One of the jasmine. Half, Half of, of the, the fennel. Correct. Yes. yes. Do we do a spray in there or no? We did. Uh, uh, cardamom. Wash. Did cardamom uh, wash. Cardamom wash. Cardamom wash. That's yeah. yeah. You know the worst part of all this? Can I tell you guys the worst part of this? Mm. Tomorrow, I'm going to come back and I will change all these cameras <clears throat> to like film cameras. Right. And I will shoot the recipe videos. Mm-hmm. I can't drink all these cocktails by myself. <laughs> so they usually end up just... Going in the sink. Going in the sink. Yeah. My neighbors sometimes they will be around and be like, here you go. And they're very appreciative. Oh, I'm sure they are. But they love you. They're very appreciative. Uh, it was one half ja- or one jasmine, one half fennel. Yeah. That's fennel. I might have to take And we landed on the written house, right? Is that the one we ended up with? Red handed. Red handed. That's what, okay, mm-hmm. yeah. Red handed, one and a half. One of the jasmine and half of the Cardamom. And a cardamom rinse. Yes. Mm, that sure. is delicious. We're calling this oh, that's the Driscoll Aus- Spice? Y- well, oh yeah, we're going to do Driscoll, um, spice, Driscoll right? spice. Yeah, Driscoll Spice. Spell Yopon. Y-A-U-P-O-N. Correct. Driscoll Spice. Sandra is really hungry. Another thing Mike Salon, hopefully. Hot mic. Hot mic, hot mic. Whilst urination is happening again. I don't know which one did you mute. I didn't see which one you muted. He's right. I don't know. It should be muted. Well, honestly, I might have to take a bio break as well. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant like three Oh no, I'm talking about. Uh, <sighs> Hot mic. I uh, brings in the <clears throat> brings in definition to enjoying the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey. Bill Tucker. <laughs> Bill Tucker. <laughs> That's the kind of yum. <laughs> That's funny. The mute button should work. Well, I turned it all the way down. So. All right. Well, then it, it shouldn't happen. I'm going to take a bio in a minute once it gets back so you won't just be sitting here staying at the camera going, so hey. So, hey, everyone. What's up? All that. The yeah, cats yeah. are being very excited. Xander was very hungry, so I fed Xander. So he won't maybe cry as much. Possibly. I don't know. Now, I know we have half an hour left. Mm-hmm. Did you want to go for, I think we need to try to make something with the... The cachaca? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. The logofogo. I agree, for sure. We need to make something with cachaca. Yeah. And um, if we have a little bit of time, we can just try to like back something up with the Houston Hayes, I think. Yeah. But I think, I think, that's, I think those will be more interesting, personally. Probably so. Yeah. We already hit a beer home run with the 
Exobase. I'm impressed with that one. Yeah, I think I was happy with one out of three. I figured let's just give it a go. So uh, y'all talk amongst yourself in the talk amongst yourselves. Long amount of time I've been doing this. This is the first time I've ever taken a bio break. Wow, this is a <laughs> this is the first <laughs> time for a bio break. Okay, hello, hello, hello. Looks like I'm coming in. No, but can they hear? It? Can everyone can. hear? Well, could you hear me in the in the bio yeah. break? No. I had it. Okay, good. That's I good. I don't know. I gotta be a bar call. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. Okay. Just in case. Very good. <laughs> All right. So, so I think so we. Look, now your mic's on, and I can hear it. Cool. Okay. Great. Yeah. So you should have been muted that whole time. But evidently you might not have been muted as you were urinating. At two o'clock was like hot mic. Hot mic. Like, and I freaked out. I'm like, what? Like, it, was, <laughs> it was muted. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, pardon me. What it was did a bio you break. Hear? Yeah. So I think what we're doing is uh, <clears throat> next we're doing with the one of the was that logo Nova Fogos. Okay. Cool. And then if we have time, probably we'll maybe try something with the spindle tap. But I don't know. I figure again we got one out of three beers. Yeah. Again, that's why I was. And that was a great cocktail. Man, that was good. I figured that would be the one that would work the yeah. best. You got that mole and that spice and that chocolate and yeah. spindle tap. This was the hazy. That's the haze. I love the haze. Almost kind of like a thick, viscous. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, super, super thick. Super thick for an IPA. It's surprising. And IPAs you figure would have a lot of bitter in it. Yeah. But that has like this a lot not of too bad. citrus and again, um, mango and grapefruit is a huge. It component. does still have a bitter aspect on mm -hmm. the, on the tail end, but it's not it's not overpowering. Yeah. Like a lot of IPAs are. Yeah. These are how all my conversations go. By the way, we just yeah. revert to beer. Yeah. No matter where <laughs> we're at. You're yeah. talking about taxes, beer. Oh, yeah. What's funny is I'm actually, in terms of beer, since since you have a lot of beer experience, obviously, um, I actually prefer more of the malty, mm -hmm. uh, like ambers, browns, oh, yeah. um, even going as far as like a red. You know, you start mm -hmm. introducing some of the hoppiness and, and red ales and stuff. Right. Um, but that's more of like where I kind of sit, and then obviously I go. You know, like strong ales and stuff like that. That are That's, now you're talking my jam. Belgian love, strongs. Are yeah, love, where I love. loving me some Belgian. Like w yep. whatever it is, like whether it's a golden, a double, triple, whatever. Um, I really like the the flavor of the because they you get fruit. You know, it's all fruit and it's complex and it's interesting and again. for sure. You know, actually, it was kind of funny. In one of the, um, you know, like growing up in South Texas, <laughs> in, a, <laughs> in a smaller town in South Texas, like, you know, we had Beast, we had Natty. All the great beers, right? Great beers of America. Merlin and it wasn't beers. until someone introduced me to like a Belgian beer that I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Beer can have flavor? Wow, this is actually This has... is amazing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, because everyone would be like, hey, you want some beer? I'm like, nah, dude, that kind of tastes like shit. Yeah. So, like, I, would, <laughs> I had one of those big, uh, you know, like UT, like 60 ounce, like you would get from like 7 Eleven, yeah. kind of thing, like 60 ounce things. <laughs> <clears throat> so, like, when I would go to a party, yeah. I'll just make me a gigantic like Jack and Coke. Right. I mean, a 60 ounce sure. thing. I'll be fine for the night. Man. You're I'm good. Sipping on this thing. Because uh, everyone's getting, you know, like natty. What, what, whatever the cheapest keg was. Right. Which, lucky for me, actually in Austin, tended to be Ziegenbach, which is not a terrible fine. beer. It's fine. I it's mean, way it's... better than what, I'm, what I've been oh, mentioning. Oh, man. Yes. Very good. But, um, natty. yes, yeah, still the same thing. Yeah. So I'd, I'd be drinking cocktails and stuff. No. Like, in, my, in my opinion, Belgium makes the best beer in the world. Yeah. yeah. I don't. That's where I, that's my jam. 100%. Belgian beers. I want to bring some Belgians, but. Hi, everybody. Hey, how's it going? The whole food's in Welcome back. Today? Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Much. Appreciate you running the stream. You're definitely muted. Thanks. Well, I turned it off. So was he. Yeah. Well, so was I. All right. Good enough. Yeah. I, I, can't, I couldn't hear. I don't know what to talk about. 7 <laughs> Eleven bucket with a handle. Yeah. It's really <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. So we want to make something with cachaça. We've got time. I'm happy about this. You're happy about this? Yeah. Now, here's the question, though. Which expression of So, Shasa? personally, my, my opinion would be to go with this, because mm -hmm. we can be a lot more creative with it. Fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because if we get something that's too flavorful by itself, we're kind of limited on what we can do yep. to it. Yep. Good point. Yeah. Okay. okay. I agree with that. Yeah. We'll go with a silver cachaça and mm -hmm. see what we can find out. Um, this one, to me, feels... Um, it's like a rum, so I'm going to think of rums when I play with this. Um, there was something I tried with rum the other day that was amazing. What was it? This so rum is like a sugary. There was a there was a corn back on that, if I recall. Right. There is. Yep. I want to say it was with a ramazzotti. 
but I don't know if that was it or not. Um, actually, I need to find something to do with this. What is that? <sighs> this is an Amaro. Um, duh. It's <laughs> called Amaro 14. Um, it's the Brovo Amaro project. Uh, let me let you try it. I don't know if this is going to work with anything. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Dark Man only drinks Stella and Blue Moon. Oh, Dark. We need to introduce you what to some of What sort of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we need to work you, Dark. What part of the world do you uh, live, Dark? It's very brown sugary. Yes. Ooh. Which, in a rum aspect, could I be like good. That. Like almost a caramel. Uh, mm -hmm. Toffee. It's very... Like, yeah, like a, a brown sugar, like a dark sugar, past. sweetness, which I, I adore that. A much different taste. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, what is that? <clears throat> what do they call it? Hey, call JoJo's it. in. Hey, JoJo's in. Hey, hey, JoJo. What's up, Joe? JoJo. Bravo, Lady Made Liquor. Yeah, this is a female-owned distillery. That's cool. Sarsaparilla, wow. cinnamon, like and thyme. Sarsaparilla. Yep. Mm -hmm. That might be it. Yep. Which I love Again, the with that name. Kind of root beer. Yeah, root, root beer, beer, birch beer. When I pulled this out, I looked at it and I was like, those flavors are all things that I love. But I have yet to find a cocktail that this has worked with. I'm trying to think what you would mix this with to like not mute the flavors, but not not conflict either. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, cachaca, is that going crazy? Might not be. Never. Never <laughs> no. Never. What are you talking Let's, about? <laughs> Let's do it. It's a very Live only. What is that? There, there's a specific flavor that I certainly recognize. I, that I think isn't... that's what's been pounding me for a while. Again, it's got like a birch beer kind of root beer thing going on. Yeah, yeah I know. I know it's, that. It's yeah, like I know a, what I'm saying. I just. There's definitely. It, it is. Okay, this is what it tastes like to me. Because my mom makes these amazingly and everyone loves them. It tastes like a praline. It tastes like a pecan praline. Wow. Praline. So the nuttiness no. maybe really? a little nutty? It's the brown sugar. Are you getting it's chocolate? The, it's the candy brown sugar with the pecans. That's what it, praline doesn't really have chocolate though. No, it's more like praline. Praline doesn't I get it. chocolate yeah. here. I get dark chocolate. A little bit. Like I a, think like more so on the nose than the taste. I'm going more on the taste. I feel like it's it's a Texas really? praline. Because I get super dark chocolate on the taste. Hmm. Did I give you the same I totally before? think so. <laughs> We're tasting <laughs> things. Like, <laughs> so you're I, tasting gin, I'm tasting whiskey. I, I feel like it, I, I get what you're saying, mm -hmm. but I feel like it has a lightness to it that's like, like it, it has a dark chocolate note, but it's also, it has like a light undertone to it. Okay. That kind of reminds me of like a brown sugar Texas praline. Okay, we're gonna roll with that. I like that, that's a great description. Let's roll with that. Even like a little bit of- Brown nutmeg. sugar, yeah. Yeah, I love, love with rum. Yes. This is more like a rum agricole, but it's the mm -hmm. same family, so maybe these will work well together. Possibly. Let's- Let's test it. We won't know until we try. This is what we call a test kitchen. Yes, testing. We're testing stuff. We are testing. So what's the third thing though? Right. God, I just got two. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a really good question. Let's let me see what this is like. Let me see what we kind of flavor yeah, we with this. Okay, so I think so. I like a these rum together, with a brown sugar. Like, no. Orange bitters. Ooh, the citrus might be nice with that. Yeah. A couple of dashes of orange mm -hmm. bitters yep. in there. Alright. Well, no one's gonna try. Exactly. I'm gonna say ounce and a half, half. I think that's ounce and a half, half, two dashes of orange. Let's see where we're at at that point. What do we got in the chat? JoJo's rocking a uh, Dos Equis and a box wine. Ooh. No shame in, Which, no shame wait, in wait, JoJo's. Hold game. on, hold on. Which box wine, though? That's the question. Oh, good point. Good because point. I think black box is pretty decent. Black box, we, we do the black box. But if you're doing friends, yeah, I might judge you a little bit, bro. Yeah. Two o'clock calls it stackable wine. Yes. <laughs> what am I we do the black box Malbec at home, which is actually oh, yeah. fine. The black box is, yeah. black box is good. It's 
better than Yellowtail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's in a bottle. I'll have to, yeah, it's in a giant bottle. Yeah. Huge bottle. My mom came over a couple of years ago, and she's like, oh, I'm going to get some wine. So she buys, she likes a Yellowtail Syrah or something. I haven't had Yellowtail in years. Before that, it was undrinkable. Like, yeah. I could not. It was yeah. so sweet. Mm-hmm. Like residual sugar. Botabox. Botabox, yeah. Botabox okay. is also good, too. Okay. Also good. Yep. Good deal. Yep. What is the flavor profile of cachaça? Um, it's it's similar to a rum, but more like a rum agricole than a traditional rum. So it's going to be a little more vegetal, vegetal and grassy than mm-hmm. super sweet. Yep. Rum's made with molasses, whereas cachaça and rum agricole are made with the actual sugar cane before it becomes molasses. Mm. So you're definitely getting more of that terroir. This particular one is from a rainforest in Brazil. So you're really getting a specific terroir to that place. And I think it's actually really nice. Like there's some Remagricoles from Martinique. Super fucking funky. Yeah. Like I can't drink it. It's funky. But this is really, um, in, my, in my mind, really a nice expression of cachaça. We're not there. Nope. Nope. It's not bad, but we're not there. Okay. Um, Orange, good or bad? Yeah. Or (sighs) neutral? I'm going to say neutral at this point. Interesting. More acidic or less? Or do you think the acid's not really the issue? Let me try it. Let me me open it up a little bit and we'll try it. I can also see maybe the... Orange bitters working with some orange oil from the rind. Mm-hmm. These shitty ice open it up quickly. That's okay. Yeah. Mufasa? We don't have Mufasa. Mufasa? Shaka Khan. Shakaka or Shaka Khan. Or Shaka Sh- Khan, let me rock you, let me rock you, Shaka Khan. Or Shakira. Let me rock you, that's all I want to do. Shaka Khan, right. let me rock you. Tell me something <laughs> let me rock you. good. <laughs> Bow, bow, bow. Is that Shaka Khan? I think so. No, that's yeah. not. I don't no? think so. I have no, no idea. I don't, I, don't I, think so? I don't think that's Shaka Khan, is it? No. Wait, what song is it? Tell me something good. Yeah, yeah I, don't I, don't think think Khan. Khan. I don't think that's Shaka Khan. I don't think that's Shaka Khan. Yeah. Forget you. Hakuna Matata works too. Hakuna yeah. Matata, sure. Why not? <clears throat> this isn't a drink, but we're. we're yeah. Oh, <laughs> do do we a, need a baseline? Uh, we need a baseline for yeah. what we're trying to figure out here. This is one and a half cachaca, half of the Amaro. This is 14. the Amaro fourteen. Mm-hmm. Till I miss and two food. two dashes of bitters, orange bitters. Yes, two dashes of orange bitters. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even see one thing. Yeah, it's not good. No, no, that would suck. <laughs> that one kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. sucks. Kind of sucks. All right, that's starting point. Oh yeah, there's nothing. There's, there's, I there's, there's a hard time with this. That maybe, is hard. It needs more. More? There's like give me the glass. Know. Don't bring any more. Yeah, just 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 dump. Right. Splash. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. They splash. They splash. That was like an extra half, a quarter, half, quarter, maybe quarter, quarter half. Quarter. I don't know. Probably quarter. Jojo says screw the box wine. She has whiskey. Yeah, Jojo. No, I didn't do it. It added a plasticky kind of No, oh, get the fuck taste. out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? No. no it's, like yeah. a, it's got like a... It's like a bitter plastic. Yeah, it's got like a... Bitter plastic? Yeah. It's got a uh, tupper, it. Tupperware aroma to it. <laughs> yeah, dump that. Oh, yeah, that's a that's, that, that is what we call a dead end. <laughs> yep, rinsing that that's glass a out. That's dead end. Ah. That doesn't not suck. <laughs> wow. All right, hey, one's that? really Starting bad. Starting over. Starting over. Reset. Silver cachaça. Hey. Remind me what these are. Those are homemade hey. amari. So what are the what are the four on? <sighs> Let's just try them. Huh? Perfect. I like this game. Well done. <laughs> That's heavy pour. Ooh. That's, that's definitely 
similar brown sugar kind of flavor mm -hmm. or note. I, mm -hmm. I think that this one actually used a brown sugar simple. But it's more than that. Probably. <clears throat> There's a lot That's going on. That's delicious. That's, That's actually really, really good. good. I like it a lot. I love it. I think it's great. It's probably my favorite. It's, I want to try to make it with a Hosanto herb. I haven't used that before, but Hosanto apparently has kind of like a sarsaparilla flavor. So I'd love to kind of throw that in there and see if I can get that to come out as well. I think that, that would add a lot to that. Yep. Um, but That's delicious. And then there's That's really mellow and smooth. And This one's almost like a green chartreuse. Mm. But uh, homemade. I have a, a friend of mine who's a, a sommelier in Jackson Hole. Okay. He tried this and he's like, no, that's like green chartreuse. Like legit green chartreuse. Let's try that one too. Yeah, that up, please. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. That's like very little to no nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's chartreuse. Yeah, mm -hmm. straight up, right? Legit. Yeah, because it gives Ooh, you wow. like the sinus. Mm -hmm. I the, like the that a lot. Note. That's delicious. It's like a mellow chartreuse. A me yes. yes. Yeah. Uh huh. With a ooh, has like a at the end. What is it that? Has like a bitterness to it. Mm -hmm. Like a. That's why I like it. Like a basil. Kind I of had one? to. This was actually. Yeah, it's like a grassy um, herb of some sort. Yeah. Like this a basil. was based on a recipe like a, in a book about tomorrow's that I got, <laughs> and I had to sub some stuff. And I think that one of the things I subbed was dandelion leaves instead of some other stuff. And I think that that really added an interesting depth that I wasn't expecting. There's a, there's a dark green leafy thing at the end. I think end. that's a dandelion root. I think that's what you're getting. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. I'm a fan. Nothing wrong with that. Mm. No. Mm. We're at 10.40, by the way. Are we, are we Reagan? We're at 10.40. 10 are you saying you want to go home? I got it. Have you finished your drink that I made you earlier? Yeah, I didn't. Well, I was having it. Oh, do you want <laughs> he, something? He liked here? it. I grabbed a beer. Oh, you grabbed a beer? Yeah. The hibiscus here, saison? Hibiscus. Let's give him. No, no, this, uh, this one was pretty good. Oh, that. Some, here. Haze? Finish yeah. this one off. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Sure. Hey. I don't remember. What, what one was that one? The spindle tap? Houston Hayes. That was the hazy IPA. Oh, no, the, the I think this is the good one. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. handed me, like, the wash one. This is the. This one that sucks. You can drink that one. No, no, that one went this down one, and drank oh, sadly. Wow, what is this one? I don't know. That's the uh, the rye one. That was the rye. Oh, that's the rye. So that's the um, the Aust this, this Austonian. No, the, the, no, Driscoll no, no. Spice. the Driscoll Spice. Spice. Driscoll Spice with Curse rye, jasmine, fennel, and a cardamom Ooh, tincture. Aftertaste. What? Okay. It's delicious, right? That one's good. It's legit. You got. It smells more interesting than it tastes. But, like, it's like, the taste Shit. Is really <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Start over. But the, but the taste Jeez. is just lovely. It's like amazing. I don't know. It's delicious. I think it's. Um, you can yeah. finish it off if you want to. Yeah, no, that's true. Okay. There, there we, have you go, enough, we have enough going on over here. <laughs> to, we're not, we're not hurting right here. I think that was the better of the two. Yes. Because one was. One was. Rittenhouse. Like, Rittenhouse and one was Red Bear. Right. I'm not sure which one was which. Well. Here, you know what you sure. should do? You should go to a bar and you should order an Austin Negroni mm -hmm. and then force them to make you an Austin well, Negroni. Well, I need to get the recipe first. It texts it to me. Or you mean a whiskey, I mean a Driscoll. Driscoll Spice. No. Driscoll Spice. Austin Negroni. I want the Austin Negroni <laughs> yes. to be the drink of Austin, damn it. <laughs> we, will, we will make that happen. Yes. We will, we will do that the thing. Do that the thing. <laughs> Two o'clock says, suck it up, Reagan. <laughs> That's not my name. You spelled it wrong. Oh my God. I did. Regan. Regan. Like Ryan Regan. Like Ronald Reagan. I'm like. Oh, Reagan. Yeah. Reagan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have cachaça. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have a silver cachaça. Yes. We have 15 we minutes. We don't have it tomorrow yet. Yeah. We don't have it tomorrow yet. Mm. Uh, you know what? Shabam. Might as well. Right. I like soups. I really like the flavor of it. Or the, 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 the nose is great. It's an amazing. I, I really, really like this. Some people shit on Sue's because it's kind of trendy right now. I don't care if it's trendy. I really like the flavors sure. of it. Especially the Saphir de Uh There's two different kinds. There's Sue's. Sue's Saphir de And this one I particularly like. Um, okay. So, Cachaça, Sue's. It's going to be a little bit of a sweetness and a 
hint of bitter, probably more sweet than bitter. Sure. Um, Are you still trying to go with the um, with the cavasa? The the, 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 the silver cachaça. Cachaça. Yes. Right. We could split the base too. There's no reason why we can't split a base. That's if true. we want to get something a little aggressive, we can do a silver silver cachaça. Yeah, I'm having a hard time with that too. It is really difficult, right? Cachaça. Silver cachaça. Silver cachaça. cachaça. I hope you have a ride. Oh yeah, I Uber. Sweet. We. Oh, yeah. We, I, you're, you're Ubering home. Plan, we have plans are yeah. in place. I, since you were last minute, I normally send people messages like, make sure you have a way yeah. to get home. Jo Joe was lovely and said, you should Uber. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Joe, love you. Thanks, have Joe. I mentioned, Appreciate have it. I mentioned love you, Joe. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, let's see. The taste is lovely, but the smell is amazing. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay. Uh, what was I doing? I like the worst. Okay, cachaça <laughs> ensues <laughs> with something else. What are we doing? Some more sweet than bitter. Yes, is what more you're describing, Sue's. Talking about potentially splitting the base. Potentially. Ooh. This is going to have a lot of. Would be I think, too much. I think. Gentian, I'm getting a lot of gentian. Um, you know, I would, I would personally love to see a Yopon cocktail come out. That's interesting. With this guy, mm -hmm. I don't that know. I don't know if this would, this would work well, Yopon with the Sus, because you know, Yopon, Yopon by itself be, yeah. is is really flavorful. Really so like, good. you're gonna be competing with that quite a bit. But I would love. I don't know of a single cocktail that has been created for that yet. You know what? But it's probably out of Treaty Oak. I happen to have one in here. Really? I do. Um, let me find it. Hold on. Please, please hold. <laughs> please hold. Too bad there's not Control F in a. Yes. I know, right? <laughs> right? In a, right? In a, in a paper paper notebook. analog notebook. <laughs> analog notebook. <laughs> What's really sad is that most of these are written after three hours of a stream. Right. Like, what? Please talk amongst yourselves. All right. No. On, chat here. N no. There was that one where I threw a bunch of Marie Sharp's hot sauce into a cocktail. That was great. Oh, that was the one. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> it was Marie Sharp's with Suerte Tequila, Yopon Gem, Lime, and a Cilantro Simple Syrup. Ooh. That sounds spicy. That sounds nice. It was. Spectacular. This actually is the one that came out on YouTube last Thursday. Okay. Put this video out on YouTube. Oh, that was the Yopon one. Yes, I remember that. Yes. Yes, I saw that. Watch on YouTube. It's called Drink It With Wings. That's it. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. Mm. Really good. Like, wow, good. Really good. Um, but yes, that was with the Yopon Gin. And I think what the key was in that was having the spice kind of hit against the sweet notes of the Yopon Gin. Because that is Makes such sense. a sweet cocktail and just a drinkable yeah, yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. So having that spice work against it, I shouldn't even say work against it. Worth with it. Right. Mm. Uh, I think it worked well. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, uh, the name of the cachaça cocktail should be Ate Breve. See you soon. Oh, I love you. Oh, that's nice. Your wife is amazing. I like how she's referred to as the wife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Reagan's like, the wife. The wife. Exquisite liar. That would be a great simple syrup and help make a nice savory sweet drink. Yes, it actually yeah. really, really does. But I do have... Um, I don't have a cilantro mm. simple, but I do have an arugula tincture, which True. might. Oh, yeah. We also haven't touched any vermouth today. We haven't touched any vermouth. And I actually have, I have a cardamaro. I have uh, a few different vermouths, sweet and dry. And please hold. <clears throat> uh, this is such a staple in a lot of cocktails. Sure. Ooh, I have a bonal and... Hmm. It's amazing how rarely I use vermouth, really. But I'm curious what this Bonal would be like. Um, it may actually be legit oxidized at this point. It's been sitting out for a while and I haven't used it. But it's also been refrigerated. For those of you at home... Vermouth goes bad. Vermouth goes bad. <laughs> Refrigerate the hell Real out. quick. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've had some of these in there forever, but I'm still drinking them, so... Whatever. I'm not going to be that precious about it right now. 
yeah. Uh, Irish cream, also. Irish cream? Just what? Bad. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, for any, sure. Any cream any liqueur, kind of cream. that I'm going to throw out. Uh, it doesn't smell. There's not much Have we lost the nose? Of, wait a minute. Have we lost this? Is this dead? It might be gone. Damn it. I barely use this stuff. I mean, it's not expensive in the grand scheme of things, but... I don't, I don't know. It kind of seems fine. It's okay. Not much nose on it at all. No, it's not bad. There's it's just fine. not a lot of nose. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, yeah, I think it's cool. fine. There's just not a lot of nose on yeah, it. Yeah, All right. Okay. So this is... This is Bonal. You're getting a lot of the quinine in there. <clears throat> uh, gentian quina, which is quinine. So you're getting the gentian, but it's very sweet. It's not like a lot of gentian bitters that you're going to get. It's going to be sweeter than that. Which actually, it might go well with this. I think so. Oh fuck it. We can debate because you know we're we're treating yeah. we gotta we gotta we're treating this like a rum, but I feel like it's yeah. a lot lighter than a lot of rum. Oh, it oh, is fair. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, it is. It's it's almost like I said earlier. I feel like it has like a almost a tequila aspect to it, which I don't know of very many tequila vermouth drinks. However. That's why Let's we're make here. It, man. This is a test kitchen. This is yeah. a test kitchen, yes. Because it also I has a say, corn note. I have to say this real quick. Yes. Bottles are important. This bottle holds great. Oh, yeah. Like it. That little That cinch. little, the way it kind of like little flares out. Little in the waist. I've actually had conversations with bartenders about Beautiful. bottle shapes. Yeah. And, ha- and the ones that they despise and the ones they love. Because like again, grabbing it. Doing Desert it Door. I've heard people don't like Desert Door because it's a heavier bottle. It's a heavy it's a ceramic heavy bottle. bottle. It's, it's a oh, beautiful it's bottle. It's gorgeous. At least it's it has a little heavy. texture, so you, you have a little bit of a grip. Right, to it. there's some kind but, of grip on it. Because I mean, it's a thick, it's a thick bottle. Oh gosh, yeah. But as far as like being behind a bar and grabbing this, this is amazing. Oh yeah, this just feels wonderful. Good bottle design. It is. Mrs. Tucker, arugula, what? I'm intrigued. What is that? Yes, I have an arugula simple, which is basically you're making an arugula tea. You make a simple syrup, which is just using hot water and uh, sugar, equal parts, and you chunk arugula in there and let it steep. Arugula is kind of mild, so you just have to let it roll for... It's weird because it's not mild when you eat it, but when you're making a tea, it's really mild. Oh, yeah. So let it sit there for a while, and you're going to get this nice kind of bright spiciness. It's spicy, but it's spicy in kind of a bright pepper way. It's really interesting. Okay, uh, we did one and a half of the Nova Fogo Silver. Quarter? Half. You're, half. you're leaning half. Yeah, I say half. Are we still doing twos? Sure, yeah. What kind of question is that? <laughs> Half of the Bonal? Yeah. Right. And there's the question. How much soothes? How much soothes? So we did one and a half of the Cachaca. One and a half of Cachaca, one half Bonal. Half Bonal. Half Bonal, yes. One? Three, three quarters? Want to do one? Well, it's actually on the mild side. I haven't tasted it. It's, it's do we really taste it? I, mean, one. I think one. I think we need one, one because this is feeling a little sweet right now. Just on the nose, it's feeling yeah. sweet. Yeah. I think we need a little extra bitter, so let's do one okay. of this. <laughs> Beautiful color. No. Oh no. Oh, that's no. that's a face of failure. I mean, the nose bores me. Okay. Let's that up several mm-hmm. ways. Yes. Bitters? It's close, actually. The nose bores me, but the flavor itself is pretty darn close. Okay. So is there a rinse? Is there a rinse or a, <clears throat> or a spray we could do? I feel like a spray would probably Mind be an if I like an absinthe. No, please, please, please. That there. You want a straw? Oh yeah. Very much a. I'm actually wondering what a time tincture would do. You see what I'm saying, right? Yeah. (sighs) 
summoning time, is it? You don't think so? What are you talking about? Someone stopped him. What are you talking about? Madman. <laughs> time rents. He's going against... Oh, time rents. Okay. Yeah. Time rents. He's going against all logic. I thought I closed the windows. At, I guess I didn't close the phone. <laughs> at 2 o'clock says, pouring Drake Gatorade and call it a day. That's it. That's it. There you go. Well done. Obviously, that's going to change the flavor as well. It'll open up a little It'll bit. It'll open up. <clears throat> Hmm. Exquisite says a time tincture would be great with something a little bit heavier. You may be right. You <clears> may <throat> be crazy. But it just may be a lunatic you're looking for. Turn out the lights. Of da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I love is it, is that it, both of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, hang on. I think I have that record. I grew up in, like, northern New Jersey, New York area. Oh, Billy man, Joel. Was, Billy Joel. Oh, I yeah. saw Billy Joel at Wrigley Field. I saw Billy Joel at the garden. Oh, I love you. Madison Square Garden, not any other garden y'all are. Okay, I'm going to beat you, though. Yeah, I'm going to... I saw... I'm going to claim something. Oh. What? And I want to I want to try to... I want to... We'll split that pour. Okay. We're going to... All right. We're going to split that pour between this and whatever other glass. Okay. Yep. Lavender in one, thyme in the other. Okay. I think something lighter would be better. Okay. On the nose. Cool. We know that. Oh, wait. I haven't used it yet. There you go. <laughs> What, uh, what are you going to say? What is this one again? I don't know. It's just sitting there hanging out. It? Drink it. I don't know. <laughs> it's, name, it's a new name of the show. Drink, Drink it. it. I don't know. Oh, that's the, that's the know. chocolate one. Oh, is that the chocolate one? Was that the good one or the... I don't know. I don't know. It's I don't know. I Whatever gonna... it was. It was good. <laughs> I drank it. Uh, I was gonna you were going to say, Ooh. yeah, you're going to beat me with my Billy Joel Whichever at the garden. Whichever one that was, it was pretty good. I saw Paul McCartney at the garden. Ooh. That's And Bruce Springsteen came out during the encore. Okay. So, that yeah, that, that was wins. awesome. That does win. That was kind of amazing. All right, so this is the time tincture. Wow. Oh, <laughs> that's a rinse. I will that's pour that shit good, out. Good thing that's a rinse. <laughs> and you said lavender on the other one, yeah? Yep. That's a smart idea. I think it would be good to get both profiles. I think, I think the lighter. I, th I think you're right. Because that's a pretty Ooh, heavy flavor wow. on that. Oh my gosh. Is the bitter grapefruit ish? I might not mind a, a grapefruit expression on it. That could be pretty good, actually. Yeah. Okay, so. Because that gives you two things it gives you a little bit of brightness with the citrus, but it also gives you a little bit of bitterness from the actual grapefruit. True, true, true. This is the rosemary on the left. See the rosemary and then lavender, was it? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. No, other way around. No, it was the other way around. Other way around. Sorry. Yeah, it was the other way around. So, so, yeah, lavender. It's our right. Yeah. Time. Stage left. Lavender time. <laughs> it's almost 11. <laughs> yeah. Home stretch. Oh, man. It's actually 11 right now. Stop, Stop your talking. <laughs> it's okay. We started five minutes late. We did. No, no, no. We started two minutes late. All right. Well, we got a couple minutes to, to see if this works. See, yeah. what, see which one of these let's, is right. Let's, let's see it through. Let's this is, it. Yeah, I get to see it through. We're not Stick stopping with us, now, chat room. Right? We're almost... We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, Home stretch. Lavender. 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 Lavender first. Sit. We're getting commentary now. We got, I know, right? The play-by-play. And yeah, then he passes. We got Bob Costas. Bill smelling. Tucker takes a smell and a sip. Then he passes. He passes to his right. I definitely like the nose. The nose is good. And the nose is good. I don't know. And the Time. drink is the drink is still heavy. I feel like the drink mm. is heavy. Mm -hmm. This is the rosemary, right? Mm -hmm. This is the uh, uh, time. Time rather, sorry. Time. I've got too much time on my hands taken away. Right. This is the karaoke edition. You though. hold on to lavender. Yeah, I got lavender. Make sure we don't get this mixed up. Yeah, because no, they can't lavender. tell them apart. That's lavender. I'll oh, you can definitely tell them apart. I mean, it's stink, I think. I think I like that one better, but I'm not sure if it's Mark, move the towel. a great success. You move the towel. 
grapefruit. <laughs> yeah, I think grapefruit. I like the thyme. I feel like I like the thyme. I like the thyme better. It has more of an earthiness. I yeah. agree with the thyme, but I think a grapefruit. I want to do just... the grapefruit. I think your wife actually suggested grapefruit. She did. She's very smart. Give me that thing. Which one? The thyme one? Yeah, that's the thyme one. one. Oh, that gave you nothing. Please hold. Please hold. That was a shitty. Please talk amongst yourselves as we try to scrape another bit of grapefruit. Oh, yeah. There that's, oh, yeah. that's the magic right there. Uh, like, Lots of good beautiful enough. looking spry. Grapefruit at a Ooh, hint of salt. Holy crap. Ooh, a hint of salt might be nice. So salt brings down bitter and accentuates the sweetness in a drink. Hmm. I do have, or do I? I may not have it's my saline. It's still bitter. It is not. It's not really bitter. It is not. More. Yeah, because but, it's not bitter. But, but salt, salt is a flavor enhancer in Correct. general. Correct. With, at the right amount. There's so many different types of salt, too. True. No, it's too sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not bitter at all. I don't think, at least. Uh, yeah, it needs a dash. There's no way we're going to remember what this thing is. <laughs> what are we making? <laughs> what day is What is this? I don't even know. There's no chance we're going to remember this mad concoction. Ah, good point. Good point. Mm. What bitters did you use? Just dango. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We agree that lavender is not the right choice, right? right? Correct. Time was a better choice. Time was a better choice. I feel like it's quite there. It's not there yet. Something's missing. <clears throat> Something's missing. It's too... It's flat. Yeah. It's definitely flat. There's no pop to it. Okay, we know that thyme is better than lavender at this point. Right. Mm -hmm. We did the silver cachaca, the bonal, and the sous. It's all feeling a little evenly sweet. So we need okay. something that's going to kick in the face. Either aromatics. Yes. Obviously, I mean, I don't think there's much aromatics on that at all, personally. I mean, there is, but. Do we put, uh, do we split the base? Do a cachaca and a London dry. Huh? It's definitely going to jump up the floral right. mm -hmm. of it. But it'll it'll kick you a little bit. It's not going to just let you just like drink it. It'll be like, which, what the fuck is which that? Which London dry yeah. were you? It'll, it'll definitely let you brokers? know there. Probably the brokers. Yeah. Brokers is the most traditional London dry I have right now. Yeah, I think it's traditional. We'll give it a, a crispness. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like a three-quarter cachaca, three-quarter brokers. That evenly split? Even split? That's what I was thinking. But, I mean, I could go different if you wanted that. Like, even bring that down to, like, maybe half brokers. Higher cachaca. Yeah, and then one. Wait, what was I doing? I was doing three-quarter, three-quarter, so do half and then one. <clears throat> half and one? Half and one. Yeah, I guess I would. I think that would probably be better. Okay. Because we want to, I, I, I feel like we want to accentuate the cachaca. Fair. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. That's right. Super juniper. Mm -hmm. juniper -y, juniper -y. If that's a word. Yeah. It is now. It is now. Whether it was before, I don't even care. Because yeah. the it's idea of, of, of word and language is that <laughs> as long as I say it and you understand it. It works. The it's communication right? of totally meaning is the whole absolutely. point. Yes. Yep. All right. Yeah, I think that ratio works. JoJo says we cannot leave until we finish this drink. We really can't. Truth. I mean, you're not and wrong. Neither we, can you. We really neither can. can you. Neither you can have can to you. stay here. So, you're here. And welcome to the shit show. Enjoy. That's right. <laughs> yes. Cheers. And there is a donation link in the bottom. Hey, I'm just saying. It's hey, an observation. Hey, where, where, That's right. all. Smash that button. Somewhere down there in the doobly doo. Somewhere you around just here. Click and be like, stock that bar. In hey. The doobly doo. <sighs> This is All an right. expensive show to make. One, I don't know if you know this, but this is an expensive show to make. Uh, one one cachaça. Cachaça. One cachaça. One half Gin. brokers. Yes. Brokers. Yes. I won't even. No, it will be worth it when you make the, the, t the coffee table book with all the recipes. Yeah, like Death & Co. Like, Someday. Yes. Dude, publisher will eat this book. Oh, the book? Someday. Just the title, This Doesn't Suck? That's a, great That's a great title. That a oh, yeah. Awesome I'm into yeah. that. Oh, shit. All I have to do is start like pulling this oh, stuff. What did you press? What did oh, you no. do? I pressed the 
Did you kill the stream, Reagan? No, I didn't kill the stream. What are you doing? What is, what is that? What is Reagan doing? It actually brought up the... Oh. You just... What are you... No, no, we're good. We're good. It never went away. I, I just... I pressed the button and it all like went to the... I can't work with these conditions, Reagan. That's it. <laughs> I mean, you're the one that gave me alcohol. If I, if I, I mean, can... that's true. It is my fault. <laughs> I, I can't flip this table. I don't even remember how much kachasa <laughs> I put together in anger. Yeah, it's lavender. It's, lavender. it's, it's my so idea. Not. I did one silver kachasa. I mean, it's not Damn terrible. It. One it's just silver not, not successful as time. Yeah. One spice. half yeah, brokers. Driscoll spice dry. rules. Driscoll spice is pretty good. Maybe we need to put a slow gin in here. We can find a slow jet. There's gotta be a slow jet somewhere. Hit that donate button. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how much Susan Bonal I put in here. Shoot. In the first one. Fuck. Damn it. This is a problem Fuck. at the end of the stream. It's not Man. good. This is a poor, poor shelling. It really is. I did one of the cachaça, one half of the gin. What is a slow gin? Ooh. Uh, it's actually S O L E. Yeah, S O L E gin. It's actually a gin that's made with a certain kind of berry. So it's going to have a slightly different profile than a London Dry. A London Dry is going to be really uh, juniper forward and dry. So it's going to like dry out your mouth a little bit. But a slow gin is going to be a little bit sweeter and a little bit sweeter profile whenever and you there, taste it. There are some specific cocktails that call for slow gin versus a regular one. And True dry. story. Story. It's really interesting. I've been. I went to a bar in Chicago mm -hmm. that specialized in um, what sort of looking? For? Not <clears throat> antique, but old spirits. Cloud, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, stuff from like the nineteen yeah. seventeens mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Stuff that's like stupid expensive, and I would never go there again because I couldn't afford it. But I really can't afford whew, fifty dollars for a one ounce pour of a. No. One of those. Yeah, of anything. No. Whatever, anything. Whatever, whatever it is. is. <laughs> of anything. Yeah, found of youth. No. But I had a couple of cocktails there and they were really good. But um, some old cocktails were designed specifically for the previous expression of a spirit. Right. So like a lot of gins, mm -hmm. if you look at <clears throat> old cocktail recipes that call for gin, they're specifically calling for an old Tom gin mm -hmm. in the way it was made in like the 1920s during Prohibition or right. something like that. So it's it's this weird world. Yeah. Like this is old Tom yeah. gin, lemon dry, mm -hmm. slow, right. new. And like old Tom gins um, were aged a little bit. Uh, which is kind of weird because you'd get a sweetness from the aging, but then people would replicate that by adding sugars. So a lot of old Tom uh, okay. gins right now will have an added sugar to give the sweetness. Mm. And everything. Interesting. Where were we? Traditionally, Susan Bonal. Right. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. No, that's a good digression. I have no idea. Uh, does anybody remember how much of this I put in there? Oh, God, I don't know. Fuck me. Me. He's gonna make a bad joke about how prohibition gin was made in bathtubs. That's how it's traditionally made. Bathtub gin. Yes, yeah, that's true. That's I did. Please tell me you didn't make a gin in bathtub. No, I didn't. All right. No, I didn't. Uh, it's a lot of gin. I can say. I mean, listen. I made it in a mason jar. Okay. I did a cachaça for an ounce. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did a something else, a broker's for a half an ounce. Mm -hmm. Now I need to figure out the banal and the sous. Okay. I want to say Weird. that the Bonal was an ounce mm -hmm. and the Sue's was a half. Yes, I believe that's, that's about right. We're going to roll with that. I think that. that's right, yeah. People in the chat room, it is your responsibility to stay sober. To stay sober <laughs> and tell me what I'm doing <laughs> while we're doing this. I don't know, okay? I'm uh, going to go with that. I think that, that makes sense. I think right. it, does. it just makes yeah, sense. Because, because it had a slight sweeter aspect than right. the aspect. Yes. So we're going to go one with the Bonal. Yep. Sploosh. I want a t-shirt that says sploosh. I keep saying sploosh. that. They yeah. can. I just want Perfect. a t-shirt that says sploosh. sploosh. Perfect marketing. One half of Sue's. Mm. Holy fuck. That's not, yep. That is. Fix that. That's, Don't pour it in. Nope. <laughs> fuck. I know, you're, I know you're feeling frisky, yeah, but that is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know you're feeling frisky, but that's so not that's what you half. intended. Yeah. Here we go. There you go. 
Man, oh, hard, tomorrow's hard gig. Suck, yeah, it's gonna be a gig. Bad. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I have shit to do. Clearly nothing. <laughs> now, <laughs> now <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> what do I have to do tomorrow? I have to get, I have to get this stream ready to run on YouTube on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I have to shoot a video for Friday. I have to actually shoot two videos for Friday. Oh, that's unfortunate. I, you your yeah, screw scrub. you, Reagan. You clean my kitchen. <laughs> Three hours ago, you spilled fruit juice on that counter. Don't remind me. <laughs> uh, Not just any fruit juice, but pineapple, pineapple juice. juice. Right. Which is <laughs> way worse. It's so way bad. Worse. It's so bad. <laughs> Tomorrow, I actually, like I said, I reset this room. I leave all the lights and everything up, and I reset the tripods with legit cameras so I can shoot recipe videos for all these. So tomorrow afternoon, I'll be shooting recipe videos for all of these. Damn. Hopefully we didn't screw this up. No. <laughs> I, you know what I think. Yeah, wait, wait, right. wait. There's a, uh, yeah, right. there's a tincture. Yeah, tincture you gotta do, yeah. Oh, you're Time. fucking right. The time. The Correct. Wash. Right. Time washed. Time washed. Let's that is the subtitle of the stream. Time once again. <laughs> <laughs> the show gets more fun as the evening goes on. Right. I don't yes, know if you really know this. Why don't we start this way? <laughs> no. Because then we, we never finish. finish. We, we never, never finish. finish. Nothing would happen on my stream. <laughs> We'd just be debating our favorite Back to the Future yeah. sequels. And <laughs> or singing. Let's do the time washing. Or, then. or singing. Time washing. Yes. The... Oh, all three really good at singing. We did we, harmonize well. We yeah. have good harmony, yeah. yeah. There you go. I kind of like the name of this. If this works, can we call it the time wash? Yes, we yeah. have to. Yeah. We have to. We have to. We're... Let's do the time oh wash again. Y'all found the name. Before the cocktail was finished. That's yes. weird. That's what y'all were going for. Yeah, we, we actually and were And I had a great yes. fruit expression, didn't I? Or did I? At the very end. At the very end, you said Let's that. do it now. Yeah. Okay. I like the present. Does have a brightness. Mm -hmm. I like bright. I'm a big fan of citrusy brightness. Are you kidding me? That didn't do much. There we go. There we got a little bit on there. That'll work. And that'll do just enough. That'll do. Big. It's just a splash to the left. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and then a shake to the right. <laughs> Thank you all for uh, sticking with us on this one. We're trying yes. to figure this out. Do I have a roll away shelf or tray to put everything in and away for hmm. you to clean up? No. <laughs> no, this is this, but, this is just here. Great suggestion. Hit that donate button. <laughs> Smash that donate button. <laughs> Hit that donate button right now. Check out our great things and sandwich. Yeah. That doesn't to, that doesn't suck. Doesn't suck. Doesn't suck. That right? doesn't suck. I don't know if it's there. It's not there, but it's definitely improved. I think the split base helps. Yes, indeed. Gives a little more. Dragon wants to try. I'm gonna try, make a guest appearance. Uh, <laughs> every once in a while, welcome. Is all right. He goes all on. Right. Just just after up. eleven o'clock, it's now all free for all. I just wanted to see if y'all were just drunk or y'all liked it. No, um, what I like it. Yeah, tell us. What, what do you think? We've been drinking more than. He is shame. <laughs> it's kind of flat. I don't know. Yeah, it is a little right, flat. Agreed. No, it's oh, not. Wait. Agreed. Hold on. Please hold. Oh, you don't have to do that. They can hear me. <laughs> Please talk yeah, amongst yourselves. Is there we go. the bridge. It's just like it's like it's fine. It's good. No, it's, no, it's, it's fine. Good. It's like a right. good taste. It's right. not. There's no like. It's not wow. Wait, wait, wait. Like, How about a little sparkling? Give me a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, do that. Oh, what? No. I mean, try it. Fuck it. But, like, okay. <laughs> but had, that's the I name of the cocktail. Try it. Fuck it. If you add a sparkled anything, it's great. Oh, rosemary. Oh. What? what are you talking anything. about? Rosemary, what? Oh. There's already time in it. I, why not add rosemary? Do the pelvic thrust. You can't. Is that a soda stream? Soda stream. Uh, I know the time it. is there, but it needs. It can double floral. Stop. Then water it down. No. I think the, wa the water might have brought it down. Oh. Nah, that didn't mm -mm. help it. Mm -mm. No. Okay. What does it need? By? Does it need more kick? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should have done a half and half on the on the base. Let's go half and half. I think that's a good idea. 
Let's go half and half. I thought I did that. Nope. Nope. No. We did a one half. Did one half and a... We did a one and a half. Right. Okay. So we need to do a so three, three quarter, quarter, three quarter. Three quarter, three quarter. Yes. Right. Bring, bring up the juniper. Bring down the sugar cane. Fair. With a yep. one Bernal. The math is really starting to hit my head right now. Yeah, no. So I think you're right. So okay. even even on the base. Even on the base. Three quarter, three quarter. Yes. Half. Yeah. Half. No, no, no. no. I feel like that was one half. One half. Yeah. That drink was a base. And then it just needs something. What if we switch this? What if we did one half? Hmm. Get a little more bitter. Cut the sweet. The bitter would be more up front, for sure, and it would provide a more pop. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, so three quarter, three quarter, one half. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sounds bad. Again, chat room, thanks for sticking with us. Yes, we're gonna figure this out. For we will <laughs> get this I love you. Out. Two o'clock says try it. Fuck it. That is the name of the cocktail. I think yeah. if it works out. Uh, that should be the name of the stream from now on. Yeah, try, try it. it. Fuck, fuck it. it. Yeah. This is this is uh, well, well, this is actually the name yes. of the. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, you're, I don't know, the after hour, the after hour stream right, yeah. is called after, Try to Fuck It. Try right. Yeah. After 11 o'clock, fuck it. That's okay. So, yeah. like every bar, should every I be back? I have something we're bringing. Or I'm bringing. Wait, what? what should, should I be back on the show? Uh huh. I have something I'm bringing. Maybe oh, yeah? you're going to be back. Because you say that, it's like, <laughs> yes, you'll be back. So, I have a spirit from Japan that you can only get at one location in the entire country of Japan. Wow. Holy fuck. Called Dinky Bron. Okay. So I don't know what it exactly is, uh -huh. but what I've heard is that it's a gin based brandy. Exactly. What? <laughs> and I have a bottle of it in my <laughs> fridge. Please, it's, please it's screen cap better that. served Just... chilled. <laughs> Sorry. And a gin based brandy from Japan. And the, the recipe was in. Created in the late 1800s, mid to late 1800s. Okay. It has only been created or like uh, brewed or distilled or whatever in one location in Tokyo. How did you get this? I went to Tokyo. Well, okay, there you go. <laughs> hey. hey, hit that donation button yeah. right down the bottom. <laughs> and, I'm going, and actually, I'm going back in, in May, so it's entirely possible I can get a second bottle or a third bottle. Nice. Uh, two hmm. words, damn, son. Uh, yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah, man. so gin-based brandy. Holy sounds crap. delicious. It's pretty. I mean, it's pretty tasty. It's and it's what the the best thing about it is that it's not very expensive. And actually, I heard about it on that TV show Booze Traveler. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big fan of Booze Traveler. I when want it was a on. show. I want a show as well. Can we get a show? We should get a show together. We should totally get a show. We have a triumvirate of, of this skills. This is a show. Yeah. Beer. Real. And then, yeah, cocktails, and then cocktails here. <laughs> well, like, and food. Beer. I, I don't know this world very yeah. well. I'm just like, I'm all for the ride, so. And I'm all for the flavors. I'm all for yeah. the flavors, too. And you, know your, and you know your aromatics and your herbs and simple syrups and things of that nature. We make this be a thing, y'all. We're going to pitch this to, like, Hulu or something. Yeah. Is anybody paying attention now? Hello, yeah. Hulu? Do you have any contacts? Hulu. Hulu. Hello, Hulu? <laughs> can we just say, like, hey, Alexa? Hey, us, Alexa, can you give me a touch Hulu with show. Hulu? <laughs> I actually know a lot of people that are doing shit with these networks right now, but they're not going to be watching this right now. Uh, yeah. well, that's why the YouTube doesn't forget. That's their loss. It is. Yes. Their uh, loss. Three quarter cachaca, three quarter brokers, London mm -hmm. dry gin. Yep, that makes sense. One that's the first. That's the base. Susan. One of the suit. Brokers, Brokers Gin, let's have a conversation for a minute. Can we please have a conversation? I want to show you this bottle. This is your bottle of Brokers Gin. Watch what happens. I didn't twist a shit. No, you it's did just, not. It just like comes on and like, can we, can we fucking fix this, Brokers? <laughs> this is this not brought to you by Brokers. <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, sorry. It's been a little bit of that. <laughs> Adam Cox's like, I have a Hulu account. Does that help? Yes. <laughs> it will when we're on there. Yes. One of Sue. Make sure you watch us 15 times in a row. <laughs> yes. One of Sue's. Ooh. Flight over flight. That's fine. Wow, that is yellow. Don't eat. <laughs> that is mellow yellow. Mellow yellow. Oh, yeah, mellow yellow. Uh, half a banal or three quarter Half banal. Half banal. Do we uh, have any bitters that, in that there? That should mellow yellow. I don't think we need should any bitters, do we? I mean, oh, a little angle. No angle. I don't. I don't know. 
Hold on. I'll, I'll straw Let's, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me straw okay. it first. Let's see where we're at. You're in the way. <laughs> Thank you for being here, but get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> so that's the most interesting most interesting thing I have in my fridge or on my counter. Okay. Is a Deku Bomb. Is it who? Deku Bomb. The stuff from Japan. That's Japan oh, stuff. that stuff. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Cool. Doesn't suck. Maybe not there. Right. Do you need to open it up first? We're, do, were we doing a rinse with this? Wait, we're going to yes. stick, we were stick with the, uh, the... No, not the cardamom. The, uh, wasn't it the thyme? No, it wasn't oh. the lavender. Are we still on the thyme? Hold rinse? on. Did we do the thyme last time? The thyme watch. Yeah, yeah, time Let's do yeah, yeah, time, time wash, wash again. again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Reagan. Yes. Welcome there's to the party. There's a reason we sang this song, okay, <laughs> damn it. We wanted to make the drink and then we have the name. We got oh, the drink, Reagan. Okay. You're wonderful. We got the drink. We're almost out of crackers, which means it's a good show. I have another <laughs> box if we need. No, we've, no. we've gone through a couple of boxes before. <laughs> For the record. Well, my question is going to be, what's the latest this show, this show has gone on? Like uh, the latest it's run. 11.30. Okay, so we're, ahead. Uh, we're getting pretty close. We're getting close. Sure. But that was also a time when we ordered pizza. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there was Austin pizza delivered and everything like that. Nice. But that was Elizabeth. Elizabeth ordered the Austin pizza. It gets really hard to talk as the evening goes on. Yeah. And I don't yeah. feel, this is not one of the worst streams. Like when we did a stream that was focused on like my overproof rum. Ooh. Oh, oh bring, no. Bring me back for that. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is, I, one, I mean, I this saw is my favorite rum in the world. Ooh, I love meditation. it. It is, that OFTD is spectacular. 69%. Yeah, it's, Yikes. it's stellar. Yikes. It's worth it. It's totally worth it. My wife and I have a, a bottle of Booker's, if that's right. It's like a whiskey. It's not actually like a bo- like a wooden right. box. It's like a Jim Bean, I think, Brian, or variant. Ooh. We have yet to crack. Got another idea for you. Ooh, that's oh, nice. Another one? Another one. Oh, my God. It's got a richness. You got to come back next month. <laughs> okay. I like, I like the smell of that. Yeah. Oh, I haven't. Oh, fuck. I haven't got nice in there. I'm running out of ice, y'all. Wow. That's a good sign. <clears throat> yeah. Now, what makes good ice? Because, again, I know you're really big on your on your ice. Well, for the record, my ice still sucks. Okay. Um, I mean, obviously good water, right? Good but... water makes a difference, but also the way you freeze it. Okay. Yeah. Because when you have ice that's not clear, right. it fractures more easily, and then it dilutes the drink faster. Sure. So you're getting a different flavor than if you have a really nice, solid, clear ice. Mm. The way to do that is you have super insulated sides and it freezes from the top down. Mm. Okay. So, 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 yeah. That guy, the ice cube that I put in there, that big ice cube that I yeah. had in there, that one's clear because I have a little thing that will freeze like one cube at a time. Oh, interesting. So I have at home, I have the, you know, the ice ball right, right. makers. Yeah. Is there a specific place in the freezer I should put those? You or? need to put it no. in a the thermos. Oh, in a the thermos. That might help, but if it's not designed yeah. for because that, Because again, I, I use like... That's going to be really hard to do anyway, because like when you fill it up with the water... It's going to dump expand. It, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, even well, when you try to put it in the thing, it probably tip over and like spill anyway. Sure. Interesting. I really want to start getting some really good ice for, for things really of this good nature. Ice. Weirdly costs a lot of money. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, for there, ice. There is a company <laughs> called Sipsmith. Okay. Sipsmith has a, it's kind of like a thermos. Okay. But first of all, I'll try this while I'm talking because yes. I'm not sure if I want to put grapefruit on it or not. Okay. Um, it's kind of like a thermos thing, but it's a really cool system. So you can freeze like four balls at once within this thermos mm. and you're gonna get a clear ice out of mm-hmm. it. It's really, really nice. It's like 150 bucks for one of these things. But that's actually relatively cheap because an ice ball that presses clear ice yeah. is like $2,000. Jesus. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's, I, I really. It's better. It's better. I also almost really like, again, I like the flavor of maybe the grapefruit. 
Or another citrus. He presents us with a grapefruit. <clears throat> I present you with a grapefruit. <laughs> I present you with a grapefruit. Um, I feel like it has the bitterness, though. The bitterness okay, is there. Okay, so what are we missing? Do we need a little sweet? Do we need a simple? I think it's simple. I think it's simple. A simple. Yeah. I will pass this on to you, good sir. Yes. Good sir. Let me, let me claw good that sir. over here. Whoa. Sarah. Yes. Uh, mm. They blew up for a second. Yeah, it was after. So here's something I've learned. Over Avery's the years. daddy is a vampire. Avery's dad. Add a down. clock. Bag. Add a clock, rather. Chemistry, y'all. Here's something I've learned. This is simple syrup. It's pretty clear. You can also make a simple syrup with that organic cane sugar, and it comes out kind of brown. Hmm. I like it because it's organic, and I'm a fucking granola. Mm-hmm. But welcome to Austin. Hashtag. It, <laughs> right. Hashtag Austin. It does muddy up the cocktail. Interesting. So this one is not an organic sugar, but it is white and clear. Cool. This is the one we just made, yeah. That's the one, yes. Mm, Ever you, so know slight. What, you know yeah, what? It's like a let's measure it. quarter, quarter ounce. or less. Yeah. That's about a quarter ounce. That's gonna be so much, I think. That's too much. That's a I can already tell. Yeah. Ooh, get my finger in it. Extra, extra flavor. <clears throat> the nose doesn't change. No, yeah, mm-hmm. it hasn't changed. It's killed a little bit of bitterness. It actually has. It definitely it's has. Mellow, mellowed it out. It mellowed out a lot. Is that a good mellowing? Yes. I think it's a good mellowing. I think it is. Would it be better with a Demande Canton? Ginger? Give you the sweetness and a little bit of spice? Mm. You know, it's funny because I like the spice before that, and that's mellowed it out, but... So maybe they a little, little introduction. little sweetness with a little bit of extra yeah. spice in there? What do you think? Ever, ever so, so slightly a splash. Oh God. I don't <laughs> I'll hold this steadily. An accurate uh, I'll hold this, uh, representation. Uh, I'll hold this steadily. Perfect. Like a surgeon. Perfect. And for the record, I'll let you I prefer uh, Fruit Lab ginger than Demanda Canton. <clears throat> I think Demanda Canton is a little bit too sweet for a ginger liqueur. Um, but it's what I have right now. I've run out of the Fruit Lab. Okay. I think we're really getting here. We're getting somewhere. Mm. Did the nose change? Mm-mm. It's not enough. Mm-mm. More of that. Ooh, but yeah, you catch it. Yeah, now you, you, you catch it a little bit. Now you get some more of the spice so there. So maybe like a, a Ooh, full quarter? Like that. mm, that's tasty. Water. I need more water. Yeah, I think I need it too. I think maybe a full quarter. Yeah. No, I think a full quarter, and I think you're there. But we're there. So we're on this journey together. I kill the simple. No, I think the, I think no, no, the simple simple's helps. good. But if we do a quarter of the ginger, we don't need the simple, because the ginger is going to bring sweetness into it as well. Fair point. I don't feel like it's overly sweet, though. No, that it isn't. Needs more sweet. Needs more sweet? I don't feel like it's no. overly sweet, because you did about a quarter simple. Is this the same drink that I tried earlier? No. No, this is yeah. different. Would you like to try this one before we mess with it? Yeah. Bringing in Reagan for Bring a fourth Reagan. opinion. Reagan, yes. come in. <clears throat> Oop. Don't trip. A little less biased. <sighs> Let's see. The delegate from a neutral country has, has joined the party. And he's... Uh, <laughs> His reaction wow, wasn't that good. Is a great face. <laughs> His reaction he does not was... like it. He does not... That is the first time Reagan has not liked something. Everyone clip this on Twitch. Yes. Because Reagan, Reagan not a didn't fan. like it. <laughs> Holy crap, right, I you, never thought I would see this what moment. Do you think? It's not there. Don't try to like it. You, you are allowed it's to not like it. You can still say the stuff. It is a little flat. Yeah. It's a little bit there. Y'all, here, okay. It's, it's, so it's, so it's, that's it's, ginger it's, and so, sweet? It's, it's, it's ginger and sweet. So maybe cut the sweet and just do ginger. But maybe we just do ginger. Yeah, I think you're right. We just cut the sweet and do the ginger. So. So what do you have? That because the ginger's gonna <clears throat> give that pop, right? Oh shit! Okay. 
Oh, man. I'm glad you guys have room. an Uber because I want Walmart. some pizza right yeah. now. Hey, everybody out there, if you don't want to donate, just order us a pizza. Yeah, seriously. Um, okay. Someone just subscribe. Whoa, who subscribed? Thank you. Who subscribed? Cajun ATX, thanks so much for the bits. Trolly poor. Trolly poor. Welcome to the stream. It's the end of the stream. You see the chaos after the stream. This is the stream after dark. <laughs> yeah, this stream stream after hours. Stream after hours. Yes. I want pizza too. Two o'clock. Man, I want pizza. Too. I'm glad I so ate it before coming. Here. As did I. I, I did. too. You know, I popped. I carved up. I'm just gonna say this. I don't ordinarily eat torchies, mm. but I was like. It's a five minute walk from here. It's right there. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to pop in and get a couple of tortillas. Yeah. yeah. Well, here to see, because I did Whataburger. Mm. Oh, I, I went to Whataburger. Cura's and I had a Chili Colorado. Oh, I love Cura's Ooh. too. Oh. I didn't have that kind of time. Ch- so they, have, they have Chili Colorado and Carnegie's Hot? They do. Interesting. Here's the thing I think I like the Chili Colorado better than their Carnegie's Hot. I like the Carnegie's Hot at Polvo's better. Okay. Let's really get into this. Right. So the <laughs> coach it is food to, and drink. It, right. The coach needs to mobile <clears throat> at uh, oh god, what's the place on Lamar? It's just right down there on Lamar and uh, fuck. Oh damn. Not Matt's. No, not Matt's. Because it's farther north than Matt's. Matt's is terrible. Oh, you I'm said it. Say it. Oh, Matt's is terrible. I'm this very, show not brought to you by Matt. I'm very, <laughs> I'm very white, and you should not eat at Matt's. <laughs> no, it's, it's farther north than Matt's. It's uh oh, it's not shoot. It's not Cezanne. Cezanne. Oh, Cezanne. Cezanne. Yeah, Cezanne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a great cochinita pabil. Okay. A great cochinita pabil. The Carnegie Sada and Polvos, killer. Chile, Colorado, Curves, killer. That's what you get at each one, in my yeah. opinion. Okay. That's where you got to roll. There you go. An avocado margarita? I'm allergic to avocado. Oh, shit. I can't eat Okay, it. so if you're at Cura's or Cura's, Cura's, you get the avocado margarita if you're not allergic to avocado. I am It's one of the few places in town that you can actually get one of those. True story. And everyone says it's amazing. It's, I mean, it's it's pretty solid. It's, I I'm mean, getting I'm this since I was about 21, which is about... What, uh, 11 years ago, I guess. So Well done. Well done. <clears throat> yeah. math, math Math is hard. The camera's going to be on Mark. Maybe it'll be bad. Okay, cool. Hello, camera. Cool. Camera's on Mark. Bio break for Reagan. This drink salad is going to be good with a spicy wing or those mm. brats. Exquisite. Indeed. Exquisite. Wait. And make sure you go to your local Austin bar and order an Austin Negroni. Austin Negroni. That but thing was delicious. I'm sorry. That was, pretty that good. was great. Go to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the weirdlings. And there's a video on there for drink it with wings. Ooh. That's what you need to drink with wings. Indeed. Because it's Very got nice. hot sauce in there. A Marie a Sharps mm. habanero hot sauce. And Old Yopon. Old Yopon. Old Yopon go. gin. And that's a great gin. It's like, an amazing gin. By itself. But in a cocktail, probably even better. I am so hungry now. Indeed. Two o'clock. Oddly enough, I'm not allergic to aspirin. It's weird. They're related. An aspirin allergy and avocado allergy are related. Are they really? They are. I think it has to do with the malabsorption of the sugar. Interesting. Because I also have issues with cashews. Okay. Oh. It's weird. Okay. Hey, cocktail. Freeze! Yes. Cocktail. Everybody clap you your hands. <laughs> Check it out, Yum. 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 <laughs> All right, three quarter, three quarter of the base. <laughs> We're trying yeah. to find a better gin, I mean, uh, ginger substitute. Yes. I've got so much, like, chip. Oh, I think we're frozen. Are like we? JoJo. I mean, we are in overtime. Reagan, we're chosen. We're chosen. <laughs> we are the chosen ones. We're, we're the, the chosen, chosen frozen. Ones. The chosen Cheers frozen. Cheers to that. Mm. Stay forgot, hydrated, people. I forgot I had a shit ton of rosemary soaking in Chartreuse. like Everclear. Because I added the tincture. Oh, shit. That will light Aww. on fire really easily. My wife now. wants to order us all food. Aww. <laughs> That's so sweet. I'm not going to deny this. I, I will totally... I like Miss Tucker. At this late I, at night? I oh, like My wife will figure out a way. Miss Tucker, she's no, she's you no joke. are amazing. You are my amazing. Wife rules. Not and, only and, are you amazing is, with names. He's lucky 
I Let's married. Go. I married man. up. Let me tell you. He married up. Oh yeah. Uh, mace? Do we want mace? I don't want oh. mace. Oh, Mrs. Tucker says, text uh, me the order and the address. <laughs> she's, she's not kidding. She would literally go and That's order his pizza. I'm not Freaking kidding. Amazing. Uh, the, my wife has done that before. I've been in here I and mean, then, like there's been a knock on the door, like there's pizza. We're fishing in the longest stream. Woo! Woo! It's only eleven forty. We even harmonized on the woo. That was incredible. <laughs> Oh crap, it's 11.40. Holy yeah, shit, we're still going. Yeah, we are. What the fuck are we doing okay, We're here? trying to finish this last drink. We gotta figure out this drink. Last drink. Last drink. Joe, round. Joe said we round. can't finish Lightning until this drink round. is done. Shit. Damn it. Okay. Okay. I'm working from home tomorrow, so I don't okay. care. <laughs> we're trying to find a ginger, a more strong ginger flavor. Yes. Sure. I mean, well, I mean, get the, we have, so we have ginger beer. Lightning right, round. I don't know if that would work so much. I think that's gonna be a little, well. Be, but we also want to keep the sweet because we're going to right. cut this simple sugar, simple syrup. Simple okay, syrup. let's let's stop for a second. What are the bases we had? We had a split base of three, cachaça three quarter, and brokers. Let me pull this shit out here. Cachaça. Okay, get your beer out of here. <laughs> I pour the beer. Cachaça and brokers. I love your beer. I'm very happy my beer it's made one good cocktail. And then we're doing one of the Sous. One of the Sous. Half of the Banal. Half of the Banal. And then we threw some ginger in there somehow. And then we did about a quarter of the ginger. No, we did about a half of the ginger. If we're doing the ginger, hold on a second. This Domaine de Canton is a little sweet. It's not a spicy ginger. It's more of a sweet ginger. So we're looking for more of a spicy ginger. Yeah, we need so something sweet. that's going to hit us a little more. Um, you have mine over here. You're looking over here. I don't have a lot of liqueurs that are going to hit. Elderflower? No, it's super sweet. Is it? Yeah, it is super sweet. Texas orange. Absinthe. Malort. Malort? No. Absolutely not. Malone I mean, allspice is going to. Can you explain to the, stream, the, the, the drink again? No. <laughs> Let's do the time wash again. Okay, so time wash. The time wash. Half. Oh, we were doing a time wash. Yeah, we were doing a yeah. time wash. So you have to half do time. Half gin, half fit. Unless you decide to just Dang. abandon time altogether and just. Well, no, 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 if no we... just time wash and then what? abandon everything else and start over. <laughs> we oh, can't start over. Geez. We've gone too far. <laughs> We've gone too far with this. Hey, what twice. if we kill the Bonal? Into a ginger. So you have Sue's ginger time wash with the brokers and the cachaça. Remind me of the flavor profile of Sue's. I am <laughs> too drunk to know. Sweet, sweet bitter. Uh, it's got a gentian push, but it is sweet. Because that's going to counteract with the ginger. Because it yes. has a sweetness to it. Yes, right. So do we, right. wanna, do we want to cancel out the Sue's or do we want to cancel out the Bernal? The banal is gonna have. It's gonna be sweet. It's a but it's sweet more mellow. Move. It's a mellow sweet though. But it's gonna have a bitterness to it. True. Yes. Which I think you need. Or cancel both need... of them and just bring in Chinar. Chinar. Yeah, I love oh. Chinar. What do you <laughs> love Chinar? I, I love, love Chinar. Hold on a second. Let's see what Chinar will do to this. Suit of this. I love Chinar. If you don't know what Chinar is, go try it somewhere, wherever it might be. <laughs> Because it's delicious. <laughs> Seek it, it out. Delicious. It's so delicious. It's darker. It has definitely a more bitter than a sweet flavor. You need the bitter in this. I Lilo. Think. Hello, Hi. Lilo. Hi, Lilo. Just hey. Add Just lime. Was there She's lime? Lime. lime? Lime might not be lime. a bad idea Brines with this. With, it rhymes with time. <laughs> that's, that's a fact. I'm not going to dispute that. <laughs> uh, it, it is an irrefutable fact, yes. Irrefutable fact. <laughs> two o'clock, for the record, two o'clock, I love you. Um, but you sent me some spirits from the distillery in Virginia. This is Ooh, how much BTA I have BTA. left. It's not a lot. I kind of kept it on the back bar because it's harder to test kitchen with that much. Um, I don't think the VT works with this. This, okay, let me, let me explain. Fuck. You are, okay. <laughs> you are double fisting right now. <laughs> this gin is stellar for a contemporary gin. It is very sweet. It almost tastes like butterscotch. Ooh. Which okay. is kind of like, here, you should try this. 
Should, should I mean, I'm gonna need a rinse on that because I'm like, it's got like, ooh, yeah, come on. Thank you. Oh damn it! This. Never finished. Oh fuck. You are being pushy, yeah. Reagan. Why are you so pushy? I kind of want to go home, but are you? Let's... And yet you want to finish you. a drink. <laughs> you need a rinse. I want to see the. Ooh, that's nice. It's got a brightness to it. This is from a distillery in Virginia. They make an amazing scotch. It's not really a scotch technically because it's right. there, but right. it is a very smoky whiskey. And I love me my peat and my scotch. But every time I taste it, the only way I can describe it as a modern gin is butterscotch. Ooh. Yeah. It's like a very unique gin for me. The very, wow. <clears throat> it's, a, it's like a butterscotch with a hot nose. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I think it's I think it's amazing. It's very unique. It's very I haven't unique. gotten a lot of spirits like that. Yeah, very unique. I'm not sure that works with this, but no. two o'clock just brought. I don't it up, think it so. would. But it's, thanks it's two delicious. O'clock. Yeah, thanks it's o'clock. Delicious. We have a few more offerings now. Two o'clock, you are amazing. Ah, oh, I would love that if you send some more stuff. I would Amen. absolutely love that. Remind me, if you do send it, let me know because I don't check that PO box <clears> very often. So please let me know if you do send something. I really mm. rarely check it. I box. like that quite a bit. It's definitely a different place. Cajun's leaving. Good oh, night. Good night, Cajun. So long, Cajun. Good night, Cajun. Sorry, Sorry Joy. We... We Sorry love we you. drew this out. We miss you. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. So long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, adieu. Uh, I can deliver Adios. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly. Is his party going Jolly online? bit me. So I'm calling an Uber and bringing baggies of Antonelli's cheese. Ooh, I love you, Joe. I like that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. What are we doing? Where are we? What day is it? So we, were, we were gonna. So we were gonna it's replace Tuesday. for a few more minutes. So we were, <laughs> 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 we were gonna replace right the simple syrup with. I think you said just screw the the, the base and just do the half and half, three quarters. Half and half. half, half, half. Okay, that's right. Half and half, and then you want to incorporate the possibly chinar. The chinar, as opposed to as opposed to the sous. The sous. Switch. Correct. Maybe because so I, that I feel like the sous take is a hike. sweeter, and right? It's... And the Chinar is, not quite as sweet. is also sweet. Chinar has more of a bitter flavor, and then the ginger the gin, has a sweet aspect to it. So that's giving us our sweetness, our bitter. It's hitting all the profiles. No bonal. No bonal. No bonal. Because that's no sweet. Bonal. No. No bonal. No. You are dismissed. Get out. You you can go <laughs> to your home because oh, you are dismissed. Oh damn. Uh oh. We have Cardamaro. Ooh. Don't. What is that? <laughs> I, don't know what that is. I, I, I acted astonished as yeah. if I knew what that was, and I Ooh, have no idea. That sounds exciting. But what Ooh, is it? that sounds just thrilling. <laughs> we're, we're, we're switching. <laughs> I don't we even doing? know, Ray. <laughs> what are we Shut doing? up. What is this? <laughs> How do I know these things? Uh, poor, you know, I feel like, <laughs> real quick, y'all, I over. feel like I should say Judge this. Already in my over. I feel like I, I need I know to say you this live right in now. Y'all, uh, y'all, honey. wait, stop. We're almost there. Drink responsibly. Yes. yes. We're all Ubering. Yes. And if you drink Ubering, irresponsibly, I actually, get home responsibly. Right. Yes. And I actually live here. <laughs> yes. You don't <laughs> have a commute. Over, over there somewhere. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Like, I'll go to sleep right up there. I've, I've kind of seen a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Right. Literally. <laughs> That's my bed. So what is that thing that you pulled from the fridge? <laughs> I love how you're bringing this back in. <laughs> what are you asking? Yeah. <laughs> Cardamaro. Cardamaro. Um, it's interesting because you think this would be a that cardamom, a beautiful but it's not. It is, it is a beautiful bottle. Oh, I like that cam. bottle. Drink cam. Drink cam. Cardamaro. Beautiful bottle. Long stem um, neck. It is kind Very of pretty. like a, a sweet vermouth. Kind of. Give me your shoddy glassy things. It's just gentle. Shoddy glass. They're actual shot glasses, Mark. You know, whatever. Slot, slot. Aspects. You know, Reagan. Until you order me a pizza, I don't want to hear from you. <laughs> Shoddy glassy thing is an industry term that Ooh, that's commonly. I like the sweetness on the nose. Good pizza open right now. No, probably what? not. Oh yeah, actually, right now, no, because. Uh, you know that. I know that's that. That's almost reminiscent of Chino. Almost. Yeah, yeah. It's got kind of. It's more of a sweeter than the bitter side mm-hmm. of it. Yep. It's got a wine base, whereas the chinar has a neutral spirit base, but it has hmm. the artichoke kind of flavor to it. Yeah. 
Mm. Mm. This? Maybe that in place of Chinar. Yes. Although I loved. I love Chinar. I think I've had Chinar one time. You haven't had Chinar before? I'm going to pour him a little bit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you want some Chinar? I would like, you know what? Why yeah, not? fuck it. Why not? I've never, I've never had it before. Because I've never had it, so I, I genuinely, it's going to be a first time experience for me. My depth I perception like is so fucked up right now, y'all. Oh, I know. oh, damn. No, dang. You don't have to drink that whole shot if you don't want to. Oh, well. So, my fun. first experience, we're going to have some Chinar flavored crackers. My first experience with Chinar is, was actually in Venice. Oh, really? At an amazing. So, if you're ever in Venice, there's an amazing cocktail bar called Il Mercante. Il Mercante? Il Mercante. Okay. So, Alessandro is the owner of the place. He was actually a guest bartender here at Academia. Oh, yeah. really? And I met him here. And I was like, you know, he, he had like a, a special, like a, like a specialty menu, like three or four drinks that mm -hmm. he, he brought with him. And after having these drinks and talking with him and everything, I told him, I was like, fuck man, if I'm ever in Venice, I'm going to come visit you. And literally four or five months later, I was in Venice. Oh, wow. that's amazing. That's and I went awesome. in there and he was like, dude, like he was like, hey, hey. Yeah, and he like awesome. remembered me and my buddy. And yeah, yeah. So if you're ever in Venice, easily one of the best cocktail bars I've ever been to in my life. Like they have a better understanding of the ingredients and stuff that they're using in their cocktails than anywhere I've ever been. Yeah. It's amazing. I feel like the the U.S. in general is kind of uh, a little behind because we've been so obsessed with sweet drinks when mm -hmm. it comes to cocktails for mm -hmm. so long. We're just now starting to embrace bitterness Bitter, and what that can yeah. bring to a cocktail. Which is what I love. I mean, oh, I love bitter I love cocktails. Bitter. I love yeah. it. It's and so again, amazing. as a beer person, bitter for me is part so, of my So definitely... Palette. That is Cardamaro That is, is awesome. Is sweeter. This is this is just a lot more level headed. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, like earthy um, and. And so actually, my first experience with this was the Chinar Seventy, which mm -hmm. is higher ABV. Yeah. Um, In general, I find higher ABVs to be better. Yeah. Uh, and better is a strong word. They seem to have more complexity and more flavor than right. lower ABV. Right. Um, that's why I like the overproof rum. It's hard to drink a lot of that because it is overproof. But in God, general, so I feel good. it's got a more complex flavor that is, to it. It's extraordinary. That's the Cardamaro you like. That's right? wonderful. Yeah. The Cardamaro is really nice. Mm. I bought that on a whim a while back. It's been sitting not long enough to oxidize, but enough to, you know, be sitting around for a while. Why don't we switch the Cardamaro out for, for the Chinar? Okay. Yeah. Let's do mm. the Cachaca, the Brokers, the Cardamaro with a time rinse. Do we keep the ginger? I think the ginger yeah, is you have to. You have okay, to. so three quarter, three quarter. Mm -hmm. One? One half? Yes. Yeah? Yes. One half rinse. <sighs> See if I can remember that. Oh, 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 fuck me. Yes, at a clock, Austin does have Uber. We have yeah. Lyft, we have Uber, we have all the fun ones. We have, yeah. all, we have all sorts of shit. For those playing along at home, yeah. keeping up with the numbers. There will be For a test later. For those playing along with home, let's just play. <laughs> For playing those along playing along at, at home, home, let's be clear, we're going to need a name. So just start that right now. Yeah, start yeah. that process right now. That's a, that's a wise idea. I thought this is a time watch. Oh, this is a time oh, watch. Oh, this is a time watch. <laughs> never mind. Shut up, time never time. mind. We have a name. Never mind. We got Unless it. you can think of a name better than the time watch. If you have a better wash. name than the time watch, then ro rock and roll. Y'all already sang it three times. Let's do the time wash again. <laughs> three quarter brokers, three quarter cachaça. You know, four hours ago, this seems like a really chill stream, right? And now three oh, hours later, we're like, funny. what? Yeah. This is great. Let's make another drink. <laughs> <laughs> We'll figure it out. Silver Cachaca, three quarter. Joe was like, you can't leave until it's finished. And she's like, gone. Right? If you don't is, want the after. I think Joe wants, wants to come in. I'm not Joe sure about that. I saw something when she was like, I'm coming over. Uh, uh, Chinar is dope, Joe. I'm, I'm glad we agree on that. Indeed. James, I'm good. Literally, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know if these guys are. Bill, do you want food? Uh, are she, you good? She would. You seem good. I feel okay. How? I, I'm a have you? You're. I thought I was a pro. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Three quarter, three quarter. Uh, Cardamaro. One. 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 And then half. One and half of the ginger. And a, with a rinse of time. And a rinse of time. A rinse of time. One of the Cardamaro. One. Cardamaro. Cardamaro. There's a reason that 
bartenders at your bars don't drink while they're while they're doing the stuff. Cause it gets really fucking hard to do this. And then one half of the ginger. Someone left us. Thank you at two o'clock. I think my wife's falling asleep. Jame, mm -hmm. I'm good. Feel free to fall asleep. This is thank way you past for, your bedtime. Thank you for all the names. Miss Tucker 19, we love you. Thank yes. you for the names. Yeah. You're amazing. 100%. Incredible. Yes. One half ginger. Demand to come home. You know, Bill, I feel like you're doing that thing where like when somebody pours you a drink, you're like, this is great. <laughs> I don't know. There's a giant vat behind yeah. me that I've just brought with me to, to catch all my leavings. Um, let's kill this guy. Yeah. Kill that with the time rats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do time walk again. Do, 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 do. Should I set it on fire? I'm checking out burgers in the chat now. Really Somebody give me a burger. Somebody favor some, like, <laughs> what's the burger place in town? P. Terry's? P. Terry's will work. Whatever. P. Terry's is good. Whatever is better. Ingrid. Oh, the, the yeah, P. there's P. not a question. Burger, they do, it's not vegan. P. Oh, oh, really? What? The huh. bun has cheese in it? Yes. No. What? Yes. How does a bun have cheese in it? it you're smoking it crack and trying to make it sound like you're a rational person. Oh, Reagan. Oh, Reagan. Cheese in the bun. Nashville has the best barbecue? No, 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 yeah, no, no. Yeah, Dark no, Man no, no, is no, like, no, like dark. Okay, you're, you're trolling right hey, now, hey, Dark. Hey, that is a hey, shot hey, across the bow, my friend. Dark, Dark, Dark. Nashville has the best fried chicken. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, they do not have the best Nashville? Barbecue. Definitely don't have the best barbecue. I've had Nashville, Nashville? barbecue. No, not best barbecue. Chicken? That is. Angela yeah. is back, y'all. Hey, hey, Angela, hey, Angela, hey, Angela, hey, Angela hey, is back. Hey, Angela, hey, Angela Merkel is back. Adam Spong is from Australia, and you're in here as Ooh, well. Oh, Australia. As we well should talk about barbecue with him. We should have barbecue in Australia. Because barbecue in Australia is yeah, boy, it's a they're thing. making it. They're making I don't know, a name for themselves. What's the difference between barbecue in Australia and barbecue in Austin? So okay, I, I will let you answer this question. Let's be <laughs> let's be real. Extensive experience. So wait, wait, hold on before before we talk sure. too much because Sorry. you both are sitting. I've been standing for four hours. This is very true. Would you like me to stand? No, no, no. Oh. I just want to. Oh. Do you want us to stand in solidarity? I'm, no, no. It's <laughs> so, who, who is from Australia? Uh, uh, Adam, Adam Spong. Spong. Adam Spong. Adam Spong. Okay, I'm going to speak for Texas barbecue. I'll let you speak for Aus Aussie barbecue. Okay, he's, he's so. Says, he says, is this one of those wine tasting screens? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is where we're making cocktails from scratch, and we've been going for four hours right now. We're actually almost on hour five. Yeah, we're almost, almost done with hour five. This is the longest <laughs> with hour five? <laughs> in the history yeah. of streams. It's the longest one. Yeah. I'm yeah. so happy it was this on. This is really hard for me to do. I don't sleep, Adam, so this is fine for me. We're trying to finish a single drink, and we, we're almost done with it. Are we? Yeah. We're, we're Are almost done we? with the last drink of the stream, so thank yes. you for joining us in the end. Yes. I would like you to speak on Australian barbecue while I speak on Texas Central Texas barbecue. Mm -hmm. So te Central Texas barbecue is is highlighted mostly by the use of uh, post oak, so it's it's a very clean burning wood. Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's. There's less of a focus on sauces, so like when you make when you make like a brisket in Texas, it's normally a 50-50 rub of salt and pepper. Angela, I'm not drunk. <laughs> well, actually, let's be clear. I might be a little bit. And we cook low and slow, so 250, 275 degrees for a long, long freaking time. Long, long time. Long time. 18 long hours time. up long. to. We might even finish it in the oven sometimes. Um, no, stop no, that. No, 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 no. Don't say that, Reagan. That's wrong. We don't Reagan. do that. Just don't do that. <laughs> Just don't even. Um, so obviously it's, you know, we're kind of unique in the sense that we can get this particular kind of uh, white oak. Angela. 
um, as opposed to what you can get in Australia. So other parts of Texas maybe uses mesquite, like south and, and west Texas, which oh. burns a lot heavier. Or not heavier, but hotter. No, it's all that. And so you have a different kind of... Uh, Tolerances. I don't think you did. I don't think you did. Better did <laughs> <You didn't. laughs> Which burns a lot hotter, gives you a different flavor profile and all that kind of stuff. Um, so what, what do we have to say about Aussie barbecue? I was just going to say that Texas barbecue uh, is Adam yummy. Does, Adam doesn't have any... That's where I was going to go with that. This what one. is Very, the very yummy. Yeah, and you I, don't sauce. Now, I, here's my question. Do you sauce or no sauce? Is the best barbecue. Nashville does not have the best what? barbecue. <laughs> no, no, Reagan, get out of my house. Well, what, so, what are you talking I'm about? I'm what the stream Well, the stream says. is wrong. Okay. Sorry, stream. Yeah, stream, you are wrong. The pepper bark on an Austin-style barbecue or Central Texas-style barbecue Do you remember is that? stellar. It is. I don't know what that is. It's All right, best. well, I'm going to drink it. Well. <laughs> it's, it's liquor. Yeah. It's on the table. It's something here. And it doesn't suck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even know what I made. Perfect. That's the kind of drink we <laughs> like here. I hope somebody in chat was keeping track of this. I no think I think was. I know. I think we're barbecue think... sauce or no sauce. No, no sauce. sauce. You need barbecue okay. sauce. It's not good barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. No sauce. But so your your no, barbecue sauce is great. Your barbecue. No, Reagan, great. stop talking, Reagan. It's great. You are. This is no. this is Satan in the back of my it ear, is, like right? just saying falsehoods and, and half truths. In terms of no, Texas no, no. barbecue, your barbecue <laughs> should stand on its own without sauce. You know what? I agree. Oh, I agree, and I've had I've had that yeah, barbecue. I like your nose on it's that. Great, but you know, uh, it's it's also amazing if you take that same barbecue and put barbecue. Sauce. Mm -mm. Nope. Not always. Uh, nope. You're Actually, wrong, Reagan. Never. You're it's objectively right. wrong. I deny you. I deny you Satan. I like. I deny yes, you Satan. I denounce you. Yes. Uh, I, I like, like that. that. I put beans I like chili. that quite a bit. <laughs> no grapefruit. Uh, Why not? But I don't think it'll make a difference. Let's try it. Goodness. I like that. It doesn't. It's not earthy flavor. Ooh. It's got a little more aggressiveness. You know. So. Do you really think I want to go home? Say no. <clears throat> I like the aromatic on it. Don't think the grapefruit did anything mm -hmm. other than change the nose. I don't think so either. I like it though. But it's good. It's good. It's good. It's a nice. It's a nice cocktail. It is a nice cocktail. Would I don't know if I'll drink two of those. I don't think I would either. But I I like it. This smells. Way better than the last three. Well, so. because he, yeah. the, last the, three. the spritz of grape. The last three. <laughs> the last three. What? Oh, I actually like this a lot. There you yeah. go. It's yeah. got the Reagan a seal. A lot. Yeah. It's got the Reagan seal of approval. It sure does. <laughs> way better than Here's the, the last. key. Oh, here, wait, I have no idea what's in okay. that drink. Three, three quarter. <laughs> three quarter. Three quarter. Three quarter. Yep. One, One half, half rinse. rinse. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That is what it is. It is mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. Is that, we I mean, were keeping track. Seriously though, is that a drink that you would drink though? Because if it's not, I'm not going to make a video of it. Because it takes a lot of time to make a video and edit it. Um, it's a drink that if I ordered, I wouldn't give it back and I would enjoy it. I don't know if I would get another. One. One and done. It's a one and done. I really like I'm it. Not, and I don't know what you would could you do Would you order more it. than one though? Probably, yeah. Mm. yeah. I don't know if I believe I mean, if you're at a place that has cachaça, what else are you ordering with cachaça? You're ordering a caprahina. What if you don't want to be basic? I mean, in terms of cachaça. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, fair. How? Because caprahina is... smooth and fun. Like, I don't know. Caprahinas are fucking delicious. I like it. No, I totally like it. They really are. I don't know if I would do it. It has, I mean, for me to have another the same... It has to be exceptional. Like I really so for me, I okay, always okay, want. Yeah. Right, I don't have this exceptional standard. So they but, sent me cans. They have their own caprina that they I have I would like try to bottled can. up and yeah, can yeah, yeah. another time. So that's thing. a full cocktail. That's a full cocktail right there. You know how they do that, like icy froth on the top. Like it'd be kind of good with that. But yeah. shake it. Oh. You know what? What if you we like had like uh, like pebble ice in that <clears throat> or something like that? Would that no, be no but you just said it's shaken. If 
that was shaking. I bet it'd be gross. Shaking wow. aggressively with, with like the wood chips? Yeah. With the wood chips? I mean, not wood chips, <laughs> goddammit. Ice chips. Ice chips. Yeah. All right. I'm so glad I'm five hours. Five hours. Five hours, yeah. five hours of Damn. generating. Yeah. It's like, Damn. With that like cold, That's or, funny. Like, cold snap. If this Is was, Angela still here to chill you? Taste, I'm sorry. It'd be perfect. It'd be good. Yeah. I Do I that. try to make it again with shooken? I think it's Michigan. done. I think it's done, but... Is it? I'm not sure. Well, no, because last time we did a shake and it was substantially it different. It drastically changed okay, it. Do it. Do yes. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. So, all right, start, listen. Start all right. Time washing, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, before reset. we do this, reset. Reset. write down what we have before we forget it. I don't even know. I don't know. know. All right, give me the pencil right. and pen while you get the ingredients together. Which Where's is? the pen? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yeah, write it down. Here, there you go. You can have another one. Oh my god. We are we are devolving here. How friends. am I the most inebriated of the I three am, of us? I don't know. Because we've had the same amount of alcohol. We have. Right? I don't Pretty think much. So. You had no, alcohol. we've had more Mark, because you've Mark. been giving us tastes of the different no, Mark's liqueurs. Had, Mark's had substantially a lot a lot. I feel it's, like I've had a lot. <laughs> Reagan, stop. Just do your thing. Bottle cap says idle movement. I don't know why. I'm keeping tabs back. <laughs> Two o'clock says wood chips. Wood chips. <laughs> hey now, hey now. It's been five hours of cocktail drinking and making. So you're you're Come allowed. Break. You're allowed to say wood chips if you want. I mean that's fine. You know what's sad to me right, so is that more people don't watch what's happening right now. Oh, it's so good. Because this is so good. So See, fun. I was saying this, this last drink would be a good video, but it might not be the best drink. <laughs> I want a good drink. <laughs> At a clock. Bill Tucker is impervious to booze. Imper- it is amazing. It Bill, might be. I don't Bill, know. you seem completely what, so What's the ginger one called? I don't know. What's the what? Me. What's the ginger one called? Oh, uh, Domaine de Canton. We'll just put this name. Oh, Steady diet of steady craft diet. beer and oh, whiskey, yeah. okay. I guess. I don't know. It is amazing. Because you're like... I try. Well done, Thank sir. you, sir. Thank well you. freaking done. Because I like thinking of myself as someone that could handle a cocktail. No, no. I mean, this has been a marathon. And yet... Yes. You are completely rational. I, I feel rational. Hey, Three-quarter cachaça. Three-quarter London gin, brokers, one ounce. Can you be my scribe? <laughs> scribe? Because nice. this is, per- this is nice. beautiful script. Ooh, you have good handwriting? I really well done. Handwriting. May I? For five yeah, hours of this, cocktail right? Right? drinking. Oh, that's, After five hours? Oh my gosh, that's after five hours of drinking, that is legible I mean, and everything. I love that. that? Decent so pen, decent like pad. Disaster. One one horrible. I, I can't. Yeah, quarter. One ounce. Domaine de Canton. And then it time rents. But you're saying shake it all up before you put it in the glass. I'm into that, let's, man. Let's try shaking it. I do think it. shaking it would be do great. It. I am shocked by your ability to shake things and make a difference. But let's do it. Let's do it. I'm into we that, man. I think, well, I think the aeration of a lot of... It, no, I think it's going to expand a lot of stuff. Especially it's the gonna Amaro. Blow. It's going to affect the Amaro the most mm-hmm. out of all of this. Mm-hmm. So and so sure I'm really part. curious. Make sure, it's the same. make sure what's the same. This whole drink. Well, that's what we have the recipe for, Reagan. <laughs> That's why I wrote it down. That's why he wrote it down. <laughs> I'm doing exactly that's, what he's telling me to do. That's the key. Don't fuck up the pores. You know, shut up. <laughs> Three quarter brokers. Shake cam. Oh, at o'clock is calling for a shake cam. Shake cam? Yes. Oh, God, no. Oh, I got and it. At, at two, oh, I keep worry. saying at o'clock. At two o'clock. At two, at two o'clock, o'clock, I got it. I got it. All right. Uh, Three quarter of the cachaça. Way to go. <laughs> right? it's We're now. trying to be a professional yeah. like thing here, We're, right? This is I've been silencing my burps all right? night. Right, and no, you just like <laughs> let it roll. Like, oh, what is this? Some kind of... You made me laugh, but I didn't keep going. Whatever, Reagan. Some kind of jack show. That's funny. Reagan. <laughs> this is One interesting, ounce. though. Yeah. For tomorrow. No, I'd be interested in checking it out. Chaka, lime flavor, sugar, and carbonation. I That's mean, that pretty good. about... Well, what's everyone's opinion on it's the... It's the uh, national drink of Brazil. Oh. Yeah, pop it open, man. Oh, I mean, warm. Oh, well, I mean... It is a little warm, so there's that. Yeah, Will almost shut down the stream. What? Earlier, she was underneath the computer, and I'm like, move, get out of there. And then she almost stepped on the power button. Tastes pretty similar to our cocktail. 
Oh, with way less ingredients. Are we making a Capri? <laughs> We're making a canned cocktail, oh, sir. Damn it! <laughs> Somebody <laughs> else went through all this work, just so you know, and canned like it. Years ago, and put it in a can and still like well, millions so of dollars off the shit right oh, that's now. That's so funny. Half of Domaine de Canton. All right. <laughs> And again, I don't go to bed before like midnight every night. So yeah, for me, same. this is no big like, deal. Is I mean, fun. I don't go to bed before like two. That seemed like. But a I usually am not drinking. I mean, this is true. That seemed I mean, like a quarter. Was that a half? That was a half. Okay, cool. I think it was, it was a half. Mm. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> Reagan, shush. You're the one that told us to finish this. Okay. I only need five. Listen, hours. listen. We're not quitters here. We got to finish no, it nobody out. Nobody here is a quitter. That's right. Go to bed at like three. Reagan, stop talking. I love you, Reagan. I do. And I appreciate you, Reagan. Yeah. I do. I really do. Maybe like Kashaka just has like that kind of nose. Where no, it, like, totally. Where stands out. Mm-hmm. That's that there. is like it's, the it's, national it's totally dream. There. It's totally like, Oh, shit. Freaking hey, man. <laughs> freaking hey, man. I'm here. I ran out of good ice. Bad ice right. it is. It happens. Okay, right the hell so out who, of it. Who do we pitch the show to? Who do we pitch this Everybody. To? If yeah. I get there in like 17 minutes with food, is this a good idea, says JoJo. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I can't say it's a bad idea. Yeah. I can't say I'll still be here. I don't know. And JoJo's no joke. She'll, she'll show she'll up. She'll do it. Yeah, yeah she's absolutely. Very, she's, oh, she's there you go. Says I was going to say, that's a very enthusiastic thing. Very nice. Yeah, very good. I mean, uh, and Jojo, you should ask yourself, what, what time do bars close in Austin? <laughs> 2 a.m. 2. 2 a.m. That's probably, yep. that's when it's too late. You don't have to go home, but you, but can't, you can't stay, stay here. here. Oh, God. Closing time. A criminally, da, 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 criminally da, 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 underrated da, 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 band, Semisonic. Semisonic's pretty good. Are, Are they, they underrated, though? Oh, yeah. What else have they so. had? Um, they do I don't a, really know Good question, but... Underrated. <laughs> no, they, no, they have some phenomenal songs. I, I, I have a semi-sonic Do you have like playlist? a semi-sonic playlist? Not a playlist, but I do. Because that would be pretty amazing. I would be no, so I have impressed a, if you have a semi-sonic playlist. No, but I, I do listen to them. I make fun of you a little bit. But they, but they, they do it here, like, extensively. They do. They really yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Fun fact. The lead singer and guitar, facts. lead singer guitarist of um, Semi-Sonic Different wrote, color. wrote, oh, yes it is, wrote a lot of Adele's Biggest hits. Ooh. Shut your face. Yep, he's a well known. Hello. He wrote, um, <laughs> not hello. You might remember hello. Uh, what different was... song. <laughs> well, now That's we got what I think of. <laughs> yeah. I always think of Little Richie when I it's hear me. that. <laughs> That's okay. a totally he... different color. Oh, he, yeah, he wrote Someone Like You. What did you do? I didn't rinse it. I thought you rinsed it. Well, Grace, another glass. Dump, dump it. Yeah. Hold on, no, no. Yeah. Shit. Dump, dump, dump that's, that's it. Like a martini gold. glass. That's okay. God that's damn okay. it. God damn it. Martini I, I glass. You did. Shit, I didn't. Yeah. I totally so the lead didn't. singer of Semisonic wrote "Someone Like You." I have said oh wow. Sorry. Which like Grammy award winning? <sighs> what is "Someone Like You"? Never mind. I find someone like, like you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask me to sing Adele. Leave it there. Don't ask me to sing Adele. That's impossible. I mean, who the woman's sing a national Adele? treasure. That's like singing. What's her name? It's like trying to sing. Helped. It's trying to like sing Stevie Wonder. Like you can't do that. So just no, it's don't like, bother. Who am I trying to think of? Yeah, singing in my sleep. Chemistry. Oh, to say I, I love you. you. <laughs> see, see, guys. Yeah, don't. I just call. To say how, how much, much I care. care. Not gonna bother because you shouldn't sing Stevie Wonder. No one should. Who is the female artist that died? Whitney Houston. Said Whitney Houston. Oh, yeah. That is somebody you shouldn't try to sing. No, indeed. Like if you're a karaoke, Unless don't bother. Unless you're Dolly Parton singing her song that she wrote. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, then, yeah. Then maybe. Pretty much. Yeah. That is a completely different color. If you want to check out Semi Sonic, Chemistry is a fantastic song. Singing in my sleep is great. You have to have a nose. What about dancing in the street? Dancing. <laughs> you have to have a nose for a late '90s alternative. Dancing but. in the streets. <laughs> dancing in the streets. It's completely different, isn't it? It's com. It's. It were. I think it's better. Personally. Ooh. 
It is better. I think it's much better. I I, I hate to Bring say it over, it, but Regan. I kind of yeah. like it better. I I am really blown away by the difference that a shake and a stir will do to a drink, but I think it's so. Better. Shake it. Not Science. Stirred. Shake and not stirred. It matters. It Aer- does. Aeration. I, aeration, yeah. aeration is, is a it. huge thing, it especially doesn't... with Amaro's, I feel. Why do you think James Bond asked for it? Yeah, well, that's, that's a ver- that, that's, that's a ma- that's, yeah. <laughs> that's he knew though. He like, didn't. No, but that's well, you got to think about it. He actually knew. The I think no, that's going to be a winner. Bullshit. That's actually really good. No, it's not. I'm into that. He knew the difference. It's a little bullshit. No, no. It's a little. But bullshit. he did a Vesper Martini, which there's nothing in there that would maybe the vermouth. Mm. Yeah. Could aerate. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But that that's pushing it. That's really pushing holy crap. It. This is good. Though. That's delicious. I I'm into that. Did you get that? Yeah. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yeah. Let's just call it sugar. Regan's crap. You know, you know what I think. <laughs> Half a sugar rim. Ooh, oh, yes. Rim. I think you, I think you nailed it. You are fucking yeah, fancy. Yeah. Has anybody told you you're fucking fancy? Because that would be. Oh, I had a drink like this. A sugar rim. They made a, sugar they made a drink like nice. this at the uh, Butterfly Bar. So what would you Similar. use to get that rim to stick? Because it would need an acid or something to get on the edge to rim that. Probably more along the lines of like an orange. An orange rim? Mm-hmm. Which will go well with that. Well, I guess. Well, you know what? Let's find out. Let's try it. Yeah. Hold on. I'm just going right. to like, I'm like just going to express some orange across the doing? top of that shit. So should we rinse that one? No, we're just going to express an orange. Okay. Okay. Because it's late. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> and that drink is solid. That's great. I'm into that. Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. You like that? Mm. Yeah, that felt good. Yeah, I'd be ooh. very happy ordering that ooh. someplace. And that knows. Yeah? No problem, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It, it really reminds me of this drink. Oh, that, that, crap. Um, I already had an orange. Damn it. Yep. The show too. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with an mm-hmm. orange expression. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With a sugar rim. With a sugar rim, that'd be great. I'm not a fan of sugar rims, but that would definitely go well with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would drink that. Yeah, it's like it's like a cocktail drink. Right anyway, there. like if you like cocktails, you'll drink this shit. Oh no, that's yep. good. If you're new to cocktails, I'm not sure you would drink this drink. No, I think so. I think you would. Oh, yeah, you really? Think you would. You think it's oh yeah, I think you would. Accessible. It's very accessible. Yeah, because, right. because it's more on the sweet side. You're not gonna do more of a bitter or a spirit forward drink if you're mm-hmm. new to cocktails. You're gonna do more of a sweet drink. So a half sugar. Joe, Joe's on the way with really I think a half sugar. I wouldn't do a full sugar. That is fair. Jojo's jo- jo- on the way with snacks. Oh, Jojo. Jojo, jo- jo- oh, jo- I jo- love you. You're beautiful. I just called no. to, to say how much I care. care. <laughs> <laughs> this is really sad. <laughs> no, it's actually very wonderful. It's actually very wonderful. Indeed. Um... Yeah, man. Okay. Orange, orange expression. Orange expression. Or orange rim sugar or orange sugar rim. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Over an expression. I think expression's fine actually. I don't know if you need the sugar. I think the sugar would really make it pop though. It's it like would. A it sugar would. With, like just like rim it with a little orange. Yeah, I have a weird thing with sugar. sugar. Uh, like, I don't know. For me personally, I just have a weird thing with it, yeah, but it, it would pop sugar, it. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Well, I'm not going to use powdered <laughs> sugar. <laughs> but I'm going to use like confectioner like, sugar. <laughs> brand new <laughs> sugar. Right. Just like <laughs> sugar. Yeah. I'll put like a <laughs> cane <laughs> sugar on there or something no, like that. There's like there's some sugar that's like a different. <laughs> I think it's less so with sugar and more so with salt. I would agree with that. Yeah. yeah. I feel like because there's sugar. powdered sugar and there's like just sugar, sugar in the raw. Yeah. Stuff like that, but that's kind of like you don't do that with much. drinks. Oh fuck! Like, Hold on. Oh how funny! What are you like talking about? Reagan, I almost Did called you Zander. I almost called you the cat's name. What the oh, by the way, that? just, just okay, I, I got to call out. I got to call it at two o'clock. Bond asked for it because he was a dick. True story. <laughs> yes, that's probably True it. True fucking story. I just want to right say, there. I don't spend so a lot of time on Twitch. What do we have? At 2 o'clock is my Look, favorite people on Twitch. This is straight up I'm hanging out sugar, on this stream because he's phenomenal. Which is like Good man. super white sugar. Over. Okay, that's fine. Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> I don't know. This is like the organic shit that is brown. 
Uh, which I think right. Well, it's really I'm interesting. Saying, it's like a different size. Of well, that's powdered grain. sugar, Gregan. <laughs> not powdered sugar. Powdered what sugar else is, is it? Not like that's not. No. Well, what are you trying to say, Reagan? Never mind. Just okay, I'm mind. ignoring you from now on. I think on. white cane sugar. Yeah. White cane sugar, just like this. I, shit? I think. I think yeah. that is yeah, what fine. we're talking about. I yeah. think you're right. Uh, like an orange expression. Of, mm-hmm. Well, an orange. Is, fuck. Hold on. Slow down. Orange expression, rim it with orange, and then sugar on sugar. the yes, side on the for a garnish kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. That's legit. I yeah. feel that. I don't know if I'll actually do that in the recipe video. We'll try a couple and see how it works. Yeah, I mean, you should see. You'll, you'll you should find see it before the recipe. Discover it before, you know, in a I'm more sober mind. Tomorrow. Because I think with the, with the orange expression, it really helps it. Yeah. But I think that might push it over the edge. That could be kind of fun. Just kind of have that little thing where if you want a little just extra, like, you can just like yeah. lick the rim a little bit. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Jojo, are you really for real on your way with snacks? Jojo doesn't lie. So typically, really typically not. Yeah, yeah no, she really doesn't. Kind of rules. Yeah, oh, yeah, we do. She's, yeah, here for sure. she's, uh, she's the reason why I'm here tonight. <laughs> oh, really? She yeah. really is. Yeah. yeah. She's, well, she found. That's supposed to be honest, right? No. No. no, no, no. That was Craig. Craig got sick uh, and couldn't be on the stream. No, JoJo is a uh, blogger with the Austinot, mm-hmm. of which I am she's kind of the lead blogger, I guess. Because so when I was trying to find people awesome. to fill out the stream, she was like, let me help. And she started contacting Did she say, that's people. cool, because actually, because she texted me this morning, hey, was your stream last night fun? And I'm like, was it last what? night? What? Doing Darn it today, it. but we have someone who's sick who's out, and... I had a funny feeling she would just start pulling your feelers out. She know? did. I was like, I Good feel bad that you're my booking agent. And she's like, oh, <laughs> oh my. Right. 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 Well, right. Powder sugar in it. She's watching us on her phone and she's like around. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. She don't rolls. watch on your phone. I don't think that's legal in us. Unless it's in a really? cradle. I don't think so. Can Maybe she's not, listening. She's phone. More. She'll be listening. She's plugged into the phone. Right. And she's listening Say, to bring the audio. snacks. So, yeah. Well, I have a... Uh, Bring snacks. I have a doing things illegal story that I was going to save, but we're too Oh, well, far. it's too late to save it, Is now. it now. Come okay. on. Hit well, it. so two weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago, I was doing a segment on Studio 512, which uh-huh. is the KXAN yeah. uh, CW morning show. Yeah. And I was doing a beer tasting. And it was at, my call time was at 7 in the morning, started at like 8, 7.50. Uh-huh. So I do the tasting on the show live, great, fine, 8 in the morning. And I have to actually get to real work. So I take all my bottles and like, you know, all the stuff I had brought, threw it in the bag, poured out the empties, all the rest of it, drive to work. I drive to, as I'm going there, I realize that I have other, I have some like stuff still in the bag, you know, like some open stuff. I pull up to my job, which is at the domain. I walk out of the car. I start pulling empty bottles and half full bottles out of my bag. Like, <laughs> oh, I'll just throw the, I'll just pour these out here. And then I realize that I had been driving around Austin for a half an hour with Four open containers <laughs> at eight in the morning. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I did. That's frowned upon. And that is it's not okay. acceptable no, in polite totally society. You're fine. You can just submit to a blood test. Sure. Yeah, so imagine my conversation with the cop pulling me over, like, hey, you, what's in that bag there? Why do I smell booze? Yeah, oh, I, I did a, I did a beer tasting on Studio 512. I'm sure you've seen I'm it. I'm sure you've Officer, seen it. Officer, I'm sure. sure. I'm not even yeah, sure. You're up early I'm enough, obviously. I, I had that I'm moment. Back up this car yeah. just I can't even hear you over Reagan, because Reagan's yeah. talking over you all. I, 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 I saw in my brain as I was pulling half full bottles of beer out of this bag that I brought to Studio 502 <laughs> and placing them on the roof of my car at the domain. Huh. Probably shouldn't be doing this Probably right now. Not. Maybe this is illegal. I just made a big error. So yes. yeah. open yeah. container is a light misdemeanor. Oh, it is. Time. Sure. Time. Let's do the time watch again. Let's do the time watch again. Oh. Yeah, we're we have a mission. snap. You know, we I, stream, I did not. Jojo can still bring snaps. <laughs> we should Jojo not... is seriously on our way. Wait, we sh- if Jojo Although is serious. At this serious... point, I'm kind of worried that they're joking with us. I don't think she's joking. Mm-mm. Because she is concerned about our well-being. She is. What does that what? mean? What? We just got rated. Oh, Charity rated. Hello. Charity Lee, you rated. Thank you so much, Charity. Wow. What is a raid? Rated. I don't know what this Thank is. You. A raid is when somebody on Twitch, so if somebody's streaming on Twitch and they're leaving their stream, they can go to all their viewers and be like, hey guys, 
we're going to raid another stream. So all of those oh, viewers were coming. Nice. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. So Welcome thank to you. Here. You're actually raiding. We should have been done an hour and a half ago. Yeah, we should have been done an hour and a half ago. <laughs> Is it really that late? Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. It's 1220, oh, sir. Oh, shit. For sure. Y'all need an update on where we're at and what shit. we're doing. That's a wise yeah. idea. So yeah. So, how many, how many cocktails Sullivan. have we created tonight? We can do uh, one more. I'm question. Hanging. Hold on. Let me write the name of it. What is the name of this again? Let's do the time wash. Let's do the wash. time wash again. Your handwriting is so much better. Right, let's do Impeccable. This. Let's be Let's be honest. And once we get past midnight, it's just, ah, now we're on bonus that time. Point. Who cares? Who cares? So we've been tasting liquors and making cocktails from scratch. And we've made, I think, four? Five? Five. No, it's been like four. We only did like four because the first one took about an hour okay, to get right. So the first we've been, one. We've been, okay, so the first one True. was Agave Goo Goo. Oh, yeah, Agave, Agave Goo Goo. Agave Goo Goo is Seriously. amazing. Four yeah, Baby Shower. Yep, so four Baby go. Shower. We made a mocktail called To the Moon and Back. Brilliant again. A great mocktail for those of you who don't want to imbibe. Then we had Choco Ole. Choco Ole. Great. A beer cocktail. A beer y'all. cocktail. A beer cocktail. That is rare. With the, with the stone. Pronounce that again. Excovesa. 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 Tell me a while. Oh. Choco Ole. Choco Ole! Yeah, Choco Ole! All right. Choco And then we have the Driscoll Spice. Which is a rye based cocktail. And then we finished it all up with Let's Do the Time Wash Again with a Kashaka and London Gin split based cocktail. Which is really very damn good. Very damn good. Was that five total? Five. I think think that was right. Well, freaking done. Because the record is seven. Five is We can beat that next time. Yeah, next time we can do that, yeah. We, we got hung up on the Kashaka because that's did, something yeah. that none of us the were familiar with. The Kashaka took a while. We're not familiar with Kashaka. And the first so cocktail took an hour. We didn't even roll into the Age Kashasa. We did not. We didn't. Which I'm still Age curious Kishasa. how that's going to work. With and anything. next time I'm bringing Dickie Braun. We're going to do something crazy that you can't get anywhere else. A booyah Kasha. Please Kishasa. invite me back Booyaka. for that episode. Because <laughs> I think we've developed the chemistry here. Yeah, yeah. That's sure. a name. Write that name down, Mark. Booyah Kasha. Skelet, what, Booyakasha? Yeah, you're not I'll remember you. that. Yeah, that's Ali G. Skeleton says she'll probably go to bed. Why? I mean, this is, <laughs> isn't this better than your dreams? I mean, true. <laughs> is this not better than your dreams? Yes. Come on. Look at this. Look at these faces. Come on. Let's make it's a cocktail just, called Better Than Your, better better than than your, your Dreams. dreams. Let's we just the name first. Put that on the next page. Better, page. better, better Than Your Dreams. That we're going to start there. You don't have to do it now. No. Next time. Next the time. March stream is only like two weeks away, y'all. Perfect. Because February is short. In, yeah, I'm well. I, Better than your I'm dreams. I'm busy writing 15 so, so this South is by the Southwest name articles. Name the drink before aware. you make it cocktail. Yeah. Better than your dreams. I'm not going to read this. Ooh, ooh, that's a great name. What Better a rabbit than your hole. Dreams? You just got that. Like, yeah. Better your than dreams. your dreams. Better than your dreams. Japan Gin Brandy. What does that mean, 2 o'clock? No, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, so Dinky Dinky Braun. D E N K I B R A N. So it's from a bar called Kamiya Bar in Tokyo. And I can't remember. I think it's in Asakusa, Tokyo. Um, You can look it up. I saw it originally on Booze Traveler. And once I got over to Tokyo, I made a point to like go to this place because you can get it in little individual pours. And they have two different. Basically, two different expressions, and they're different alcohol contents. And so I went there, and I and I bought a bottle, and brought it back because it was pretty tasty. So I have a bottle of that. So next time, I'll I'll bring it on the show. It sounds amazing. And we'll I'm bringing it back in March because I only have one see, chair filled. See what we can do. Right now, I have one chair bartender at Odd Duck mm. for March. So awesome. we have an open chair. Are go. we waiting on JoJo, or are we going to kill the stream? We might have to. I mean, we can kill the stream and wait on JoJo. Yeah. I could take a bio if you guys want to go. This is ridiculous. This is the first time we've ever taken a bio on stream, but... What's a bio? <laughs> bio break. Oh. Talk this is the second bio. time this stream. Talk to amongst yourselves. Break. We finally right. we've, we've committed right. amongst Let's ourselves. Yeah. All right. What do you think? So, I'm just trying to think of topics to talk about without Mark. Um, Favorite drink tonight? Favorite drink tonight? Hmm. I have to say the I need the the pad, the pad and paper again. I'm trying to. Uh, well, hold on. What? 
Yeah. Let me go over there. Yes, let you'll go over there and <laughs> go grab the, the paper. Other side and, and I can <clears throat> I was going to talk about the best uh, Raiders of the Lost, uh, sorry, Indiana Jones movie. Okay. Of course, the right answer oh, is Raiders. There you go. But, yeah. oh, sorry. All right, so we'll start. Yeah. I don't know where it starts, actually. Yeah, let's see. Oh, this is Scribble Scrabble. This is completely yeah. so, what, what illegible. Is Hang I on. was able to read. So, to the moon and back, okay. So, we have the Agave Gogo, which is the. Agave Gogo. Agave Gogo, which is the, the, Mex, the Mezcal, the Poppy Amaro, and the. What was that? The Tincture. Which Tincture? We tincture. Have? Which it one was is that? The Poblano. 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 Yeah. Poblano. Yeah. Poblano. Okay. The to, Mo- to the Moon and Back, which was the, the mocktail. mocktail. Right. We have the Choc Ole. Choc Ole. That might be my favorite. Yeah. I think that might be my favorite. I think that might be it. my favorite as well. The Driscoll Spice is a close second with the red handed red handed rye, the jasmine really liqueur, and the fennel liqueur tincture. Rinse. And then we have the Let's Do the Time Wash again. Man. That one, that one was pretty solid. That was good. I think that might be my number two, actually. Okay. For and me, I, maybe three would be the Driscoll. I think for me, it would be the number one would be the uh, Chocolate. Number two would be the Driscoll. And number three would be the Time Wash. I think I can agree with that. Yeah. So uh, I see at two o'clock, you're going to be in Tokyo in a few months. Uh, when are you actually going? Because uh, I'm, ac- I'm actually going back in uh, May, actually. Naked gun style? What does that even mean? <laughs> Come on. Really? Give me something I can work with. So I'm actually going back in mid-May. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna be bouncing between Tokyo and Kyoto, maybe dropping down to Osaka. Very nice. For a minute. Um, cool. I'm going to see if I can hit Kamiya Bar again, because Very that place nice. is pretty solid. Um, but if you're there at 2 o'clock, oh, you're in July. Okay. So uh, over, I think it's in the Asakusa area. Uh, it's a it's a Kamiya Bar, so K A M I Y A Bar. That's where they make uh, Dinky Bron. Mm. So you can pop over there and get it. I think a few of the liquor alcohol stores in Tokyo also have it, um, but it's not very expensive and it's pretty tasty. So you yeah. know, hop over there and get some. Right on. You'll be mostly in Osaka. I don't know if you'll be able to get it in Osaka. I think it might be exclusive to Tokyo. But, um, you know, it's only a couple hour bullet train ride. Depending on how long you're going to be there, you might be able to get to um, a JR Pass, which would make that a lot cheaper. Cheaper. Um, but, uh, oh, let me. Seat. Yeah, please, have yeah, a seat. This hey, is awesome. Have a seat. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> so I was actually talking to at 2 o'clock. He's going to be over in Japan in July. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Thank there we go. Thank you for meeting me. All right, Mark's back. I'm back. Let's yep. see. What are you going to make me? What am I going to... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this. Yeah, you, you can. can. I can do this. Do this. I can't do this. Let's see. Well, I was, this is, I was talking yeah. about the, uh, the Whiskey Skiffer from Arlo Gray. Okay. So, equal parts rye, chinar, and sweet vermouth. I mean, it's a... Pretty it's simple. It's a essentially. Yeah. Slightly different. Because you have more of a spicier flavor with the sure. chinar, which I've lost track of. Uh, chinar, don't they? Yes, C. Yeah. So we got this one. What kind of uh, rye are we working with? Templeton, Rittenhouse? You know what? How about the local? still, still uh, rye gin? Oh, I meant to that, yeah. It's this guy right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think, no, that's the new make. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, this is the rye gin. All right, all right. So here we go. Where is we got this? While y'all do that, I'm gonna do a bio break. Yeah. Do that because that's important. Muted. 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 We're gonna just do a simple one, one, one. What? Hi, Reagan. Uh, no, I can't hey, hear Reagan. <laughs> can't hear you, but welcome to the table. Let's go. Camera is this way, I know. Charity's here. Mark is enjoying being in the visitor side of the table. I am actually <laughs> like the Charity. Cam- Even the, the voice of God is behind the table right now, so. I kind of like this. I wish someone would just make me drinks instead of me having, that would be cool. I instead mean, of you us could just mix it up. It doesn't always things. have to be you. So you remove, you put back. No, release control, Mark. Let's go. Here. 
Reagan and Mark at the bar. This is weird, right? This is totally yeah. weird. Well, you know, like, the stream should have been over by now. I know, like an hour and a half ago. What time is it? Is this, is this your suite? Who, hello? Oh, that's a really good suite, yes. This right. is why you wanna, uh, drink. Yeah, that's a great suite. This is why you shouldn't drink. Instead of too late making more drinks. I have, I was, I was learning to use a 3D rendering program, mm -hmm. and I realized that I... Bender? Blender. Blender, yeah. Yeah. That's great. I realized that I accidentally deleted a part of a mesh and I don't know how to resculpt it. Oh. So that's unfortunate. Mm. Start from the beginning. No, I can't. That's so that's so much. It <laughs> is so much. You know, I used to three modeling with that program back in the day. Oh, it's changed so much because I did has. some of that as well. It has, it really has. It's changed so, just like AutoCAD has changed a fuck ton. Yes. You know, I, I don't know how to use current AutoCAD. I'm like, two o'clock says current AutoCAD. Wear the shoulders. Give me old AutoCAD. I want old AutoCAD. It's two D only. I can't. You have use to wear 3D. the shoulder towel. Yeah. Yeah. Put on the shoulder towel. So you have to put that on. Oh yeah. Got that. You now you're right. official. How do I look on? You look great. Yeah, it looks great. Right, you look cool. wonderful. Oh, you can well actually done. see it up there. Okay. Yeah, you're I almost out of ice though, aren't you? I am. You can use the shitty ice. Alright. Like see. the cubes are bad, but on the left there's some ice that you can use. Left? Where are we talking? Uh I don't know. Anyone who can wear this. No. You see it but uh Ooh, keep what, are these, what are these these molds though? Oh I have a lot of Oh, those. Those are for like uh, spheres and stuff like that. What about you? Are you gonna, like, find I mean, right you one? can. It's kind of a pain to get them out. Alright, well, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it out a little farther, and you'll see on the left there's. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. 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 That's a Kiva Ocho. And that's a Mezcal Aripus. I feel like I've had Mezcal made by the same company, but. The same packaging, like the packaging was the same. So when I I went to Puerto Santos, Mexico, and it was the, the first time in my life. Definitely not how to use this. <laughs> in Puerto Santos, Mexico, there's a. It's Obviously, kind of weird, right? Yeah, it's very the first weird. First time you I'm do that, to... it's like, wait, how do I do this? Hold on, hold I'll on. I'll figure this out. Mark, hold on, a... I'm I'm a pretty smart guy. If you, if you really want to know the stuff. Um, go down a little bit on the actual, yeah, there you go. And then just use your fingers, not so much your wrists. Okay. Oh, okay. You're starting, yeah. to, you're starting to feel yeah. it. There you go, there you go. But, Mark, what I'm trying to tell you, in, this, in Todos Santos, Mexico, there's a place called Mexico Gourmet. And it's just a, you know, a tourist kind of shop. But you go in and you can get, for 100 pesos... Which is like nothing. A dollar. You can yeah, get barely. four, like, essential half shots of any fucking mezcal in this entire place. And it's every single mezcal in Mexico. I would do that. The oldest, the, the youngest, every type. Mm -hmm. And this guy in this store, I, I went back three days in a row. Um, <laughs> for, Holy crap. It was, well, for 100 pesos, why he, not? Yeah, no, and, I mean, I had tipped him and whatever, but... Puerto Santos, Mexico, Mexico Gourmet. It, I will send you the link. The guy, the guy, he, he walked me through the whole process of making the skull, and like he makes it himself. He's so passionate about it. It just, I didn't know a single. I didn't even know mezcal existed before Ooh, that. Part. You're about to knock over my. Table no, no, I saw, there. I saw, I saw. Hey, you but, gotta get but, out of this seat. I'm just telling you. Oh, that's okay. It's fine. fine. If it's you need a, a good vacation in January, that's a great place. To do. Uh, anyone, anyone can wear the, can wear the shoulder towel. Official, official now. now. Mark. Mark's giving Reagan the look. I give Eve after 12 <laughs> <laughs> What am I drinking? You were drinking what's called a whiskey skiffer. Okay. Which I first encountered at the Arlo Gray Bar at okay. the Wine Hotel here in Austin, Texas. Right, which is... It's cool. equal parts rye, sweet vermouth, and chinar. Rye, sweet vermouth, chinar. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see how it is. I like how you've taken over the show. This is great. I'm, like I'm it. into it. I'm into I it, man. I like not having all that pressure on me right now. It is. I can imagine. I, oh. Don't put me back there unless I'm... Oh, man. Somebody's at the door. Somebody's oh. at the door? I bet you that's Jojo. Jojo. I literally bet you Jojo. Oh, that's the door, cool, right? man. That's, you like that? That's good. Yeah. What ride did you use? Did you write in the house or did you use the red-handed? I did the still... Actually, oh, it's still right yeah, gin. Yeah, still right gin. Oh, that's actually, really nice. so I need to try this because this oh, is that's delicious. Completely different. I'm into that, man. That's right on. 
It's so good. You get that like, rye flavor and it's a little bit of a... But it's ooh. not as heavy like a rye. Yeah. I expect it to be a little heavier. It's a lot right? softer. Yeah, spot yeah on, man. exactly. Way better. That's really nice. Way better. So that's a Delicious. rye gin, rye chinar, chinar, and sweet vermouth. vermouth. Which Equal vermouth parts. did you use? You that's use delicious. The, uh, I use the fancy one that you yeah, said was yeah. great. <laughs> that, one was good. that one right there. Is hey, that yeah. Joe? Hey! Joe. Thanks so much for being here. I can't believe you actually brought stuff. Of course you did. Because we're not Joe. able to walk. Thank you. Or hey, I don't know. Bill Tucker. Bill Tucker. You can walk after, Bill after I use the restroom. Tucker. <laughs> yum. Yum. So this is a yum. nice little reversal here. I ended up taking our big I show. I took a bio yeah, break when it. I come I back and it. he's I over there. It. Do you want to try he's something here? Yes, you can do that. that. Want to try something? I don't even know what that is anymore. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this one I, I actually just made this one. I don't know. If you'd like to try it. This oh, is that actually one's delicious. Really good. Yeah. Go for that one. So uh, that might have been one of the mistakes. But, you know, we're, we're at the point. I would mistake. probably I call it a no, 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 That one's good. Though. I don't know. This one's delicious. So it's, 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 sweetie, sweetie for it's me actually a rye me. gin. 82 o'clock. So I don't know if I would call it a whiskey like skipper. posing with this cocktail. Because it's not a whiskey. Yeah, at it's a... Because they, they make a gin, but they use a rye base for it. So they instead of using a neutral spirit, they use a rye spirit. So you're still getting the spiciness yeah. from this the rye as opposed to a yeah. spirit it's like a compare, from like really. a corn or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So it's, it's more of a Negroni. Uh, than yeah, yeah. Right? it's very similar yeah. to that. That's really good. It's sweeter than a Negroni. Like a Negroni is going to hit you with the bitterness. Yeah. But that one's it's like an artichoke more. Negroni. Can yes. I get a plate? Put out some yeah. Holy shit. That's awesome, man. It's That's glass spot on. doors. You can That's do whatever. It's right really on. good. Delicious. With that, with, with the rye doors. gin. And again, I didn't see the glass conception of it, but um, very delicate yeah, that rye comes out really nice, mellowed out by whatever you put in there. So, so the influence is actually a whiskey skipper from the Arlo Gray Bar at okay. the Line Hotel. Sure. Okay. Um, That's really good. I would drink the shit out of that. Yeah. That's. That's really good. Pretty good. And that is an easy Chinar rover. Rye and yeah. Chinar Rye, rye Gin with, uh, and Sweet Vermouth. Like what was the Sweet Vermouth? You used the good one, right? Yeah, the I used the good one. Coach Torino. Exactly. Coach Torino. Yeah. Uh, what did you say, Reagan? Yeah, I'm just hungry right now. Here's some chocolatey. Finding a finding a place for the plate. They're all mystery chocolatey. Look, I'm such a sweetie. What we really mystery should bits. do? What mystery is bits. this mystery this chocolate bits? Chocolatey mystery bits. Chocolatey mystery bits. I love chocolate and mysteries. Those oh, are things I'm, that I I'm love. I know. I, I had my first one like, what is this? I'm like, I don't know. And then they take it. Oh. And then, like, they kind of. They For those of you who don't know. The table, they're like, oh, that's Mars at the end. Joe like, was on the stream uh, three or four months, months ago. ago. Three or yeah. four months ago. Yeah. She's been amazing. And she actually helped find John to come on to the show here tonight. She was very helpful in that. And amazingly enough, she shows up here with snacks. Nice. Because it's late. And, we've been and Joe's amazing. Joe's we all love Joe. Yes. We all love Joe. Everybody loves Joe. Every, everyone that meets Joe loves that Joe. That really could be a sitcom. <laughs> really could. Everyone, everyone, loves, everyone Joe. loves Joe. That's true. That could be a I've sitcom. actually asked you to be on the show twice since then. You haven't been able to. But I got you with Snack too. But you got me people either way. So. That's yeah. Really it's brilliant. Look at Charlie. Right, I think I'm here because of JoJo too. I think. You probably are. Probably. You are, Reagan? She's only available after 12. Only available after 12. <laughs> Chocolate and mystery at 2 o'clock. Chocolate and mystery. All right, I'm going to eat one of these. The, yeah. the one I'm eating. That's the name it's of the show. Dark Chocolate and mystery. Dark Dark and mystery. Dark 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 <laughs> That's a better show. Instead of like killing it, it's like chocolate and mystery. Yeah. We eat chocolate and we kill the bottle. And it's chocolate and mystery. Ooh. And the other one is from Central Market. Antonelli's all cheese, beans. mystery chocolate, mm -hmm. bread. All beans that we have. Well, salty caramel. Oh, and these, oh my are goodness. Are those bananas? Can everyone just have one of these right now? Is it bananas? Where is that? No. That's a banana? It's like no. a tiny baby super blended Ooh. cookie. Thank you. And random cookies. And random Rando cookies. cookie. Yeah. Rando cookie. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that is a blonde rum. Really mystery. From Papa Pilar. It's actually Ernest Hemingway's family owns a uh, rum distillery in Florida. That's awesome. And that's from them. Nice. So, hey guys. Should we end the stream? We should probably end the stream. Hold on, let me switch places. So I can... <laughs>
that's right. You're not making drinks anymore, so yeah. Great server, but you just got someone from Australia. That's our friend. I know, right? That's fun. <coughs> Good job. Come here. No, Joe, get on camera. Get on camera. <laughs> for the love of it. <laughs> Joe ended up to join us. We're going to call it a stream for the night because it's been way over when we were supposed to. So mm -hmm. we've got chocolate, Our, we've got crackers, we've got cheese and bread. So we're going to do that. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Really do appreciate you. Uh, I, I mean, really, there's nothing more to say than thank you for being here. Yeah, I always complain about like, it shouldn't even be a complaint, but it's like, I always say, Oh, help me keep the stream going. But really, I love the fact that you're here. The fact that you're in the chat and talking to us is amazing. So please keep doing that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Bill, thank you for being here. John, thank Thanks you for being here. Joe, thank you for coming here and bringing us stuff. Of course. I appreciate Can that. Can I just say one thing? Mm -hmm. Yes. At 2 o'clock, you're my favorite. Oh! At 2 o'clock, <laughs> At 2 o'clock rolls. Dark Man and is pretty awesome, cheers, too, though. Cheers to y'all in the chat room. Dark Man is awesome. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. For like, like follow, sub, what? donate. Almost six hours. Dark almost Man. Almost six hours. Whew. Dark Man's got the litany. Like, follow, sub, donate. We're going to get out of here, y'all. Thanks so much for uh, being <clears> here. <throat> I'll post this archive up yeah, in about two days. Legit. So it should come up on Thursday. Thank you so much for spending some time. And we'll be here soon. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, John. We'll have Thanks you nice, sometime. Appreciate and it. And we will talk to you later. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Good night, everybody. Good night.